what is art? I I don't even know anymore. Yeah, me neither. Like, maybe you should take some hassle uh, classes back in the Neuraj Academy. <laughs> Carolina, the artist. Sending out her floors. Um, let's go with the Dickerton. Actually, no. Let's go with Glamora. So, I'm not using Quick Fable at, at all. That's good, actually, because. I don't know, Quick Bow is probably the biggest star on, on my team. And it's kinda also to rest, I believe. So we decided to use Grass Train. And yeah, Grass Train has this uh, beneficial effect of uh, healing everyone on the field every turn. Even my Glamora, as you can see. Thanks. Um, yeah, let's go for the Vanish Shock. Actually, this floor just might survive it because it's, it has pretty high special defense. And I might, yeah, probably will need to, yeah, take it into hits. So I probably should, like, Mortal Spin, and that way I could probably take it out in one hit. After. I still will do need I still will need two hits, but so apparently now we've decided to change to the Misty terrain. What are you doing? Uh yeah, let's go for the land shock again. Yeah, Floridus is the Floed solution and it's a fair type, so that's probably this probably this probably explains why I'm using poison type moves, right? Ooh, that's a lot of experience points. Bruxish. Ooh, I haven't I haven't seen this Pokemon, did we? Uh, I believe it's a Psychic and a Water type. So actually, I would I could go with uh, Goldingo with this one. Hmm. You can also go with Tinkerton using Skitter Smack. Let's go. Let's go with the Gold Dango, I don't know. Definitely, yeah, our armor is just kinda uh, falling behind. It, 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 it has some questionable moves like Calm Mind, but armor really isn't learning a lot of good moves lately. That's why it's also falling behind. Let's go with Skitter Smack on our Dinkerton.
So I guess I'm just, uh, yeah, I guess I'll continue with my Tinkerton. Actually, Abraxas, we managed to defeat this Pokemon, I don't know. We haven't seen it and it's also really not useful at all. Play rough. Yeah, that's gonna this kinda sucks. I think I'm gonna go for a break. I'm kinda I'm losing interest to play this game at this moment. Yeah, last move of yours if you are. I don't know. So I believe we're back. After uh, losing interest to play, uh, we're kind of continuing up to the Glass Zero Mountain. To reach much of air, right? But uh, I don't know how well we that go because we we'll probably reach the other gym first, I believe. Mm. We'll see. Uh, I'm not sure where this goes, but. Maybe I ought to check it out. Oh yeah, definitely wasn't here before, so let's check out what's over there. Uh, yeah, gonna watch out for little Leo and. Fire roar. But you know they like could spawn in the second in front of me. Like uh, this back of Makikida and Hariyama. I don't know. What's up with that? I really do hope that we won't get interrupted much. Oh interesting. Uh, let's see maybe where does these lead us to? Uh, we clearly haven't been here yet. Since the items... Oh, I, I think, yeah. I think we're kinda really close to... The other way we could reach. Right? Uh, I don't know if you understand what I mean, but... I think you will... Kind of soon. Um, 
did we battle that person? We might already battle them, but I'm not sure. Uh, slack of fuck, interesting. I don't see any... Ah, oh, yeah, we did. We didn't battle them. Let's maybe do so. That was my battle cry. Interesting. Probably has either cup two or I don't know what. This was thought we wants to be involved. Challenged by Mark the students. Okay, interesting. So he's sending out his Arcanine. Uh, I think our Blumora could like take care of that. Ooh, let's see. Maybe. This might be. Oh, actually, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, I guess Goldengo is affected by Intimidate. Uh, interesting. Apparently, yeah, Golden Glow is kind of Im not immune to the abilities. Uh, yeah, let's switch out. Oh, this person has actually three Pokemon. I should we go with Quick Pebble? Like, yeah, maybe I could go with Quick Pebble. Let's go with okay, Quick Pebble. Because lately, I'm not using Quick Pebble at all. Can I use flamethrower? Let's see how good this. Yeah, I guess that's really good. But I kind of hope that it doesn't get burned. Oh, I'm kind of lucky. Uh, yeah, fire type moves are kind of annoying because they could burn you. Burn like I don't want my quick pill to get burned at all. Uh, at least during this battle. Let's go for the I think this will do. Because, uh, yeah, Arcanine didn't manage to use Intimidate on my Quick Wave. And I also get the Speed Boost and probably the Boxy Boost as well. Yep, here goes the Moxie boost. And I believe it's leveling up. Level 50, that's pretty... That's pretty good. Um, yeah. Caparaja, actually this that's the Q fans evolution. And I think I'm gonna go with uh, Armorouge on this one. Because I believe it's kind of a physical uh, wall. And I think yeah, a lava plume will do. And yeah, it's a uh, steel type, just like Q fans, like pure steel type.
So let's go. So we go up to. Another Pokemon on their team. Actually, I'm not sure what's the name of this student again. I already forgot. Uh, let's see, Colossal. Ooh. Probably go with my. Yeah, Artifacts. This one. Yeah. That'd be probably G. I'll use Dig to do the quadruple uh, damage. I don't know why, but we both sides could like send out their Pokemon at the same time. I know. Why Artibax gets sent first and his Colossal gets sent second. Actually, Colossal, I don't know if we bowed it before, but it's the. Uh, what's it called again? Roller Colors Evolutions, Last Evolution. Uh, what's it called? Call. Something we call, probably. I'm just, I already forgot what's the name of. Roly Coly Evolution, but yeah, this, this is the final version of Roly Coly, so... Carco, yeah, Carco. Yeah, this is the Carco Evolution. Also, I kind of realized that. <laughs> Interesting. It's using Stealth Rock. And sometimes you want to evolve your Pokemon just because the evolved Pokemon get to learn also better TMs. I know for sure that when my Artibax rolls, I will teach it one of the TMs we got. After we claim the rewards from League Rep back in Zada Desert, I mean in Cascarafa, I'm gonna use that TM, I don't know if you remember, on the evolved form of Artibax. Oh, yeah, Colossal is pretty defensive, so that's why I kinda uh, managed to survive this dig. Also, it's kinda boosting its speed. Actually, doubling the its speed. Mm. Yeah, right. I think I'll go with Dragon Claw. Let's see who moves first. Yeah, still Artibax is faster. Even though it managed to like double its speed, but Artibax speed is still a lot higher than Colossal's double speed. So yeah, that kind of explains how slow uh, Colossal is. Really slow. Yeah. It's kind of defensive. It has some physical attack, but I don't know. Really poor typing, like Rock and Fire. It's really poor uh, type combination. Also, our Ticketon is leveling up. Oh, and our Golden Go is actually learning a new move. Let's see what it is. 
power jam. <laughs> Actually, yeah. I don't want to learn this move because I don't know. We already we already learned power jam on our Kilmora, so uh, it won't do anything beneficial to the whole team, right? Since Kilmora is kind of superior choice for using power jam because it gets stabbed and also it's, uh, it gets boosted damage from Hearthstone. Oh, so there's a Citadel. Uh, I think we got, yeah, quite a, quite a lot of money, I guess. Oh, watch for the Citadel, please. No, okay. That kind of did go well. Um, I'm not sure how much did we explore this area. Did we even explore it or what? Like. Yeah, it seems we haven't explored it really much. Seems there are still items laying around. Uh, does this lead anywhere? I think, yeah, this is kind of a dead end. We need to climb up here. Probably. Ooh, what's, what's over there? I kind of don't want to jump because uh, yeah, you definitely want to climb up here, uh, coming from mid alley. So yeah, I guess that item... Oh, there are actually two items. I guess these two items will, will be left behind because... Uh, if I jump down there, I won't be able to... Ooh. What if I use the trick? Actually, yeah. Uh, but how how do I want to use it? Yeah, I need to get a bit higher, right? I don't know if it even works, like, I'm not sure. Um... Uh, uh, yeah. I'll need to go all the way around. Okay, suck. Let's do it. kind of hope this works because if it doesn't I'm gonna be a bit pissed. So yeah, we're, we're kind of getting really high and I want to just fall down. Oh yeah, the game is kind of preventing me from falling. But I managed to fall down anyway. So yeah, let's try. Okay. Yep, let's go back up. Yeah. So yeah, I guess the trick still works. I just need to remember how that I could use it. Yeah. Uh, where are we actually? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, we're slightly below from where we were falling. It's okay. So yeah, let's try one more time. Um, I kinda... yeah. Yeah, of course this trick doesn't work if you're riding right. Yeah, it's kinda... It's kinda preventing us from falling, but... Yeah. Also, I wanna fall a little closer, right? So yeah, actually, I don't know how this works, but apparently Rotom manages to catch us. Like our Rotom phone, right? And let's go back up. And that's pretty much how you do the trick, right? I don't know, I think I tried it once, but it didn't work like that option, go back from where you fell, didn't uh, I don't know, didn't activate, I don't know, for some reason why uh, it didn't. So 
So yeah, this area like below the Classido Mountain is pretty vast and kind of takes some time to explore everything, I guess. As you can see, we still haven't explored over here. Or did we? I think I see some ruinous area, right? So this kind of seems familiar. Oh, watch for the low kicks. Yeah, actually, uh, we were here before. Um, so yeah, I think I, I think I, I can kind of return back. Because this place is familiar. Apparently, I just didn't go over here. Oh yeah, I think I really did not. Oh, and now it's suddenly a lichen rock. Um, and let's see. Yeah, that's probably how we want to move fast. Like, you want to just jump as far as you can, and when you're falling, just before you land you want to glide I think that kind of yeah kind of extends your distance uh, I guess maybe I'm not sure um, but yeah I could like maybe go up here I don't know uh, let me see actually I guess I, I want to kind of get really close to Montanavera rather to the uh, I think if I go up here, right, I'll be, I managed, probably, oh no, I might just manage to go over to the mountain where, uh, yeah, I think I'm, I think I will go right up here, I may also, I think we've seen enough, right, did we, uh, let me see, um, let me just check a bit more from where I came, and you'll probably go over here, like in that direction somewhere because I kind of want to I don't want to go over there at the top right I want to go to the other town so yeah uh, you can probably remember right that we came from over here yeah not clean not the stack right? Uh, I think we did battle this artist, right? Yeah. That was the very last thing I've done before interrupting my play because I kinda really lost interest in just one second for some stupid reason. Um, yeah, so I guess I can probably proceed over here. But uh, as I said before, right, I think, yeah, I think we've seen enough of this place. So for that reason, I'm gonna just, maybe I could like, maybe just check what's up here. I'll kind of, oh yeah, definitely something up here. Uh, for that reason, we'll probably, oh, oh okay. Uh, oh, a TM. something new is it uh, it doesn't seem like there's something new but whatever let's just take whatever it is uh, item I guess uh, oh pose and jab oh. Yes, I think I want to go like over here. Uh, okay, there's an item. I actually don't know how to approach. Um, oh, I think yeah. If I go over here, I will be kind of just going towards my goal, right? Um, let's check. Let's check out. 
Really fight. Oh, actually, where am I? Ooh. It's kind of weird, though. Um, yeah, if maybe if I just, like, walk on this... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I walk maybe on this bordered area, I could probably reach Mountain Vera. Um, I don't know about it, but I suppose I can. Um, because, you know, I'm still restricted by not being able to climb. Uh, you can see the view on the Cachoeira Lake from over here. Yeah, actually, this kind of this seems to lead somewhere. I think I see Poké Center. Ooh, interesting. Uh, a Pokemon we we have not caught yet. Let's go for it. You can probably tell this the Capture Evolution, right? Uh, yeah, that's the yeah that's the evolution that it has that could get Swift Sim as its hidden ability, right? I think uh, this Pokemon is uh, bear tick. So we're gonna catch it. I'll, I'll start with Quick Ball, and if it doesn't work, you know, the drill. Probably gonna use Thunderball on it, because... Oh, there it is. Sorry, sorry. I was kind of seeing the quick ball in the last second, so here we go. Wish me luck. Yeah, it's kind of standing on a slope, right? So. There's an item over there. Also. Parts are good. All right. Stay. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of lucky. Kind of glad that we got these uh, twenty quick balls. Like. Also, want to more as well. Yeah, it's leveling up, and I think it's also learning. Yeah, it's learning a new move, and let's see what it is. Ooh, that's a good move, actually, yeah. That's the move that's probably superior to the Vanishock. I think it's 95 base power. Special poison type move. Yeah, I'm definitely learning this. So yeah, with this move, our Glamora will be stronger than ever. Yeah, let's, let's maybe just check the move. So yeah, we're kind of replacing Vanishock with 65 base power, which could get doubled. If the target is poisoned with a 95 base power move, which actually does the same, but doesn't get double damage, and it kind of works on the whole field, I believe, just like Surf with or maybe Lava Plume. So, yeah, that's kind of the downside of this Slash Wing move, but I think there's also an alternative called Slash Bomb. Which does a little less damage, like it's 90 base power and it just hits a single target, right? And it's also a special, it's poison type move, 100% accurate. But yeah, for now I think, yeah, Sludge Wave is definitely superior. Uh, so yeah, our Glamora will be able to face fairy types even more. Uh, effectively from now on. Also, grass types. Actually, yeah, poison is only super effective against grass and fairy, I believe. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Yeah, poison type is really not uh, suitable for an offensive Pokemon. I don't know. I think yeah, Poison is only super effective for Grass and Fairy. It's actually a really good defensive typing. 
Steel and Poison are probably the best defensive typings in the game. Also, Dragon is kind of good. I don't know. I don't know. I think Grass is not good defensively. Also, Ice and Rock, I think. Uh, yeah, the thing about Grass is it's not either not offensively and not even defensively good. Like, also, Bug. Similarly, also not good. Neither offensively nor defensively. Mm. Yeah, I'm kinda. I'm kinda stuck at this place, so. Maybe I fight, maybe. Can. Can I? Yeah, actually, I can, like, walk over here, but. I'm kinda having a bit trouble seeing things in front of me. Because of the. Uh, also, I believe. If, it, if a slope gets too. Like. I don't know, we'll see. But so far, I'm kinda going where I wanna go. Uh, like, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kinda like just uh, trying to move on the border of this snowy area because I believe that we'll kinda. Uh, oh, there's an item. Then we'll kinda enable me to get to the. onto Nevera. But I might be wrong, I'm not sure. At least I'm kind of going somewhere, right? And also catching new Pokemon. Oh yeah, there's... Oh no, watch for the Sneasel. So yeah, now we're kind of really high up the Glacido Mountain. Uh, there's a lot to see on Glacido Mountain, actually. Uh, we probably won't like. We, we, we will need some time to like check out everything because this is a really huge area. Now I just want to get to the Mountain of Era and maybe get our next batch. Ooh, so, uh, where are we actually? Let me see. Oh, yeah, we're kind of closing to the. Montenevera, yeah, so I probably will kind of walk across this bridge. <coughs> you see, right? So we're kind of avoiding this, uh, what's it? I don't know. Oh, what's... Is this... Um, actually, yeah. Oh, okay. So apparently... Yeah. There's also a town called Lacido, I bet. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're kind of avoiding that for now. I guess we kind of want to go to the. Uh, I think I'm, we'll probably need to glide over there. Or I don't know. I might. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I. I think I'm kind of going the right way, but. Oh, yeah, I might like. I'll see, but. Yeah, I'm really close to the. Oh, watch. Oh, no. Uh, okay, anyway. Yeah, uh, these uh, Grievert can, like, just dig themselves into the snow and. Oh, Bug Bus. This moves kind of. Yeah, it's probably the best special bug type move in the game. Uh, but, I don't know. Uh, bug is not really good offensively. I think I will probably need to drop uh, down there because uh, this isn't kind of. Uh, so how do I wanna, how do I want to reach Mountain Rare? I don't know. But yeah, apparently I'm not able to cross this bridge because it's kind of too up, up too high. We'll probably need to think some other way to. Actually, uh, is this already the Casserole Lake? There's the Poke Center, I believe. I don't know, I'll just like see what, what can be done, but I believe that... 
Good thing I can glide right. It would be, it would, it would be it, way harder if I weren't able to glide in my Corridor. This is some sparkling Pokemon over there. I don't know uh, how am I able, if I'm able to reach up there, but... Yeah, I'm kind of sliding down. So yeah, I'm kind of... Uh, let me just check out what level are these Pokemon over here. Just... I could go back up, but, you know. Let's just proceed. Can you please focus? So apparently, uh, the game doesn't allow me to focus. For a moment. Uh, wait, let's see. Can I focus? Okay, level 36. But it's kinda weird, I don't know. Uh, we've seen Pokemon at a higher level. Avalanche. Tackle, I think. Ooh! And Gimigo. Chest. Which we are not actually bothering anyone with. <laughs> uh, I think I see something there. I think there's a focus center down there. Uh, yep. Uh, maybe let's just go there because you know to have at least uh, a reference point to maybe return at some point. So yeah, apparently. If I continue to the Castro Lake, and uh, maybe I could actually manage to uh, get to Mountain Vera, but I don't know. I'm kind of avoiding Castro Lake because uh, Pokemon over there could be a bit high level. So let's just glide over to the Focus Center and. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, over here we might just end up in Montenuera if we continue. Oh, yeah, I see it now. If, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I got over the bridge, right? We could, like, proceed to the Montenuera, probably. Yep. That's weird. Actually, there's a lot of... I don't know. There are a lot of possible ways, like... I don't know. It isn't even necessary to go to Montenegro at this time. But I think it's probably the best uh, choice to do so. No. Maybe I could go all the way back and maybe just check. If... I don't know what what I missed like let's just check out. Yeah, actually. Let's maybe yeah, battle these people over here and Check out Sonics. Oh, there's an item. Yeah, we're gonna pick it. So yeah, really a lot of possible ways. Oh, there's a Pokemon we could catch. Yeah, let's maybe do so also. You could probably tell it's the Pokemon Evolution. I think it's called Avalog.
I'll stop you right time, just like Bermite. Uh, really high defense, but uh, other than that, pretty useless. Let's go with the quick ball. Critical catch. That's kind of convenient. Yeah, really, really a lot of critical catches. That's kind of suspicious. I think I'm gonna uh, take a quick break. So we're kind of back, uh, I think we kind of took a quick break, also the reason I I made a quick break was because uh, the game seems to be kind of slow and I think it's now, now it's a bit faster so uh, let's maybe battle the scientist person. Uh, apparently he's sick of something. I'm just so sick of research. I'll distract me so I can forget about my work for a while. <laughs> Interesting. I'm challenged by Roberto the scientist. Let's see what this we have. To send out what peculiar Pokemon is it? Oh, interesting, a Jolteon. Uh, this is actually one of the EV evolutions, and I think we actually saw it at some point, but didn't manage to catch it because it's kind of high level. I think we saw it. I might be wrong though. Uh, for that reason, I'm gonna probably go to my Artifacts. And yeah, the game seems to be again slow. I don't know why.
I really don't know why the game tends to be sometimes slow, sometimes it's okay, I don't know. I really don't know what's up with that. I have a theory that, yeah, in some places where there are a lot of people, it gets slow, but I don't know why over here. <laughs> so it's actually, I told him he's using pin my missile. I believe uh, it's a bug type move, like multi strike move, just like icicle spear. I don't know about its base power, but kind of bad move. But it probably hit like five times. Just because, you know. Yeah, of course it did. But yeah, let's go with the bit. Actually, I'm kind of wondering whether my Rex will be able to outrun this Jolteon. Um, it might not, because Jolteon is a really fast Pokemon. Yep, as you can see, it's still faster than my Ardvax. And they are kinda 10 levels apart or more. And I really hope it, that this Thunder Fang doesn't flinch my Ardvax because, oh yeah, it didn't. It could either flinch or paralyze, so yeah, I'm kinda, I'm kinda lucky, I guess. But at least Artibax will take it out in one hit because Jolton is pretty defensively weak and it will go down quickly. I think, yeah, that was his only Pokemon. And our Karibax, I believe, is, is leveling up. So yeah, our Armourouge, as usual, is the Pokemon with the lowest level. What's your training method? And what do you do? What do you feed your team? Are there moves from TMs? Yeah, actually, uh, I don't train my Pokemon at all, I'll just catch them. And I don't feed them with anything, actually, really. And yeah, I think I taught some Pokemon, my uh, TMs. Uh, yeah, that's about it for Roberto to sign this. Maybe let's check out what could be picked up if we went over this way. Still kind of intrigued. Ooh. There's another trainer over there. And actually, yeah, we're in. Oh, okay, we are actually in West Promise Area 3. Okay. The Academy has a super. Oh, let's maybe, maybe investigate. If you can defeat me, I'll tell you the Academy's big secret. Well, if you're gonna tell me... 
to, if you're planning to tell me a secret, then it's not going to be a secret anymore, is it? Without student. Aren't you the smartest student? Ah, Toxic Rope, yeah. Definitely. Good time to switch in our armors. So our artifacts could be healed up a bit. You definitely probably know that I'm gonna use Psy Shock on it, right? Just for that quadruple damage. Okay, so it can use Sucker Punch, so we probably will take a hit from that. In the next turn, if it does again, and also the student has two Pokemon. Actually, decided not to use Sucker Punch. That's kind of convenient. Oh, it's a, oh. I don't think we saw the Pokemon, but it's a water type. I think it's a water and a dark type. I could go maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe I could. Maybe. <sighs> should probably go with my. Hmm. <sighs> Let's go with Quick Wave. Because, yeah, I don't think it, it could happen that my Goldengo doesn't knock it out in one hit. I kind of want to avoid that. The Clawitzer is a bit defensive Pokemon. It has quite a quite, uh, special attack. But it's pretty slow. Also, I'm not sure, but it might be a uh, Violet exclusive. I think it is. Um, I think it is, actually. Like, I know that some Pokemon come in pairs which uh, are kind of exclusive to either Violet or Scarlet. I think a pair of Pokemon is like uh, Clawitzer and it's pre evolution. And the. What's it called again? That poison uh, seahorse Pokemon. I'm not sure what it is, but let's go with the cool sweep. I'm pretty sure this is a dark type Pokemon. Actually, it might not be. Yeah, actually, it's not. It's not a dark type. 
Ooh, it's gonna use a sword dance. It's kinda scary. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if it's scary because Clavister is designed to be a special attacker, not a physical one. So let's go again. Actually, no. Let's go for the acrobatics because I don't seem to use acrobatics at all. Like, because of ac acrobatics, our quick fail isn't holding an item. And I don't even use acrobatics at all. Because uh, I have other better options. Like, everything that flying types. Also, flying type is also uh, kind of awful offensively. It's only super effective to grasp, but and I believe fighting. And I can I can kind of counter all of those types using either fire or psychic on my armor. So yeah, it's, I don't know. Yeah, it's kind of. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I maybe could replace Acrobatic with something else, but I don't know. Actually, no, because I lost. Then I guess I've got no choice but to spill the beans. Okay, uh, so uh, apparently, yes, maybe, maybe maybe let's talk to him after the battle. Also, I tend to forgot, forget to talk to people after, the, after I battle them, because probably some have something else to say, right? Uh, what for the Grigorato? Let's hear the sequel. Academy had some kind of a big brahaha back when I first enrolled. All the teachers at the time quit. The teachers we got now were all hired after that. Interesting. So there seems to be some scandal at the academy apparently. Uh, that kind of forced a lot of people to quit. I don't know. Did you maybe hear about it? I'm not sure, but... Actually, this appears to be West Province, I don't know which area. And not Casula Lake. Interesting. I think, yeah, we were below. Mm -hmm. We definitely were below this place. I think we pretty much. Ooh. That's kind of. I don't know. The person standing right next to that bush was kind of weird. Uh, there are a lot of Bukuro here, and a person probably gonna battle that hiker soon. But let me see if there's anything else. A lot of gear link. There's an item, I believe. So yeah, we're probably supposed to go over here, right? But I kinda... Mm, choose the alternative routes. Yeah, maybe I should kinda read the science next time. <laughs> That's what happens if you don't read the science. Have we been there? Actually, I don't think we were. Kind of mistaken someplace. What else? Elsewhere. Right. Uh, should I go down there? I don't know, but let's maybe just check out this place. I think my game is a bit faster. Uh, apparently. Oh no! Oh, that was. Come on. Funny because whenever you kind of run into a pack of Pokemon, they all just all others seem to disappear, but the one running ran into it. Why couldn't they just disappear whenever they see me? So that we don't actually even meet. Pommy.
I thought the game was a bit faster, but actually not. But this place kind of seems familiar, though. How have we been here? This place really... Oh, actually we haven't. Otherwise this TM would be picked up. Body slam. Oh. Yeah, this moves really... It has really bad accuracy. I think it has 80 something base power. And it has a high chance of paralysis. paralysis. It's a physical, normal type contact move. You know what? I think I'm gonna go down there as well. Yeah, really, I should have read the signs, but I didn't, so... Uh, that's kind of why we are kind of all over the place. Uh, that's over there, actually. Something green's moving, so it probably is a Pokemon. Is that a Veru? Oh, I'm back in my mind. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, I wasn't kind of sure what it, what it is, but. So, actually, I don't know where this leads. We continue from here. Let me check the map. Oh, interesting. So is this actually still Castle Royale? If, it, if I continue down there? Uh, okay, yeah, I think. Let's maybe check that place down there. Uh, we can fly over here, apparently. Let's see. I'm probably gonna go back from where I came down and battle all those trainers later and actually there doesn't seem to be much to see over here. I don't know, I don't see any items. Oh, there's an item actually. Speaking of items. There's a Murkrow on the branch, I don't know if you see it, but I kind of noticed the fairy tale shot. I kind of noticed the question mark, I think, or what is it, explanation, I don't know, exclamation mark, I don't know, on top of its head, so it's kind of, it kind of indicates that the Pokemon either, uh, just, yeah, we're kind of, that caster are like, I don't wanna... yeah, I kinda don't like this place at this moment. You can also see Slowpoke Evolution. That's Geary. What level is this? Yeah, yeah, I kinda over leveled, so... Yeah, I probably should not explore this area. I mean, my Pokemon could probably take on it, but... Hmm. I want to save this for later. So we're kind of going back up. I could actually, I could fly after I beat all the trainers. Probably do that. I think there are two trainers that needed to be battled.
Mm. I'm wondering whether there is something on that piece of land next to the waterfall on the right. I know this kind of one. Just need to check, right? I think there's a gimmick coin. Oh, the bridge. Oh, so it also decided to rain like perfection. Just what we needed, right? What about this train? The train over there. How we battled them? I think we did. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we. Oh, ten gimmick coins for some reason. Did we battle? I think we did battle that train. Watch for the trophies. Let me double check. But I'm pretty sure we did battle that. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we did battle this person. Yep. Never mind. We've been there. We've been up there, right? We haven't been over there, so I'm kind of wondering what's what's that about. Probably, I will probably pick it first and then talk to the person who kind of wants to talk, but we all know what they want. Yep, that didn't, that didn't, that didn't, that even didn't need to light. Jump over here. Where can you? Okay. It's kind of worth it. Back to the person and battle them. Hey, talk to me. Thanks. Now it's well. Yeah, well. I'm kind of shocked that you want to battle me. Like, nobody wants to battle me if I talk to them. Challenged by Hiker Estelle. Ugh. She's sending out Whisk Cash, which is actually the same typing as Gastrodon, so that's kind of annoying. Um, Whisk Cash is actually a Barboot evolution, which we still haven't caught yet. It's kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with my... Yeah, actually go with, with artifacts. Just like I faced off Gastrodon. It seems to be a reliable strategy, I guess. Uh, oh, I still haven't killed it. Ugh. I could also go like for a quick wave line just like do neutral rain boosted aqua step, but whatever. Just you know, uh, water is kind of not effective against water, but it is super effective against ground, so Whisk Cash would take neutral damage, but it would be boosted by stab and also boosted by rain. So it's like it would be taking super effective damage. Because Water uh, because uh, rain boosts boosts the power by 50% and also stab boosts the power by 50%. So it's like boosting the power by super effective. 
yeah. Water pulse, 60 base power, special water type move, uh, which has a chance to confuse. But uh, luckily, did not. So let's go for the Icicle Spear. This time we won't be uh, using Ground Club because we know that Icicle Spear could do better. Yep, I think yeah. Uh, oh, actually this was a critical hit, so let's see. This also seemed like a quick look it, but actually it wasn't. I think, yeah, this guy's is down. about it. We still need to battle another trainer up there. Wow, you're bold. Thanks. So yeah, we're kind of looking for... Oh, watch out for Wiggle Rep. Yeah, that train over there. Also, Deer Link seem to be... Yeah, Pokemon just don't care about where they just like... It's just light. They're just in the wild like it would be sunny or something. Uh, I don't know. It could, have, it could have made this better. A little bit more realistic. Like... A backpacker is only weakness. We really could make this be bit of realistic, like, like even animals in the wildlife that tend to fight when there are kind of chaotic weather uh, conditions. Backpackers only look at steel type moves. Interesting. So yeah, too bad our Goldinga doesn't learn any steel type moves. I mean, it does learn metal sound, but that's fine. And not damaging. And let's see what does he mean. Steel types are his only weakness. Backpacker Neil. What do you mean? Just explain by sending your Pokemon out. <laughs> Interesting. The Lithion is a grass type evolution of Eevee. Uh, actually, I probably don't clarify whether these evolutions oh yeah you can call them evolutions because they're kinda EV evolutions you can, uh, you can kinda shorten it like because there are a lot of them right like nine of them evolve from EV uh, so yeah let's go for yeah. <laughs> let's go for cool quail actually because ooh yeah <laughs> let's go for the oh uh, yeah 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 for more Let's demonstrate this leisurely for the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could either go with my Quick Fable, but then I kind of remember that Quick Fable is weak to grass type moves. Um, yeah, this Pokemon 
Uh, I, I could go with armor rush, but armor rush kind of weakened in the rain because it's a fire type move. Mm, so it, that's why I decided to go with my Gumora because it's probably the best choice in such weather. But it does take, I believe, neutral damage from grass type move because rock is kind of weak to grass, but then again, poison kind of neutralizes that. Um, when was attacking my yeah, I'll leave, yeah, I don't actually, uh, when we see these evolutions, I don't say whether they are good or not, I mean, all evolutions are actually good for Pokemon, it just depends on, like, what do you want to achieve, like, if you want to have a strong, physically defensive grass type that can, like, hit physically also, you want to go for Lithium, uh, if you want a fast, Special attacker that's I don't know has some special attack and it's really fast and it's electric type, then you want to go for Jolteon. If you want to, I don't know, a specially defensive uh, fire type that can hit hard physically, you want to go for Flareon. That's like depends what you want, right? But yeah, evolutions are in general, evolutions are good Pokemon, so, just, you know, whatever suits for you, you know. Um, I don't actually have a favorite evolution, they're all good, and that's the beauty of Eevee, like, you can um, choose multiple Pokemon. You can also have, like, a team full of evolutions, if you want, like, some people might eat that. I don't know. Oh, furry giraffe. Ooh, interesting. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with my Tinkerton with this one. Because furry giraffe, you can probably, I don't know, can you maybe guess by the name that this is the giraffe evolution? It's really similar. And I'm gonna go with my Tinkerton. I think I chose Tinkerton, right? I really hope I chose Tinkerton because think about this Pokemon for Giraffe is that is Psychic and a normal type. So if I went with my Goldengo, uh, I won't be doing a lot. I mean, I will I will do nothing because of the normal typing is kind of immune to Ghost type moves. For that reason, I'm going to switch in my Tinkerton, which knows Skitter Smack. Could also go with artifacts because it knows bite. Oh, and the rain stopped. That's kinda convenient. Also, uh, Mabo Steve has some. I don't know, probably seeing something and it's kinda loud in the background. So, yeah, for each draft, is the draft rate solution. I don't know. Not a very good Pokemon at all. I don't know why they decided to give Giraffe an evolution which is really not useful. They could like make it a bit useful. But this thing is really not useful. I believe it has some ability that kinda of prevents all the priority moves. Like it's immune to priority moves. That's kinda of the probably most interesting part about this Pokemon. That it's immune up to priority moves, but other than that Reduces. It's like I don't know. It's kind of, it has a cool design though. And also, apparently, yeah, it did not take a lot from Skip Smack. At least it, its special attack was lowered. He's trying to use ability and kind of outrun my Tinkerton. To we'll see if, if it managed to do so. But yeah. I'm going for the skitter smack again. Let's see which one is faster. Yeah, my ticket is still faster. Yeah, because it's 12 levels higher. Uh, it's still. Yeah, it just to be faster.
Darn, you saw through my lie. What lie? I don't know what. I don't know what he or she is talking about. Don't even remember what they were saying to us. Anyway, oh, please stay. Good boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was kind of close. So yeah, we kind of managed to. Uh, I think yeah. I think that was the last trainer, right? Kind of free to go. Uh, should we check what's about that terror raid or I think we also battle this person, right? Yeah, it seems so. Let's maybe just check out what's over there. Also think the game is a bit faster now, for some reason. Yeah, snowstorm. It's kind of annoying because I, I mean, trouble seeing things. Ooh, is that the one of the ten stars over there? Ooh. This looks interesting. Actually. Yeah, actually, that's Lucido's Rasp. I don't know if you remember it, but we kinda uh, heard about it in the last art class with Mr. Hassel. Uh, actually, yeah. We were actually really close to it, and we still haven't checked it before taking the class. So, yeah, this Lucido Grasp could be the first thing you've seen in Lucido, actually. Uh, what's this raid about? It's a probably something. Well, ah, oh, well, at least our Terra was recharged. I don't know where we used the Terra. Or I actually, cannot remember. So let's maybe check out this area though. Oh, watch for the. Revert. Metronome. Oh, that move is really awful. I don't know if you remember the battle back in the minefield. I mean, awful. Like it requires no skill whatsoever. I don't know who would want that. Although it's kind of fun. Actually, I believe there's some battling format where people can use only metronome. And it's pure, it's pure luck, like, you know. The person who wins is the person with better luck, I guess. It's like, I don't know. Competing which person has a better RNG. Uh, at least. Which person hits the better seed. Yeah, so. I think we, if we. Yeah, yeah, if we continue over here, we'll get to the focus center, right? Hmm. Wait, what? If we continue over there. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I could maybe go check out, but. Oh yeah, now I can. I kind of see it. Oh, actually, we're really close to the. Interesting. We're really close to the. Uh, star. The team star base. Mm. Let's maybe check out uh, over, over down there. It could be maybe. Wait. We still have a printer over here, right? Yeah, I know. It's. I don't know. It's, it's probably not a large area for riding our riding. Uh, let's see. What could be picked up on the floor? Why oh, still? Okay. 
I still don't know which boss. Actually, yeah, you can evolve if you're using Ice Stone. Delibor Pass. This is the material of a Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Uh, yeah, I think Delibor is Pokemon which could be found over here. Apparently this leads somewhere. It's kind of hoping for the, for a dead end, but yeah, I think there there's a dead end. I, think. I mean, you can like go and like swim across the waterfall. Yeah, here's the fall. I think here's the bottom. Yeah. I don't know actually if you, if it's smart to swim over here because you're probably gonna end up down the waterfall. But apparently I can uh, reach up here. Mm. There's a sparkling Pokemon over there. Let's check it out where it is. Yeah, it disappears right why? Oh no, oh, actually, that's kind of interesting because it looks like the Citadel Evolution. And it's kind of a good thing we managed to run into it because we still haven't caught it. Actually, there is also the Snow World, which we will catch probably after that. Of course, I'm gonna go with the Quick Ball. So good. Ah. Yeah. Actually, yeah, this Pokemon, I don't know, we probably talked about it, right? It has quite a lot of hit points. Also, quite. I think it has pretty good physical attack. The problem with it is that it's slow. But you can punch that using its hidden ability, Slush Rush. So, whenever you use it in snow, no, in snow, like weather condition, not only it has boosted defense by 50%, but it also has speed up. Oh, it decided to use bounce. It kind of sucks. Yeah, bounce is a really similar move to dig. I think it's actually a uh, flying type equivalent. But actually, there are two flying types. Flying type moves that do this effect. Uh, one is fly and the other one is bounce, I guess. So I think I'm gonna go with recover. Because there's really nothing else I can do. Also, bounce has a high. Uh, I mean has a bit of lower accuracy, but we managed to hit. We oh. also could paralyze my golden goal, but it didn't. Ooh, interesting, so... Yeah... I think that its ability just activated. Because, you see, it, it, it moves first. Kind of weird. So now it's kind of, yeah. I think yeah, because it started snowing. Its ability, slush rush, was probably activated, and that, yeah. Oh, oh. Actually, probably we have like our golden go and so I don't have. Oh, yeah. Thanks for that, RNG. Also, it's a quite rare Pokemon side. So I'm kind of bummed about that. 
Ugh. It kind of sucked. Oh well, I still, still can't catch Snowman, right? Yeah, Snow, yeah, I think we disguise this, right? It has the ability that uh, starts the snow, like snow weather condition, snow warning, whenever it switches in the, into a battle. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Uh, that could happen when Pokemon be far, right? We would be much more happy. Yeah, from a critical hit to a critical catch, yeah. What are... What crazy odds, though? I think, yeah, critical hit and critical catch have probably the same probability of happening. Otherwise, why would they be both critical, right? One should be something else. I think they, 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 they should cause something else. If not a critical catch, or I don't know. Yes, a snower, like a grass ice Pokemon, which has a lot of issues with fire type Pokemon, which you can probably tell. But not only fire type, it has probably a lot of weaknesses, like it's weak to fighting, rock, steel, um, what else? Fire, of course, uh, flying, uh, poison, uh, just so many weaknesses, like. Bug, yeah, really a lot of weaknesses this Pokemon has. Because it has two really bad defensive typings. Also, yeah, also fire type is kind of poor defensive typing. But I think it's kind of good for fencing one. Because like, it hits super effectively steel, grass, bug... What else? <laughs> yeah. Actually, that's it, is it? Mm. I can't think of anything else. And defensively, it's kind of weak to ground, water, rock. Yeah, I think that's it. So now I'm just kind of exploring this area for some reason. What's actually happening? Thank you. There's the belly bolt, I believe, right? Which we already caught. And, yeah, back in tech for thick. I remember. There's TM. Uh, is that a team star base? Kind of looks like it does. I think after we, I think we, after we, we've done 
uh, actually after we battle the Montenevera gym leader. We could like go check that out after. Could be a good idea though. Hmm. So for now I'm just like checking out over here. Ooh, interesting. What's over there? Do you see a cave, maybe? In that island. It's kind of interesting. Ooh, uh, ooh, there probably... Yeah, that, that's uh, Sneasel Evolution. Let's try to catch it. I believe if you want to evolve Sneasel into this Pokemon, you need to, some, need to use some item. Like, uh, like some evolution item you need to use some season and you manage to evolve into this thing. This is Weavile and it's a dark, nice, just like Sneasel Pokemon. Mm. I think I talked about Sneasel's evolutions, right? I think I'm, oh yeah, a quick ball. Also, I'm kind of running low on Thunderbolt's power points. Actually, I could like heal my Pokemon to Pocket Center. Or I could also like use Lapaberry or Ether. Okay, so not a critical catch. Yeah, definitely not a critical catch. Of course. When you need a critical catch, it doesn't happen. When you don't need it, it happens. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, our gold angle can take ice type moves. You see that it still like takes the additional effects like its speed has dropped, etc. Right? Mm. Actually there is ex there exists an item that could prevent that. And if you give it to a Goldingo, it's like really, I don't know, it's really hard to take down because uh, it's of course immune to all status moves with its really good as well. And it also cannot like uh, take the additional effects from moves. Like for example, uh, lowering of the speed, right? So yeah, if I ever manage to find that move. I could maybe give it to Goldengo, but I think Goldengo is kinda good holding an amulet coin. Let's go with an Ultra Ball. After that we're gonna check that hole in the island. Probably something interesting there. That's about it. Another Pokedex registry. Also, a Golden Goal leveled up. Actually, uh, yeah, I could maybe with my Armorush. That wouldn't be so bad, would it? Because he's kind of falling high, and this is actually a good place to train Armorush because. We can manage to defeat all the ice types in the area. Maybe I should a bit like yeah, let's maybe lead with Arm Rouge a bit. But that means kinda yeah, changing the items. I could like maybe swap items between Arm Rouge and Goldingo.
Mm. Yeah, let's maybe uh, switch armor with Goldengo and also I could maybe heal Artemax. Could probably lead, heal a lot of Pokemon, but before that I probably wanna just swap the items between Armor and Goldengo. So yeah, I'm kind of healing Pokemon. I'm not uh, like talking about it. This is probably like uh, kind of self-explanatory, right? Although I could maybe I'll just go and kill them to the Poké Center, right? So yeah, this is probably taking too long, but you know, you should have healed, I should have healed them before, right? Yeah, actually that's pretty much it, right? I think we're good to go and <laughs> finally check out the hole in the island. Probably some items over here. I can't expect that. Yeah, TM. It better be something good. Focus blast. Oh yeah, this move is really good. Like, heh. <laughs> I didn't know, but it is probably the best special fighting type move in the game. The problem with it is that it's really inaccurate. Like, it has 70% of accuracy, which could like. It is known to. Competitively, it is known to piss a lot of people off. Like, ugh. Like, hmm. You're better off if you wanna have it. I don't know. Let's say you wanna have this fighting type coverage, right? You're, you're better off, like, having fighting terra type 
and using Terra Blast as a, as a special attacker than using that move because you will do like almost the same damage as you would with, if you use Focus Blast without stab as you would do if you used Terra Blast with stab fighting it's, it's the same damage but Terra Blast is like 100% accurate while Focus Blast is only 70 so yeah usually you want to have Focus Blast on your Pokemon just for coverage like I don't know, to hit more Pokemon ugh, I didn't manage to get up there let's see if I can do it again uh, I almost thought it was the C Titan, but it wasn't No, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, there is no way to pick that item up. Is it? Or actually, yeah, I just managed to. <laughs> you know, you need to, maybe sometimes you need to think about. Other... Oh, yeah, I think. Ooh, Dark Pulse. Yeah, that's also a good. Special move, dark type thing. Yeah, we discussed. Oh yeah, so if I send down there, I can probably take on the team star. Uh, what again? Is it called base? Right, team star base. Yeah. Are there any trainers down here? Like I'm just gliding, and there could be like trainers waiting to battle. I didn't know. Actually, that idea of checking that Team Star base isn't a, a bad idea at all. Should we go for it? Like, yeah, I haven't done a Team Star base battle in a really long time. So yeah, maybe let's go. Let's go do that. So we're kind of ignoring the. Montenegro gym. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess let's let's go do that. I don't know. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Maybe I could all, like just go down there and check out the whole area. Maybe. Uh, explore things on the way back up. Yeah, that would be probably a smart idea. Wait. I don't know. Uh, let's go this way anyway. Startle Cup 2. Ah, oh, this scientist needs more data. Are we leading with uh, armor? Yeah, we are, okay. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna lead for, with armor in this area. Like, I've decided my research subject for today. Allow me to collect some data from you. you. Challenged by Inazio, the scientist. I don't know how you pronounce that name. Ignacio Inazio. Ooh, interesting. He sent out his magnetone, which is the first time we're seeing, but we managed to evolve our magnetone into it. We know the drill. I think a lot of them will do just fine. Ooh, actually, this person has a lot of Pokemon. Let's see how many of them can our armor take on. Huh? 
Yep, a piece of cake. Hmm, I think I just remember the other ability that Magneton and Magnezone could have. Uh, if they're not having Magnetol, they're having Sturdy, so... In both ways, they're kind of annoying. And also, our armor is just learning a move. Let's see what it is. Oh, Flamethrower. Oh, yeah. We're definitely replacing Lava Plume with it. If we remove that one. That's it. Oh yeah, I think... Yeah, two more Pokemon, right? Ooh, Muck. Interesting. Yeah, let's go with Armor Rouge again. Muck is the Grimer evolution. And... Yeah, it's a Poison type, so... Uh, going with Psyshock will do just fine. Yeah, actually, that was a good idea that I'm leading with armor use because apparently it can take like most of this person's team. Also, Mark is kind of especially defensive, so it's a good thing uh, that Psystark does physical damage instead of. I mean, it, the damage being done is calculated using armor use special tank, but it's kind of. It is also calculated depending on the target's physical defense, not special defense, so that's why it's gonna hit harder than it would if... Yep, you see. It hit harder than it would if you, if game used max special defense, because it's a more special defensive Pokemon than it's physical. Yep, a lot of experience points again for Armor Rouge. Also, a uh, Hypno. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with my Goldingo. Actually, mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wanna go with Goldingo, of course, because. I can just use a Shadow Ball and the battle will be over. <laughs> hey, I kind of suddenly decided to go for the Team Star base instead of the next gym. Actually, there's a reason. Because I kind of know that in that Steam Star base I can find a TM, which I can teach to my more. It could be useful. Yeah, so I'm kind of doing that. Also, this Shadow Ball animation is pretty cool. At least, I think so. <laughs> also, I think it's managed to level up. Also, Glamora is quite uh, close to leveling up too.
Why can I seem to capture your data? <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you recorded this battle, like that's kind of enough data about me. I know what else you you, you want from me. Also, uh, oh, interesting, a Pokemon we haven't caught yet. Ooh, this Pokemon, yeah, this Pokemon is a Snom Evolution. Yeah, it's really weak to fire. It's a ice punk Pokemon, and it's also some of the worst typings ever put on a Pokemon. Like so many weaknesses this Pokemon has. It has quadruple weakness to both fire and rock. That's that's terrible. This is really terrible typing. Like I think I'm gonna go with the quick ball because I. This Pokemon is also, I know, a bit. I think it's also a bit weak defensively, so yeah, really bad defensive typing. Uh, yeah, weakness to fire, quadruple weakness to fire, quadruple weakness to rock, weakness to uh, fly, weakness to steel, weakness to uh, what else? Fighting. Weakness to. So many common weaknesses, like. Just terrible, terrible typing. Like two quadruple weaknesses, that's that's really. It's probably worst thing you can have. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if any other Pokemon has two quadruple weaknesses. I mean quadruple, like double weakness, I don't know. Uh, quadruple damage weakness, you know what I mean, right? At least it's in our, it's in our Pokédex, so... But yeah, despite that, really bad Pokémon. Like yeah, some Pokemon are just doomed by they by their typing. Like I don't know. The only kind of really popular exception to this is the last evolution of Larvitar, which has quite a lot of weaknesses. It has double weakness to fighting, but it manages it managed to be quite good comparatively throughout. Oh no, I think. Yeah, in this generation, that kind of it kind of fell off from the overused view. Or all the previous generation, it was known to be a quite good choice. You probably won't see that Pokemon do out. So. Oh yeah, there's a bear. There's a bear tick which might. Also running to me. Uh, apparently I could not get away. Oh come on, are you serious? So what I'm is not fast enough to control this. But at least uh, yeah, well we won't take a lot of damage from this ice wing. So yeah. Oh I see another KO. Interesting. You see it too, yeah. Um, yeah, St the speed drop won't help me uh, ultra like flee from this battle at all. Oh, okay, thank God. That was kind of. Yeah, literally standing right next to me. Oh, come on. Okay, yeah, move. Thanks. But there's another Sneasel, right? So, yeah, let's quickly get out of here. You can see the K, right? I want to kind of carefully move another deliberate parcel. 
we still haven't caught that bird. Am I able to reach that cave at all? Yeah, probably, but I need to like uh, go from go from other direction. There's a ruinous place you can probably see. We kind of need to cross the gap between the river. close. I kinda am afraid of this waterfall water because I kinda do believe that if there's a too much strong stream in, in the river it can just like uh, like flush you away and I don't want that to happen. Yeah we picked some gimmick coins just, just because <laughs> Really, no particular reason to do to pick up local coins. Since I already evolved mine. Rare candy. Oh, a TM up there. I kind of remember that we still have to pick some TMs on these higher platforms in the ruinous places. We kind of missed because we weren't able to jump as high. Overheat. Oh, this this move is a really good one. It has 140 base power, I believe. It's a fire special move. It has this like drawback of like lowering the user's special attack after it hits, and it's only 90% accurate. So I guess it could be patched using wildlands, but so yeah, it's kind of if you take account that you can switch out after this. Stat drop, it's a pretty good move. Like all those moves that kind of have this stat drop and which are have quite high base power and are also quite accurate are all good. Like you'll see more examples of this, like because even despite having stats drop, you can always switch out after. Because, yeah, most of the times, right, the move is so powerful that it will probably... Ooh, Icy Rock. Yeah, so that's, that's the rock that kind of extends this snow weather condition. Mm. So, yeah, most of the times, you're going to probably use those moves against Pokemon, which are weak to, to them, right, to the typing. But, and because of the high power, they're going to be... Uh, Pokemon are gonna like just be knocked out because of that. Like, um, so yeah, that's kind of why they're good, right? Uh, it's also I don't know. Also, it's a bad idea like to switch something else into a um, such high power move, right? Because even if it if a Pokemon resists it, it's gonna take quite some damage um, because of the high power, right? So yeah, uh, yeah, these moves are really good, but also they kind of have this drawback of low power points. So yeah, I guess kind of kind of decide for yourself. But people seem to you to be using these moves with like high base power, high accuracy, but stat drops. People seem to use that. Poison jab again. Hmm, I'm not sure where does this lead, but if we continue down there, we'll probably get to the base, right? That's kind of obvious. Hmm. Let's maybe check out what's over here. Oh, we can see a frogless, like, apparently, frogless can spawn at this place. 
Actually, no, that's the, that's the, out, that's the, that's the, uh, what's it called again? Outbreak, right? So yeah, we can actually find wild fathers in, at that place. So yeah, if I would, if I would know that this would happen to me, I wouldn't use the downstone. But anyway, it doesn't matter, like, I will still get, we'll still get more. Oh, downstones, I believe. Yeah, I actually, I don't think anything else was using a downstone. Does it? I don't think anything else evolves using downstone except for Kirlia and Snow Ranch. And even those two need to be gender specific. Like, Kirlia needs to be male and. Storm needs to be a female. Kinda weird. Oh, there's a trainer. Uh, over here, there should be a... Yeah, you can see Frogless. Yeah, we found a mass outbreak of Frogless. Actually, this is really good if you want a shiny Frogless, like... Because you can just hunt for it in that... Out, in, in such a mass outbreak, right? Hmm... Because if you want shiny frosts, you're gonna have a hard time just hunting T snoring because they could be either male or female, and you don't want them to be male, right? Because you cannot evolve a male snoring in the frostless. Also, a uh, kind of annoying thing about frostless is hard to like differentiate between normal and shiny frostless. So, mm, okay, let's battle person. I think it is, this is kind of a dead end, so I don't think I can proceed anywhere from here. That uniform, yeah, he probably can assume that I'm a student. Ah, okay. Apparently he, he's just complimenting us that our uniform looks really good on us. <laughs> Do we think it would look good on them too? I don't know. I guess uh, he looks kinda too old to be a student. We're challenged by Backpacker Marco. And a Frosus is just like lurking behind him. Okay, so yeah, he decided to go with Mother Steve, which. It's not really favorable against my armor use, which will need to switch out. Uh, probably gonna switch out in my Quake Quavo. That will do the trick. Yeah, you probably can guess that I'm gonna use Slow Sweep. Actually, the interesting thing about snow weather condition is it's kind of redefined in this generation. Previous generation it was kind of it wasn't snow; it was hail, and it managed to deal damage every every turn to Pokémon that are not ice types. Uh, that was it. It did not provide any defense boost to ice type Pokémon. Unlike snow in this generation. And that's the only change, I guess. Oh, this, this trainer has three Pokemon, so this is gonna be a bit longer.
and there goes the maxi on a quick level. So yeah, quick level can, can really become quickly dangerous using maxi and aqua step like. It could be really terrifying. Oh, interesting. So he's going to send a Vaporeon. Vaporeon is the water type evolution of Eevee. And the thing about this Pokemon is it has a lot of hit points. So I think I'm. Oh, the last. The very last Thunderbolt. Yeah, probably. It won't, it won't take it down. You know what? I'm just gonna stay in with my. Uh, yeah, quick wave. And I will probably go with acrobatics because that's probably the most damaging move I can do on my Vaporeon, on this Vaporeon. Like, both sleep will only be like 90% 90 base power. Like, if I multiply by 1.5, right, because I get stabbed for it. But it's still less than 110 base power, which I could get from acrobatics, because then, oh, yeah, yeah, quick fail is not holding anything, yeah, I was kind of afraid that quick fail is kind of holding something, but it isn't, so yeah, acrobatics is kind of the best choice against this reporting, and yeah, it's going down because of the moxie boost, but, yep, that was kind of efficient. Uh, no need to use the last Thunderbolt on my... Go again, go. Another box of boost. Yeah, like, quick build is just dangerous. It's, it can get fast and it can also make itself hit hard just by using Moxie and yeah, I'm definitely staying for the Wii one, or I could also go with my Gugmora. I guess let's also go through this Wii one. I guess this is kind of an interesting battle. And that's, that concludes our battle. Yeah, this is also the reason why I'm not using Queen Pell right now, because it could become a monster really quick if, it, if I wanted to. Just because of Moxie and Aqua Step, like. That combination is kind of scary. Even competitively, it, even competitively, but is that a no? Yeah, I guess not. Hmm. Yeah, that's about it, right? Where is it? Actually, I can go somewhere up here. It's kind of late somewhere, apparently. Does it? Yeah, I think it does. I'm just, I'm not sure where. Oh no! Like, you see it, right? It just like, it just appeared in like a second before I walked in. Oh, no. But at least the game is saved, right?
Okay, an item. Probably should not be dashing. Because of the reason that just happened. So yeah, apparently this leads to some... I'm not sure where, but... Yeah, apparently. Somewhere oh, over there, I know. I don't know. Maybe this kind of leads to Mountain Vera. Yeah, this seems to lead to Mountain Vera. So, for that reason, maybe I just like should go back to the. Maybe I should kind of register the Pokedex. We'll probably pick on that round when I manage to. Uh, like take care of take care of things through in this base, right? I'm just gonna glide to the poke center. Interesting, so we could maybe claim the rewards. Should we? Maybe we should. And um, we can also catch the Pokemon we're gonna sink. Oh, actually, we cannot claim rewards just yet, but after defeating four trainers, we can. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna cast this Pokemon. Actually, this turns 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 out to be another evolution of Snowrent, uh, but this one could be either male or female, and it doesn't need an evolution item. It just needs to level up, and it's really bad Pokemon. Like Frostless is the superior evolution to this Lily. Oh yeah, now yeah. let's go with Creep Ball. Maybe I should use Psy Shock on it. Yeah, actually I could. Probably not. I'm gonna take it out in one hit, will it? We'll do some serious damage, but probably not take it one down in one hit. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go for the Ultra Ball. So he doesn't want to go in. I'm kind of, I'm kind of afraid that this ice fang might freeze my armor. Rouge.
This may be check out Pokedex. Never know, we may we may just get something interesting. Ooh, 254. It's quite a lot. We probably get like yeah, three words. Star pieces to sell. Fastball. Interesting. Actually, this ball is kind of exclusive to these rewards. Like, you cannot get this type of Pokeball otherwise. I think you can get at the Cascarafa auctions. But it's. Yeah, it's pretty rare. Also, another star piece of. Yeah, apparently, yeah. These uh, balls are kind of rare. Also, yeah, friend ball, also a type of ball you can usually obtain in the game, but you can only obtain through the auctions and apparently through the these Pokemon, the uh, Pokedex rewards. Um, yeah, so we're kind of this book contender. Kind of hear some Game Go cries. Let's maybe explore a bit of this area. Is that? Oh yeah. Have we been there? Uh, I kind of don't remember. <laughs> Let's check out. For sure. For more Vertic in Cup 2. I'm kind of sure we were there, I'm not sure. I think we were there, right? Were we there? Oh, watch for the Brugmite. I think we were, so I should probably. Ooh, interesting. Uh, Snow Revolution. Maybe I can sneak up on it. Really quietly. Probably I'm just gonna catch this, not this one, but the other one. I'm probably gonna go for a break because actually. We've been to go see the mountain and still we haven't encountered a Frigibax. So yeah, apparently they are kind of rare, right? But I believe that they spawn near the Glacido grass. At least that's where I found my shiny one. Like, I think I started to hunt it over there. And eventually I found a shiny myself. So actually shinies in this game are really not that difficult to find. Uh, you just... Yeah. If you want to catch shinies, you need to complete uh, the Pokedex. And also, you want to do a lot of 6-star terror raids. If you want to officially find shiny Pokemon. Um, you could like not do those things and still hunt for shinies but your chances will be kind of lower than if you do that so yeah the part of part of the reason why we're completing projects yeah is because we can hunt for shinies later in the game
I was kind of hoping this to be a critical catch, but it isn't. And this thing will probably come out. But it... maybe. Oh. Okay. Oh, right. That's it. Yeah, a bomb is not right. Oof. I don't know. Maybe this Pokemon in this generation got a bit better than the last ones, but the last ones was kind of bad. This one, because it got a bit better because of the snow weather condition, which boosts its defense by 50%. I think I'm good for a break. So I believe we kinda left off here. Really close to the Team Star base. Where we actually are headed also. And uh, we are just kinda exploring the area. Uh, I think we caught some Pokemon uh, in the nearby. We can also probably hear some Gimme Go cries, but I don't know. If I'm gonna buy that. So then maybe let's just push it down. 2D, oh, okay, yeah. So you can see a pack of loads of uh, weasel, a bronze on an item over here that we should probably pick. Oh, interesting. Uh, jump off topic. Uh, we caught already jump so far. Let me just double check because I'm almost 100% sure. Yeah, we did. But I don't think we caught this Pokemon, did we? And there's probably Arwen calling us. Uh, actually, not not Arwen, but Cassiopeia. Yes. I believe Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? Only two buses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. But I'm curious, Dennis. What do you think of Cassiopeia? Uh, I don't know. They're a bag of riddles, I guess. Is that so? Personally, I don't think Caspia feels any hate or resentment towards Team Star. No, there must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall. But what could it be? Well, I'd get I'd best get back to keeping watch. Call for me if you decide to take on the base, okay?
sounds like a plan, I guess. But yeah, thanks, uh, Clive, for interrupting us because I think we actually found a Pokemon which we haven't caught so far. And suddenly we're just right, right in front of the Team Star base. So yeah, that was kind of. Oh yeah, exactly. More Pokemon which haven't been caught. Vivian, actually. Um, I'm probably gonna catch this one. Like. Oh, actually, I could use an Ad Ball. Since. Yeah, this is a bug type Pokemon. And we haven't caught one in a really long time, I believe. Also, Vivian is the. I believe Scatterbug Evolution, is it? Uh, I'm not sure, but we're catching it. Uh, let me go with the quick ball first, and if this fails, uh, I don't know. Let's see what I can do. So apparently, it yeah doesn't get to see it doesn't seem to get so easily in the Pokeball. Just yeah, the Vivian is one of those Pokemon which has a lot of forms, but doing this in this game you can get specifically this form. You cannot get any other forms like. You need to like uh, transfer other forms from other games, I believe. I'll try with this ball, I don't know. I'm kinda not confident enough that I could like lower its HP. Oh, so apparently that was a critical catch. Kinda glad that happened. Yes, I don't know. I'm not sure how could I proceed to, to like improve my chances of catching it. Also, I believe we can also see a Pokemon which we haven't caught. On our right, we can probably see a Goldar, which is actually a Psyduck evolution. And we're going after it next. So yeah, Vivian in our Pokedex. I think we already... I think we saw it, like, back in Kodando, but... I don't believe we actually... Uh, battled it yet. Uh, yeah, actually... Uh, we haven't caught... Psyduck, I mean Goldak yes. This I believe I see Lilgant over there. Yeah, Goldak, Psyduck Evolution. I it's not really uh, useful. I believe I kind of emphasize it by some interesting moves. I'm gonna go with the. Uh, I guess I'll go with. I don't know. Let's go with Flame 4. Like on purpose. I know that it won't do a lot of damage. But we still do. Oh, I could go with the Quick Ball, but probably. I know. It doesn't seem to like work. That's such a low Pokemon. Oh, so he's going with the Hydro Pump, which could be, I guess, kind of troublesome. Yeah, definitely troublesome indeed. Yeah, we'll heal up our armor soon. 
Um, I will kind of go with my blue more, I guess, and use the more spin against it. Also, probably should like go to the poker center and maybe heal up my team. Because uh, I'm I still think that I'm kind of running low on PP and some of my own moves. Also, Glamora could also suffer from Hydro Pump if it manages to hit. But whatever, let's just catch this thing. I don't even mind, like. Uh, if my Pokemon get knocked out at this point, I guess I'm probably gonna heal at the Poke Center. Also, there is the Lilligant down there, but I believe we already caught it, did we? I'm not quite sure. And I believe also I saw an artist trainer. Mm. So, oh yeah, this is the one of the interesting moves this Pokemon can learn. So I believe, yeah, this Pokemon just managed to swap the defense and special defense stats. For, I don't know about five turns. Kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, um, the gold dog that we are kind of trying to catch is kind of slow. It's HP, but could go maybe with I don't know. I could maybe go with the dive ball. Let's try. Also, flamingo uh, behind our backs. And yeah, this Pokemon doesn't like to be uh, thrown Pokeballs at at this point. And decides to use Wonder Room again, which uh, actually reverses its effect from before. So now, like, uh, yeah, defense, special defense, re return to normal. It's kind of, uh, it could be, I don't know. Competitively, it could be kind of useful, but Goldock is a really kind of underwhelming Pokemon, so it doesn't get used at all in competitive play. Mm, so, yeah, actually, uh, let's try again, but this time with the Netball. Should like work as equally efficient. I believe. I kind of not sure whether we caught Lilligant or did we? So far, so good. Yep. I think we got it. Yeah. Also, some experience points for catching this Pokemon, but nothing really impressive though. I'll probably like check out this Lilligant in the distance if we already registered it in, po in our Pokedex, but I'm not kind of sure. We might already did it. I don't know. We'll see. I kind of think we kind of did it. Is this Pokemon Scops? No, actually, never mind. What I meant to say that. Is that yeah, Golok can learn some psychic type moves. Interestingly enough, 
it isn't like a psychic type Pokemon, but I don't know. It kind of is able to learn those types of moves. Let's check out this little bit. Yeah, we got it, so never mind. We also probably... Oh no, what for the... Oh, that was kind of close though. Mm, yeah, parallel, right? Yeah, we caught also this Pokemon. Okay, so we kind of initiated the Team Star. I don't know. Let's see. We'll return later when it's time to, for the Young Master's Piano lesson. Till then, please give me my regards. Yes, we seem preparing to. Hmm. And who might you be, young man? Friend of the young master, perhaps? Uh, young master? Ah, I see. Since you seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew. The Rugba squad led by Young Master Ortega. Uh, Mr. Harrington? I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. No? Please accept my apologies. You have any idea as to who this young man might be? No friend of ours, you know. I think he might be out here to try and take us on. Understood. In that case, I think it's your adversary of young master. I guess that follows. Is that so? Well then, that leaves me one, with one last thing to ask you. Huh? Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? This person is kinda weird. Uh, we're gonna battle him, but not just yet. We still need to have, like, Thronics checked, as usual. Ah yes, I suppose you must need to prepare. We'll wait until you have your affairs in order. Actually, yeah, we kind of do need to prepare because I'm still about to heal my team at the Poké Center. Um, but I keep getting interrupted by these folks. And yeah, oh, what for the... Uh, yeah, no, please don't run into Rivian. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, let's kind of run up to the Poké Center, I guess. And there's the uh, artist trainer, which will battle, I believe, sometime soon after I manage to uh, heal up my Pokemon. Yeah, actually, it's kind of good, good, good timing to heal our team because I don't know uh, if our terror is recharged or not, but uh, our team has lost quite some power points, so. Uh, it kind of would be wise to do that at this point. I could like heal with Lepaparis and others, but well, I just don't mind healing at the Pulp Center right now. So the plan is like to check out the surroundings, battle as much trains as we can, right? And yeah, eventually also challenge the Team Star Rugba squad, is it? So I think this is our first time we're healing up our team, uh, including Goldengo, is it? So yeah, let's proceed further. Oh, 
Ah, uh, yeah, maybe let's just battle the trainer. We saw. I'll just like glide up, order them. Initiate the battle. I also could like maybe also uh, do the team star barrage first and you know check out the area but I don't know. I don't know if uh, I will kind of get constantly interrupted. I probably might do so. Such beauty. Only to be marred by ugly piles of junk. I can stand it. Challenged by this really the artist. Let's send her. Let's see her colorful team. Oh, interesting. So she's sending out Gothel, which we actually haven't even had the chance to see yet. Really, we saw Gothorita. Oh, I'm not sure, but I think we saw at least one of its pre-evolutions. So Gothel is a psychic type Pokemon. Mm. It has some, I guess, useful abilities. Like I know it has this ability, which like could boost its special attack if its opponent is the opposite gender. I think it's called competitive. I think, yeah, I think something like that. But yeah, it's a psychic type, so for that reason, we're kind of switching our RD backs because it knows, knows by it, right? So, actually, this Pokemon, I don't know. It's a bit special, especially defensive. It's like not the fastest. But also not the slowest either, so I know it has some. I know decent special attack, nothing like too impressive, but it could like manage to boost its special attack by its abilities, right? But it kind of also gets this really interesting. I don't know if it's interesting, but it's really similar ability to the Doctor's Arena Trap, and yeah. Sadly, also not noticed, so it's kind of annoying. But let's try to get through. So yeah, this Pokemon has Shadow Attack as its hidden ability, which kind of traps the opponent. And yeah. Thing is that I believe that this Shadow Tag ability doesn't work on Dark Time Pokemon. Uh, I think it's like that. It's like Arena Trap, like doesn't work on Flying Type Pokemon. So the opponent is a Dark Type Pokemon, like it can switch out, and also like <laughs> a Pokemon that. Dr Trio managed to trap is a flying type Pokemon. I think it can also switch out, so we'll do something like that. So yeah, our Artbex is kinda not in the best spot at this moment, but let's try and wake him up. No luck. Also, an alternative would be also my Tick 10 since it learns Skitter Smack, so. Actually, no. I'm not sure. If, no, comparatively, doesn't work like that. I think for every stat drop. Pokemon boosts its special attack by just inches. 
yeah, I think something like that. Like I kind of confuse this competitive ability rivalry. Which uh, works as precisely as this site mistakenly described. So, yeah, artifacts is kind of being useless. I know why. Usually just like does his job, but I don't know. I guess we're not really lucky. Unless, at least this Pokemon, I don't know, it's kind of using Psych Up, which this point did nothing actually. Okay, I guess our artifacts didn't manage to change its stats, but I don't know. Stats didn't drop or rise at all. No, so it didn't manage to take you down in one hit, so... But it managed to go down. So yeah, we're kinda going with our Tikuchan next. We seem to kind of be struggling against this Gothitelle. So yeah, I think one Skitter Smack should do it. Which we'll probably also manage to hit. So let's go with Spear Smack. You know, probably need to uh, heal up my artifacts after the battle. Yep, managed to hit just as I expected. So we managed to also defeat one trainer in this area. I think we still need to like defeat three more to claim the rewards from the league rep. And also a quick will is uh, leveling up and learning a new which is it. Veterans, yeah, really not learning this move at all. Well, uh, Feather Dance just like drops the opponent's physical attack, so I'm not gonna. It's probably not advisable to use Quiet Quill in such a manner. I think it's supposed to be just an all out attacker, so I don't know. Would use this to um, like lower the opponent's physical attack. So 
Sorry, sorry. I guess you shouldn't have taken out my frustration on me. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, people do that and uh, later they're kind of sorry for that, so. But they kind of relate this situation. Even in real life. Uh, so, yeah, we also managed to update our Pokedex and. Yeah, I think I will revive my artifacts now. Since the poor thing managed to get knocked out in this battle. Yeah, maybe I think it's kind of yeah. Let's go. Oh, very last lemonade in our bag, and we're getting it to our artifacts. So yeah. We could maybe like buy more the uh, D what vending machine, right? But I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's necessary though. So uh, I'm kind of checking out the Pokemon, but really nothing interesting at all. Um, we should probably like um, go down there if it's possible. Like if uh, the game doesn't, yeah. Never mind. I was kind of worried that the game just might not let us. Oh yeah. Uh yeah. This is kind of. Annoying. So we're gonna have the same old conversation, I believe. Uh, would you be so kind as it tune does me in a quick battle? You know what? I'll probably like battle him. Because uh, I think. Yeah. It's so, fine. And let us begin. Because, yeah, of course. Um, this might just prevent me from exploring the area uh, that's kind of below from the base. Oh, it's kind of heading. Let's just battle this Mr. Harrington. Pokemon Trailer Harrington. Let's see. Probably has some usual Team Star Pokemon, like, yeah, maybe um, Mogram. I think we saw it before, really. I don't know. We, we, we did see it, like, in the wild, but we probably didn't see it used by Team Star, did we? I could be wrong, though. But yeah, because this is the fairy Team Star squad. They're gonna use like fairy type Pokemon, just like Mogram. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna go with. Uh, uh, yeah, let's let's maybe use Art more against it. You can probably see why already.
Yeah, so let's use this last wave against the smoke room. Actually, this Mr. Harrigan has another Pokemon after. So this is kind of preventing us from using Slash Wave again in the next one. So we might just like either switch out or I. If it's gonna be another fairy type of my way. See the next book one. No golden go match to level up. Uh, so yeah. In fair sending out Hatchum. Um yeah. It, yeah, Lamar also can take this one out too. Hatcham, I believe, is the Hatina evolution. So yeah, Psychic and Fairy type. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm not familiar with this evolution line, so... I don't know if I said... Right name of its pre evolution, but he goes another sledge wave. Oh, yeah, Ugh. I kind of forgot that I'm kind of blocked by torment, so let me just use a mortal spin for that matter. His torment is kind of preventing me from using sledge wave again. Yeah, I'm not sure where this is super effective at all, but oh, so it's using Call Mine. I think I'm just gonna like for the um, power gem. Maybe I want to also like just lines because this Pokemon kind of managed to boost its special defense, and for that matter, like could be hard to take out. Take it down. The power jam, this is the Hearthstone, and also by just realization. We'll probably hit really hard. So, 
ですね So uh, good morning, it's leveling up. Well, well. Yeah, I like when uh, our opponents are kind of left species. Like. Usually they have a lot, of, lot to say before we battle and re really not that much to say after we end the battle, so not starting performance. Well, be aware that young master will take his battle prowess far surpass my posture skills. You, you, do, you would do well to take care. Now if you'll excuse me. Hasta la vista. Actually, that was kind of not supposed to happen. I think it said that the grunt said Hasta la vista, but it was the Mr. Carrington who actually just disappeared, so grunt's still here. That gentleman the guy used to be the director of the academy, I think. At least, that's what I hear. Now he's like, tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, I'm explaining this to you. Interesting, so this Mr. Harding was the director of the academy at some point. I actually didn't know that. I kinda probably forgot this little detail from when I played Violet. There's no doubt when you're here to make trouble, so I gotta go let everyone know. Hasta la vista. Like, I don't know. These Team Star members like shit up. Also, like, I don't know if it's necessary to say their salute, but whatever. I don't know. Like, who cares? They're just gonna leave and, you know, it's kinda better for them anyway, so... They can, like, do that, that without using their salute. See, the guard has been dealt with. Good job. The base belongs to Team Star Sphere Crew. Rogue Squad. Your boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. I just submit him and things will go south from you quick. He also he's also a real lead from the back type. He gets his runs to do all the dirty work from him. His weak point is his short fuse. Getting good and angry and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just tough it out until Ontega shows up and go from there. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of operation. Time to add the work by scuff out of the map. So yeah, we're probably gonna deal with Rugbox Squad really soon but we still need to check the surroundings a bit I guess uh, I don't know there's the I believe four light is it uh, which we already caught yeah so uh, I'll probably go this way uh, I don't know yeah also there's a terra rate which will probably charge us our terror also I, I Kind of see a Pokemon trainer. 
Uh, yeah, so we, we are not promised area three. Um, let's move the balance first. So, I believe I'm still living with my arm rouge, am I? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, as I should. I could maybe, like, heal up my Glamora. I know. Like, fresh water would probably do, but. Hmm. Here, let's battle the person. Also, we can probably see the sparkling Pokemon over there. So apparently, this person needs a new job, so this maybe. Uh, investigate. What do they, do they mean by that? Maybe working at the Pokemon Center near here would be more fun than my current job. And it seems like it, like an office worker. Yeah, uh, actually she is. She's the Esther, the office worker. Oh, and she's setting out for Medicham. It would be like, it would be like uh, easier to take down using our gold angle if we were leading with it. But actually, we're, we're leading with our armory, so right, not quite uh, the best matchup, which you could see. Let's go with our gold angle. Also, probably this Medicham is gonna take some damage just because our Goldingo is holding Rock Helmet. But we'll see. Like, he also could use a Fighting Type boost, which our Goldingo resists. Well, I mean, it's immune to, actually. We'll see. What happens? I mean, we. A short time. I guess, yeah. Medicham is kind of trying to use Shake Up. But yeah, actually, that, that doesn't work for our Goldengo since it's immune to all the status moves. Like, doesn't matter, like, every status condition, uh, I don't know. Whatever. Like, every status move is, uh, doesn't do anything to our Goldengo, so. Let's just use the Shadow Ball to probably like take out a smash jump. I think this is the second trainer right? In this area. So I believe only two more to go. But I could be also wrong. I kind of did not remember. <laughs> also, our Ticketon is leveling up and learning a new move. Let's see what it will be. Knock off. Ugh. I mean, Cavalry is, is kind of a useful move. Because Pokemon usually hold items, so it gets double the damage. But um, and I cannot teach it on my ticket. Time. So yeah, I believe that knockout with 65 base power without type physical move, which gets double power with the targets holding an item. So, in competitive play, 
Pokemon are mostly holding their items. That why you like that does uh, so lot of damage. Ah, I, had, I got to heal my Pokemon. So, um, yeah, well, let's uh, proceed further. Uh, I know, maybe I will kind of try to catch the Sparkling Pokemon. I will see if it's anything uh, interesting and if it even is like active. Because so far we've seen that the Sparkling Pokemon just don't assure us. With an actual cutter. Hmm. A great ball, I guess. Let's also recharge our Terra at this Terra Raid Crystal. Which will probably not be nothing particularly interesting. But I could be wrong though. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, let's go for this one. Since we haven't caught this Pokemon just yet, at this point. So yes, I'm just gonna go with our armor since this Pokemon seems to be a steel terror type. Uh, yeah, I also could go with Quick Quibble, but let's go with armor So yeah, this is a Pokemon we haven't caught so far. This might be just the opportunity to do so. Also, I believe it's a bit of a bit of, kind of rare Pokemon also. Yeah, we heard the terror recharge noise. I'm probably just gonna cheer up a bit and then go uh, at it using a uh, flamethrower, right? I believe, yeah. Oh, actually, uh, I'm not sure what happened. With, I think, yeah, our armors managed to learn flamethrower, but I don't know what happened with Lautum, so. Did we like keep it or did we like remove it? We'll see. This Pokemon is actually a Zangus and it's a otherwise it's a normal type of one. This doesn't evolve. Let's go for cheer. Yeah, actually, uh, it has been some time since we did the Terror Raid Battle. I believe this Terror Raid is level 3 Terror Raid, so... I don't think I'm gonna go just like for another cheer up uh, by going all out. Just like. I'm gonna hit it as hard as possible just by twisting my stack a bit beforehand. So maybe let's go for another go out, out again. Sometimes 
by by fixing the snaps might just prevent the terror raid Pokemon to use a shield against you. So manage to hit it hard enough so that its HP falls to zero. You won't actually use the shield. That's kinda convenient. Ah, since it's kinda short it's the terror raid now. Let's see how much flame power will do. Maybe it, it could be the case of like dropping the HP to the bottom. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. We, we kind of avoided uh, the Zangus uh, using the shield and kind of shorten the bow by just raising our stats. As possible, particularly special attack. Probably, yeah, I should do this kind of stuff at this point. This point, this point. The battle is probably over. Yeah, this was a kind of had an interesting survey. I'm glad we did. I'm gonna go with the Pokemon as usual. Um, yeah, I guess we should always go like with a Pokemon at this survey. Pokemon, cheers. They have a hundred percent catch rate in my father's in the world. Also, Zangoose is not a useful Pokemon at all. So. It also doesn't look anything particularly interesting. I think it had some physical attack, but other than that, it's kind of average. That's why. Probably people don't use it much because it gets kind of outclassed in competitive play and also doesn't provide with anything interesting. So yeah, let's just continue down there and maybe let's check the Falcon Pokemon if it's actually active. Might also not be the case. So pick up the items beforehand. 
just as I, just as I uh, usually do, right? Not too bad. Quite a good pickup, to say the least. Interesting, so. I love this Pokemon though. I wanna know. Actually, yeah. This part of Pokemon. I cannot. Oh, level 50. Interesting, let's go for it. So, yeah, I think this Pokemon, you can probably tell that it's one of the nine evolutions, right? So far, we have only caught one, Larian. Let's maybe catch also this one. I actually could like return to all the those evolutions we kind of skip. This a Pokemon at this level could like it. manage to take them on and which think so. Uh, this Pokemon is a Terra Fairy. But it also turns out to be a fairy type Pokemon as well. Like a fairy terra type uh, I mean fairy type EV evolution. First of all um, our I'm always won't be in any help so for that reason I'm gonna go with my uh, more since we can handle with fairy types quite well. So let's see. I think one sludge wave would probably take it down. At least to the point where it just loses the terrestrialized effect. It could be actually caught. Probably in a ultra ball. This Pokemon is Sylveon, right? It's quite a good Pokemon, actually. Like, I don't know. Um, Compatibly, it's not really awesome to use, but at least it has some pretty good special defense and special attacks. So. Also, it's H H H points are so good, I think. So let's maybe just uh, take it out slightly. This was actually enough to prevent the terrestrialization effect on this Sylvia. So I don't know, we'll see. Next turn. And yeah, I kind of forgot that it used Yawn. That's kind of, that kind of puts our Pokemon to sleep, so... And yeah, Sally did not... And it's the... Terrestrialization effect. Break. This is gonna take some time, I guess. So I'll go more if kinda asleep. So if we, this is gonna be our second evolution so far. Yeah actually, yeah. As I said, we could like maybe return and claim the skip ones, but I don't know. We could also like evolve Eevee after we Catch it in the wild. 
that would be a bit more informative. I think this... Yeah, we know how to evolve a flaring, right? We just need to use a Firestone on a Navy, right? So this Pokemon is using Moonblast, which is probably the best special type for me. Also, not by were you not being effect very effective, you did quite a lot of damage, so it kinda explains the power of terrestrializing. So what was I saying again? I don't know. Oh yeah, uh, how can you evolve actually even to a Stillion? I believe you even need to learn a very high move and level up by knowing it. So I think yeah, Eevee learns at least one. I think it learns Baby Doll Life, um, which is a very high move. After it learns that move, I think it's just best to level up, and that's how you trigger the evolution. It probably also can learn some other fire type moves, I don't know, maybe through using TMs. And anyway, if you want to have someone just like manage to teach your Eevee and fire type move and then just level up. I think you're kind of good with that. And our Glumoro managed to move. So yeah, kind of luck. Okay, and yeah, I think now we're good for like catching this Pokemon. Probably in an Ultra Ball. Just, yeah. This is our second evolution. Let's see how successful we are at it. So far, so good. I think uh, we did it. No, actually. We, did not, we haven't done it. Yeah, I kind of thought we would use Yarn, like. I just kind of created the one, so... I really hope we manage to catch it in the next turn, because otherwise I do more I will fall asleep. Also, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm also kind of drowsy. So I might not... I mean, I might not... <laughs> you can also see that now I'm having trouble speaking, so... Um, I will probably like go to sleep, <sighs> kind of see, continue from there, wherever I let leave from. Yeah, so this is kind of annoying. I will more also going to sleep, like just as I should. Actually, I will more is going down anyway, so no need to use an awakening. We only need to use a revive on it. Yeah, that's kind of an interesting way to get rid of the status condition. You just need to you need to manage to get your Pokemon knocked out, and that's how you remove your status conditions from a Pokemon. Ironically, uh, so yeah. Actually, what do I want to do? Uh, yeah, let's go with the Again, I don't I don't know. Um, just like star, like just maybe I could go for the timer bomb though. Just kind of taking a bit longer, I don't know. Or it's just me.
Yeah, two for that Pokemon. Oh. I don't know why I switched into a two attack final. I was kinda actually to be honest, I kinda forgot that if we were about to catch this Pokemon not to battle it. So mistakenly that I kinda thought to myself, I need to battle this Pokemon, I send out my ticket and which can actually handle it using uh steel type moves. I think we got it. Yeah, so I think I'm kinda good to go to sleep. Because I'm really kinda tired. So let's pick up from here next time. Also, soon is the recent evolution that was added to the Pokedex by introducing Fairy type. It's big side. I don't know. Uh, that could be also grass and water at the same time, but apparently it's possible in Pokemon games. So uh, we'll soon see the power of music. Let's just grab this item over here real quick. No movement. Yeah. Probably nothing. We can use in our team, but you know, if you want to raise physical attack and drop defense, your Pokemon, you might use it. Power of music can bring joy to the world. the musician Oh, she's sending out her little tough. In that case, we should probably go with Argo Mark. Should the Mars not actually arrive at this point, so yeah, I'm definitely going with Tinkerton. Kinda of forgot to fill up my more. Also, the more I won't be pursuing any experience points for this battle. I wasn't very effective because still his normal type moves. If 
capacity. Uh, of course, we're gonna go with Giga Hammer. Also, this magician has three Pokemon, so. No, Amorous is actually evolved. No, actually, no, not evolved, but leveling up. As a matter of fact, we're gonna send in our Amorous. Because this musician is, gonna, is about to send a quicker team. Which uh, probably doesn't stand a chance against our Amorous. Probably not going to leave this thing for And yeah, at this point we're probably gonna use our Rodango. Guess that I'm gonna go with Shadow Ball and Grumpic. This uh, Shadow Ball. Uh, Blue Type moves are super effective against Psychic Type Pokemon. Actually, this grumping seems to be so especially defensive. It manages to survive because it goes to Shadow Ball. This will bring an item that we will pick. We could actually go with Pax, but I can't. So we managed to defeat the standard ter musician. We still need to kill up our Gamora. Power to the power of music. Tomorrow. 
Now we go with the uh, super potion. I could actually use fresh water instead. But, uh, whatever. I think that's about it. I believe that's a magic arc, is it? Let's check it out. Uh, oh, actually it's not. It's the scrap probably the power the car, right? No scrap. No, I think that's. Yeah, actually, that's a lot more, isn't it? I might want to catch this. Side shock. Uh, probably not gonna pick it out. We could go also with the big ball, but I kind of cannot. Yeah, that's gonna. Oh no, so this is gonna be annoying. Let me just throw a uh, net bomb. Actually, a dive bomb. Each one of those. Just, you know what's gonna happen next time, right? If I don't manage to catch it, it's gonna heal, it, heal itself up by using Wish. So far, so good. Great, great. Yeah, I don't know, I like uh, what type of Pokemon who is quite defensive. I think it has some supporting play. But other than that, I don't know. It used to be more often used in all the generations, I think. So also an Arapuda and a Spring to us. Actually, unnecessarily. Since we managed to catch it, like, not third try, I believe. But yeah. So, Diable, actually. 
Very interesting. Let's see that. Actually, we are in Glacido Mountain, apparently. This is kind of considered as Glacido Mountain. I kind of want to watch out for the Floet, I believe. Flabibi, I'm not sure. We don't want them. So like rock TM pull and puff oh. and probably cannot reach over there, right? Is there anything over here? Chemical coin, I think. So yeah, I'm kinda stuck. I uh -huh. so but it's okay, like I can Proceed back. Oh, can I actually go over here? Actually, I'm not stuck. I can actually proceed over here, but the low kicks. Ooh, interesting. I believe it's the. Oh, what's it called again? Q Fent Evolution, which we haven't caught. Can you please focus on, your, on the Pokemon? Or am I supposed to run into it? And of course, we kill the ball. I hate when this happens. Copperage, I can't believe it's called. So apparently, we're running into it. Have to escape this one. So nice to disappear for some reason. Oh, there is. Just want to kind of carefully get to it. Like, apparently, over here. Yeah, and finally, I made it. I guess. I could. Yeah, I think. Yeah, of course, I forgot to use a quick bomb. Yes. Yeah, that's really. Not a lot, but it's okay. One more try, I think. I think. Of course, it's gonna use the egg like this. It, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what else should I switch into. It's all my Pokemon take like neutral damage from big. I believe so. Yeah, you know what? I'm just gonna like maybe. At this point, I don't have anything else to do, but to maybe I 
Actually, I could use Calm Mind. Uh, I don't know. Let's go for a Claw Mine. I think, yeah, Slash Shock after Claw Mine won't knock it out. So yeah, our Arm Rouge is using Claw Mine for the first time, I believe. Is it? Not quite sure though. Maybe it already used at this at one point, but I'm not sure. Yeah, of course, armor is gonna take quite some damage from big because it's 50 ground type moves. Well, let's try again with the uh, side shot. Probably not gonna knock it out, so. Actually, it did. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. Yeah, because it was, yeah, whatever. Didn't need it. Here, go for it. Whatever. So our defense is now at Ooh, yeah, now we're talking. Of course, I'm gonna replace Crunch with Bite. This Crunch is the upgraded version of Bite, essentially. It has the same effects, but like higher base power work. Actually, instead of flinching, it causes to lower the target's defense by one stage. Uh, yeah, definitely placing this. Kinda sucks we could not catch ourselves with a project or whatever. It often like happens. Then I'm not able to catch a Pokemon in the first try, that's why. Gonna explore the part over there. So yeah, our part, our armor is probably needs healing. Go with the super push. Oh, there's a Pokemon you might not have caught yet. Yeah. 
to the right section. This is a grass type Pokemon. But yeah, I should not be. Actually, let's go for a quick ball. Uh, where is it? And we also managed to catch it out of guard, right? This Pokemon actually. Is this interesting ability which Oh yeah. Like every stat drop that it takes will be like inversed, so stat drop is actually a stat boost and the stat boost is actually a stat drop, so like I know for example if an opponent have an intimidate and it lowers once to lower its attack. On one stage it actually will boost its attack by one stage. So that, that's kinda how this ability works. I think it's it's hidden ability, I'm not sure. It's called contrary I believe. Better than that. Ugh, kinda underwhelming Pokemon. Actually, we haven't caught its pre evolution either, did we? Thinking our Pokedex, we're missing an entry, so it's kind of convenient that its evolution is right. Oh, we actually just ran into it. I mean, it's initiated in a car on its own, so I believe its pre evolution is from Antis. Sure, probably is. You can only encounter it over at this place. Yep, we have an encounter. Let's go to Quick Ball again. Now we're kind of running out of Quick Balls at this point. Suspiciously. A lot of critical catches uh, have been happening recently. So another case where we caught its evolution and actually later its pre-evolution, so... Another one is like standing right next to us. 
which we'll probably initiate an encounter, but nothing else we can do. Maybe we will run away. I don't doubt it. It's probably gonna initiate an encounter. Right about now. Yep. So, uh, let me actually see. Kind of looks like, uh, kind of look like, I don't know, an entrance to a okay, cave, but I uh, guess my mind is playing tricks on me. Uh, yeah. So, BB, Fluet, etc. There's a new turret actually. Let's maybe check it out. I also want to cast these forges. Yeah, appeared over here. I kind of want to. Yeah, it's good. Managed to avoid the flood baby around it. I think I'm gonna get this one. I probably go for a break. Actually, I already caught this one. So, what am I actually doing? So, turns out I already caught this Pokemon, so. And I hope this doesn't work at all. Yeah, let's run away from this. Probably return after a break, I guess. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna take a break just yet. <laughs> 
Let's maybe see what's on this side. There's a Didini, I believe, here. Yeah. You managed to catch this Pokemon, right? Uh, yeah, at this point I'm... Yeah, kind of not sure what we caught and what we haven't. As you can see... Ooh, there is the Wokchio. We still haven't caught, right? So I want to kind of sneak up on it, because... This thing is known to, uh, like, hide itself in the ground and... That reason I'm kind of sneaking up on it. So there's another, if I manage to fail. And yeah, we... Yeah. Oh. Actually, what happens is if you are too far from Pokemon, you don't manage to initiate an encounter, but I think we manage to do so. so. Let's go with the size shock, I think. Or actually, I could go for a quick mount too. So, yeah, I accidentally wasted quick mount before. I was kind of close. I was about to enter a field of Floet. There's a chance to we could like defeat for extra experience points, but unnecessary. in a regular squad, although we are not. More items. Where can it be interesting? Let's be quick and be. Another Vivian. Kill Watcho. So why not maybe like just go over here? 
onto the other side. Yeah. Uh, actually, there's a trainer. We're probably gonna bow. So this person apparently seems to be bored about something. Let's find out what it is. I see an item, but it's actually in the base, so... My girlfriend and I came here for a picnic, but I guess I've got some free time to battle. Challenge by Jimena, the student. Just seeing an on her Scavilla, and yeah, it's probably not the best matchup, but. Maybe switch out. Let's go. Yeah, two more. Probably a better uh, choice to deal with this Pokemon. We need to go with Sludge Bomb, actually Sludge Wave, or Power Jam, probably gonna go with Sludge Wave. She's also sending out her Hachirini. It's probably Katina's final evolution. I think it's Psychic and a Fairy type, so. I think, yeah. Uh, I think it's will probably manage to deal with it the best. Yeah, with Skitter Smack, I should be good. Uh, but if I use Gigaton Hammer, it would do probably neutral damage. This Psychic kind of resists still, but very weak to it, so it kind of balances it. So.
Now well, let's go for the skill smack. Yeah, Hatterin is actually pretty good Pokemon. He's so quite often using comparatively. Apparently it did nothing. He managed to at least lower his special attack. Fair break after this battle. Maybe let's see what Giga and Hammer does. Maybe I should actually terrestrialize. It will probably go down. I don't know, maybe I should maybe continue exploring. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Nah, let's go for a break. Ooh, how exciting. So we're back after the break, right? And we battle this person over there. Oh, we're still kind of exploring the area. Uh, not ready yet to challenge the team's star base, right? But mm. so we can see Flopigo. Like we did before, 
Also on Anchor TM. Let's just get an item over there. Stardust, okay. Haven't picked that up in a while. HP up. Uh, yeah, we probably, yeah, we caught this in searching, right? So, what is that? Ooh, interesting. Yeah, actually, I want to catch this Pokemon because it's a bit difficult to get otherwise. Uh, I think we also kind of saw it at some point, but I didn't uh, decide to catch it. So, this is Espeon, is the Psychic type EV evolution. I think we might have seen a uh, sparky one at some point, but yeah, as I said, I didn't uh, start garden with it since our team was on their level. So, also, the reason why I want to catch this Pokemon is because it's a bit difficult to evolve, I guess. I mean, you need to. Uh, raise your EV's friendship at some level, I don't know. And you want to level it up during daylight, uh, so it's kind of annoying. So it's easier for me to just catch it in the wild. Like I'm doing. And so far I'm being quite, yeah. That was kind of easy. So yeah, I'm better off like catching a wild espion than just uh, raising my EV on my own. Uh, yeah, uh, kind of more optimal way to register an espion in our Pokédex. Actually, yeah, this Pokémon has really high special attack. That's pretty good speed but otherwise it's pretty defensively weak so you know the usual psychic type blast cannon really similar to Gengar like stat distribution like really similar um that's about it we uh, let's maybe see what's over here. Yeah, some items, just as I suspected. Mm -hmm. A trainer, I believe. Also, a terror raid down there on that island. And Gyarados. Some Gyarados. So, uh, should I battle this person first or should I check out the... Maybe I should. I hope this goes well. I don't know what he means, but... Uh, apparently we also found a... We were really close to a Cloyster Mass Outbreak. Uh, Bulldoze, apparently. Um, Ultra Ball, okay, really uh, convenient. Oh, there's a cave actually. Uh, this is Morgram, I believe. So, nope, not gonna waste my time on it. But actually, I did manage to recharge my tarot, which is kind of convenient. Yeah, actually, there's a cave over here. Let's maybe check it out. What's over here? Ooh, a sparking Pokemon actually. What is actually? Oh, Palma. Ah. Uh, it's okay, like, I already caught a Palma, but apparently in this cave, you can find a sparkling one too. Ooh, Steel Beam. Actually, this move is really strong, like, it's a Steel Special steel special Type move, which I believe is, has really high base power, I believe, 140. Um, I think it's 90% accurate. The drawback of this move is that actually 
it manages the user by half of its full HP so there's this drawback of using it but it's a really powerful move um, actually I could teach it to my Goldengo but you'll see soon that Goldengo learns a better alternative um, yeah I'm definitely gonna heal up my Pokemon for battling this person so let's probably use a potion on our Tinkerton and also two potions on our Glamora should I maybe? no, I think I should I think my armor should still lead Or should I maybe? Let's maybe leak with our artifacts. Yeah, but the problem. <laughs> yeah, the problem with artifacts is that I cannot give it amulet coin because it's kind of dependent on using load the dice. So yeah. I think I'm gonna stick with my armory. Came here for a picnic. My girlfriend. I'm so nervous. Help me calm my nerves. Interesting. I think yeah, we saw her, his girlfriend, uh, on the other side, right? We challenged by Stefan the student. So apparently they uh, went for a date at this place, but I guess they haven't just met, and they're kind of preparing themselves. Hmm. Quite also, quite interesting Pokemon. Um, yeah, this is our first time we've seen Grimmsnarl, I believe, which is the Morgram Evolution. And yeah, I think I'm gonna switch out to my. Actually, we have seen it. Do it. Uh, because uh, I can actually see uh, what's super effective and whatnot. So, yeah, let's go. Or let me see. Yeah, I could go with my Tinkerton, but I'm gonna go with my Kurumora. This is kinda lower level. From Nakli and Knuckle Stack, I believe. So, uh, yeah, let's go with the, of course, Sludge Wave. Ooh, that's... Ooh, that did quite a lot of damage, actually, because we landed as a critical hit. But anyways, I uh, think Sludge Wave should take it out. Yep. So, this was his only Pokemon, and now Glamora is uh, leveling up. No, I'm still so nervous. It was such a big step. Is it picking too much? Too fast? Oh yeah, I think I see the problem in this couple. <laughs> um, anyway, moving on to the more important things, I think. We kind of um, explored as far as we could. I think there's. We could maybe explore the area above, I think. Like, just. Uh, judging by the map. But. Let's see. Uh, we're kind of really close to. Uh... Ooh, that was kind of scary. 
For a moment, I thought the game was, the game was about to crash, but actually, uh, not a lot of crashes uh, have been happening. Um, I don't know why, but uh, for some reason, the game isn't crashing anymore. But that could change. Um, so yeah, I think I'm probably good to challenge the rock box squad space. Um, I don't know. Maybe yeah, I could like challenge uh, the team star and is that a some flora? Uh, yeah, no need to catch it right because. Um, we already caught ourselves. Uh, we already caught ourselves a uh, sunken, right? And we managed to uh, love it using a sunstone. So, yeah, probably could explore this area later. Or. I don't know. Maybe let's just check it out for now. Uh, I think, yeah, at some point we'll be kind of stuck and we will need to go backwards because in order to proceed we will need to climb and we are not able to climb at this point. So yeah, this person He's having some issues with Team Star, I guess. I came here to join Team Star. Oh, so he actually isn't having issues with Team Star, he actually wants to join. This is kind of weird. This uh, Pokemaniac Jordy wants to abandon school. Apparently, join Team Star. And also, he's uh, using a lot of vest. Kind of interesting. I don't think we saw a lot of vest in the battle at this point. Um, yeah, I could go with a neutral flamethrower, but you know what? Let's go with our Glamour again, which would be killed beforehand, but. So yeah, I can probably tell that I'm about to use a power gem, right? Which will, uh, for certain, not knock out the Larvesta, since it's doubly weak to rock by being a bug and a fire type Pokemon. The problem with this Pokemon is that it doesn't have any uh, weaknesses because of its ability levitate, right? I think I'm gonna go with Artibax on this one. I think Artibax is kinda uh, not used a lot at this point. Which makes kinda sense. Because we're near a fairy uh, team star base, and Artifax doesn't want to be stand out at this point a lot because of its fairy type weakness. But yeah, let's go for the ice cream. Okay, so, I wanna let the rest light just to be sure
Yeah, I think. Uh, that's about it for this battle. Thanks to terrestrialization. Yep. I can even defeat a regular old student. Will I even make it to the cut for Team Star? <laughs> Interesting question, though. Um, yeah. Let's proceed further. Oh, there's an item. Oh, Copper Ajak once again. Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, this time we'll probably... Yeah, I can actually sneak up on it. I just need to focus on it. Like, yes, a Halucha might be a problem. So yeah, I'm just gonna run into it because Halucha is very likely to... Yeah, you can see that we are kind of stuck at that point. Uh, I probably need to climb over there, but I'm not able to climb, so... Let's go for a quick ball. Green yeah, Halucha can uh, be kind of annoying because it tends to run into uh, as it's a really high speed. Let's see uh, how quick ball will work. Yep. Not good at all. You can see the Poké Center from up here. Um, let's go for a, yeah, Psy Shock again. We could maybe uh, use a Calm Mind, but whatever. Yeah, I'm probably gonna call my and hope for the usual hit, not a critical hit. So it's actually using iron defense, which uh, uh, yeah, our side shock will do less damage because of that. Yeah, definitely want to use call my. Yeah, Psyshock hits uh, depending on the target's defense and not special defense as a special move, right? Um, so yeah, let's see. Uh, I don't know. Probably still gonna deal rare damage on the floor. Okay, it's okay, I guess. Maybe one hit. I will do. Once more. Mm, but yeah, I'm really hoping to not strike a critical hit because we saw what happened before. Probably. Yeah. Um, I could go once again, but. I Let's let's say we're gonna. Oh. So yeah, we'll also need to wait a turn before uh, start for throwing port walls. Um, so you know what? For that reason, I'm gonna just heal up my armories. Uh, let's go for the. Uh... Oh. Let's go for the, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. No, actually. 
Um, let's go for the energy power right now. Throwing Pokeballs. Like, I'm going for a on for an Ultra Ball. Because that seems to be the most appropriate. I believe it's a physical normal move. I believe it uh, deals 80 base power damage. I don't know how accurate it is, but I don't know. Not used at all in competitive play. Yeah, I think we're good. Oh. So, yeah, this thing is kind of annoying to catch, but. Oh. I think I'm gonna just uh, apparently I will need to heal up again. This time I'm using a uh, energy root. I don't have anything else to do at this point. Just. I cannot throw Ultra Bounce, right? Um, yeah. Third time's charm, I believe. Is it? Fourth, actually, I'm not even sure. Yeah, I think it's time. <sighs> and yeah, it's probably gonna use Dig again. Of course, it will. And this time, I'm gonna heal my Glamora instead because I don't know. Uh, it's probably not gonna take out my armors after it hits. Probably wanna, yeah, use a energy powder on it. The last one, actually. Yeah, this is kind of taking too long. Maybe I should go with the timer ball, though. Yeah, let's go for the timer ball. Maybe it will work. We'll see. So we managed to finally catch ourselves a Kapuraja.
yeah of course a halucha well actually we are able to proceed oh there's an aspion uh it's kind of weird because uh it's kind of dusk outside and i don't know and yeah probably our armors will go down actually we can if we don't manage to escape, we go the next turn. So yeah, Haluch is using swords in his Yeah, thanks you. So, uh, let me kill up. Yeah, I want to use probably G energy root, which I have a lot of my armor Yeah, maybe no, actually I'm good. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, let's see. It's kind of weird with this Espion. Uh, appeared in the dusk, but it actually uh, is, I don't know, kind of based on the daylight. It's kind of weird, at least to me. So apparently, you can proceed over here, but I just cannot reach. Uh, let's check out this way. Nothing really, not nah, really not interesting. But we managed to recharge our terror, at least. Uh, we've probably been down there, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Uh, how far can we go from here? There is an item above, but we are not able to reach it. I also want to avoid this Pokemon with me. Uh, actually, we can. I think we're gonna start. Uh, yeah, I think uh, we are not able to climb up there. So yeah, it's probably a good place to stop. Um, I think yeah. Or is there any way to scale this? Let me see. If I can actually yeah. I can I go all, all around? And actually, we're back at the Glacier Mountain. Oh, it's true. Oh, it's just, it's just pretty good. It's like, uh, it's actually. This move, I was about to teach my armor issue to, and it's a, I believe, 90 base special fighting type move that doesn't miss. So I think I'm gonna, yeah, I think I'm gonna teach this move to my armor issue because I was planning to. Let's see, or sphere. Yeah, pretty good move. Like. For a special attacker, uh, it's a good thing to have. You can see that uh, our armor is able to learn it. Oh, actually, it's 80 base power, so whatever. Um, yeah, let's teach our armor this or sphere move. Um, I think a while. I think I'm gonna replace Kalman with it. Yeah. So yeah, this is pretty good, like... Um, I'm not sure whether I wanna explore this further. Maybe just... To where these uh, snowy area ends, right? I could maybe explore that, but I will uh, actually explore more of this area later, probably. Um, you can see Sotaddle, Bergmite, Snowbear, Blowkicks, also. Let me just, yeah, see the uh, Go Goat. 
interesting uh, youngers and gumshoes. But yeah, after uh, I'm done with exploring this, pretty uh, good to challenge to to challenge the team star. See Avalok, right? Um, I don't know. Am I? I don't know if I'm able to. Ooh, we can see a Sitar, which we didn't manage to catch, I think. Let's go for it. I'm kind of having trouble focusing. So yeah, I should probably maybe at least try to catch this thing and probably go back because let's go with the aura spear, shall we? Oh no. So it's actually raising its special defense. Also uh, faster than my armies for some reason. The ice spinner won't do a lot. Like ice spinner is a 80 physical ice type, 80 based power. This guy do for me. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Um, I think it also has this effect of oh nice. Also managing to burn side act standing. Has this effect of removing light screen and reflect after it's used, so... Let's go for an ultra bomb. I think I'm gonna go back, right? Yes. But I think I'm gonna, like, try to pick up that item we could not reach. Uh, I'll probably just glide from high to low. At this point, I'm just gonna go ultra bounce. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I really hope that we manage to catch Spiden because it's suffering from burn. And in two turns, it might go down. Really. I think we could see Medali from over here, and also Cascarafa in the distance. Yeah, it's kinda annoying. This timing is slowly. Oh no. Ah, uh, it's kinda it's awful, to be honest, I guess. It managed to lose its health and I don't know. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it's really <sighs> frustrating, I guess. We might just lose another Titan. So, uh, let's hope this works. That's probably the last chance to catch this Titan. Another sea titan. That was lost. Really annoying.
Let's go away from here. Oh no. No. I think I'm not even gonna reach that item. I think I'm just gonna. Oh, ah. This is so annoying. This one should not be uh, so hard to catch. So a deli bird, eyes and flying, really bad timing. Uh, because of the double stealth rock weakness. I'm gonna go, uh, yeah, of course I'm gonna go with the quick ball. Uh, the last quick ball in our pocket. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah. So you see, this one isn't so hard to catch. Yeah, Delaware is really not good Pokemon at all. And also, it doesn't evolve. Yeah, eyes flying, uh, double weakness to stealth rocks, and yeah, a lot of weaknesses overall. Picking the item, right? Or are we? No. Also, our armor should be filled up. Let's just fill it up real quick. I think um, I'm gonna use a steel powder. No, actually not. Uh, the other. Oh, actually, I can. I cannot use that one because we uh, don't have any. Let's go with the uh, super push. And also a potion. So yeah. I think I'm gonna... yeah. Oh no! Okay. Never mind. I think I wanna just... Uh... <sighs> so annoying. Um, yeah, so we're finally uh, challenging Team Star. It should probably just like fly away back to the focus center, but who knows? Maybe we can actually encounter something interesting along the way. 
So, uh, oh, there's the item, right? Sure, we are not able to reach. We'll probably like uh, reach it once we are able to climb. Oh no! So annoying. Actually, we can claim the rewards by now, probably. Oh. Yeah, so far nothing interesting, and I'm also you can probably see I'm just avoiding Pokemon at this point because um, oh, not uh, we left off. Yeah, let's just claim the rewards. Let's see, maybe I could maybe check out my Pokedex entries. Let's maybe check out our Pokedex first and to claim. Uh, yeah, I think friend ball. Yeah, uh, another one of those special type of Pokemons which is not accessible in the game. Um, normally, you need to like do those. Uh, what are they? Oh, what are they called again? Auctions at the Porto Marinada. Yeah, I think we're good for it. Yeah, we are. Let's see what it is. Leaf Storm. Oh, this moves really good. Like, it's the grass type equivalent of Overheat, pretty much. So, I hope that kind of explains everything. Really high base power. And the only drawback it has is kind of annoying accuracy and of 90% and a special attack drop. Despite that, it's a pretty good. So yeah, let's challenge with Team Star. It's about time. Oh no! Oh. So I want to kind of lead with my Glamora. I guess more I can There's a book more. Probably um, no problem. Also, Tinkerton uh, is a solid choice. So, yeah, I'm keeping Tinkerton on second place, right? And definitely gonna wanna at least use Goldango. But it doesn't learn any uh, steel type boost so far. Yeah, so that's kind of uh, our team. 
like at least the first three Pokemon uh, in our team. So yeah, you're kind of ready. So let's go for it. Code red, code red, operation star for alert. Everyone get into position, defend the boss with all you got. Rest assured, intruder will deal with you without the boss help. Unless you manage to beat 30 of our Pokemon. 10 minutes that is. Good luck with that. Yeah, the usual, Team Star Barrage. Already see Pokemon being sent out. Uh, I think I think I see Dog's Bone and also Fido. So yeah, let's go. I will more I will just like take everything out and also Tinkerton will smash everything in this way. Also the Goldengo. I don't know. We'll see how Goldengo. Will do, but also you see Dukatov. Yeah, actually, uh, Dukatov only does usual to Dukatov. Dukatov. Morgan. Or just actually, this is the first time we've seen a fully evolved Pokemon in this Team Star branch. Mimikyu, yeah, Mimikyu is kind of annoying because of its disguise ability. What's it called? I'm not sure, you know. The usual, slowly uh, picking out the star Pokemon. As usual. Also, uh, Jigglypuff will have interesting. Yeah, Lumora will be probably the star of this uh, Team Star challenge. And maybe also Ticketon. Well, then though, uh, yeah, it's kind of resisting uh, to fairy types, but still isn't able to deal with them just yet. I could maybe teach it, yeah, that would still be right, but I don't want to. Uh, hurt my Gulbengo in the process, so that's. So there's also a better alternative. You'll see in the future. We're kind of close to this Sarparash, right? Goldengo can handle him too. <laughs> Our defenses are breached. It's all up to the boss now.
Alex Smith Ortega from the Team Star. Huh, oh, Sewer Dennis. Okay. Talk about owner. Well, I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. But well, whatever, I don't care who you are. Not like I'm gonna lose to you anyway. I think fair devs are all about goodness, you're, you're in for a nasty surprise. So we're challenged by Ortega of Team Star. He's sending out a Zuno, actually. Uh, yeah, you know, drill. Just sludge away. Uh, maybe probably. Oh no. Lamora could like take a lot of damage from this Azumaru. I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when the spell sends you blood ring. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> he has four Pokemon, so. Maybe putting. Stealth rocks using. Yeah, but you probably just take damage from Zoom Room. Let's go with Stealth rocks. I'm not using Stealth rocks at all, so this might be a really good chance to use them because oh, Pokemon uh, is quite a lot, I guess. I believe I only used Stealth Rocks in that Kumpertondo and when I faced Mela. Sorry, I used, uh, I'm not sure what I used, but I managed to blow a Mighty Mora's attack, which, uh, it's not a problem because Gumora is not a physical attacker at all. So let's go with Sludge Wave. I think, yeah. Zoom in, should go down. Yeah. And... He's also sending out his little stuff. Maybe let's just... Uh, switch out to our ticket and just to make things interesting. You probably uh, can tell I'm gonna use the Tin Hammer. And after that, uh, I'm probably switching out because Tinkerton cannot use the Tin Hammer again. Let's see what else the potato is now. Probably gonna take out this little tough. Yep. Dags one? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna switch out to my uh, Glamora back again. I think I'm gonna continue a little more after because he's probably gonna send out his level room.
Hmm. Yeah, I kind of forgot it. Argumora doesn't have an attack again. And so I'm not. I was kind of thinking, maybe. Yeah, never mind. Uh, yeah, I was kind of thinking ahead because. Uh, more, I don't know how well we do against the Revel Room, but we could maybe just like use Mortal Spin and use Renaissance, and that would probably do quite a lot of damage, but we'll see. What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? It's still not fair. Yeah, suddenly I'm being unfair. It's see how much such way it is. Oh, so. Apparently, uh, we're battling the Ambistus Ring. I think this kind of boosts the power of our damage. I'm not sure though. Aglamora is still a rock, so... Terrestrializing <laughs> won't help at all. But we'll just do it with that. Ooh, actually this... yeah, this is kinda super effective. Since... yeah. <laughs> but... Also... The Misty Terrain disappeared from the battlefield. Oops, you, did you just realize how outmatched you are? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give up, give up now. So this is kinda weird. Yeah. I'll be, uh, we'll need to use another special. Yeah, that was about it. And from here we'll probably finally reach Montanavera. But first we'll check out the tube star base. Because there's something we should maybe grab. Ugh! How could I lose? What the heck? About a year and a half ago. Oh yeah, the Team Star flashbacks, right? Ah, what the heck? The took card didn't bust on inch, huh? I told you. It's not a toy, it's called the Starmobile, and I was all, all night building it. The problem is clearly that we're not giving it enough juice. We designed this thing to be powered by two shark cadets, but it's just too heavy. It's such a shame, I wanted to see the looks on our bullets' faces when we got it moving. I'm sorry, I really thought it would work. There's no occasion for melancholy. What? To make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand. Genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? 
If I knew all that effort would have zero payout, I just have asked mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. Say some stupid things, you know that. What? No, cool it, would you? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents for bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Did you forget? That hunk of junk doesn't move, get it, boy. We're short on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. It's easy enough to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep. I'm gonna train up my socket and have him evolve. The boost of firepower will get star moving, moving, you don't sweat. The power of Operation Star is not at hand. Do you succeed in time? I get it then. No, like, wait. You know, Mela shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. Ugh, this sucks. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. Many of us had. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down. And going against our code would make a traitor out to the team. Gah, <sighs> fine. I like I have any choice anyway, so take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. So another team star badge in our possession. Not done yet. He's my favorite team too. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. Definitely, yeah, actually this move, I guess it's pretty good. It's a fairy type one, special. 80 base power, I believe. Doesn't miss like 100% accurate. Um, yeah, no additional effects whatsoever. But just so you know, you are the worst, like the most annoying person ever. But I get it. You're super strong. I made that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. You're Master Ortega. Mr. Hunt. Guess it's time for my piano lesson. Huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head on home. Ah, actually, a different matter brought me. Somebody I would like to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. Yeah, so apparently I know Harrington and Clavel. I know each other, probably. His name's Clyde. Okay, what's your business here? I want you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family and a heir to a major apparel company. So why join a, so why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you just met. My ass is the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. So the academy really did use to have an issue with bullying. Who we'll guess, right? School is all rainbows and butterflies these days. The bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. What? What happened to it? As a former director of the academy, I believe I'm best positioned to answer that question. Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Stone confronted the students who used to blow them. An altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of a third unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. So apparently that's the scandal uh, some trainer was talking about. But but there aren't there are any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine that. My former deputy deleted all the records for of the incident for the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? 
Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Tim Starr in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. The student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, he requested to exonerate that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from my any from any blame. Huh? No, no one told me that. I accepted his request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad it was not intended as a punishment. You understand? Team Star will. Were the victims after all. Wanted this student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the Galar region under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the academy servers. The previous his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing. That's child. After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. With the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act, also represents a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and I resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notice. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. I have my sincere apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decide to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, Teamster cannot carry on its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends in Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. This is probably Cassiopeia. Then it's, it's me. Take it that I've taken handing over his star badge to you, then. I see. With his boss no longer around, the Rockbar squad is good as finished. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. The operation has been a huge success, thanks to you, Dennis. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. Remember him saying that your acquaintances you known each other that long? Uh, I guess no, not all that long. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of the game back in the day. Which game? <laughs> ah, as you know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were bullied, who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, fronted their bullets head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star, though you could hardly call it a contest. The bullets didn't even put up a fight; they all battled, they all bolted from battle the first chance they got. Scared speedless of Team Star, the bullets then dropped out of school, one after another. And Team Star ended up with the realness of the story. That's neither here nor there. I forget I mentioned it. Now about your war, I'll transfer some leak points over you to your phone as prompts. So yeah, this Cassiopeia is really confusing. 
uh, as to be uh, honest, but I don't know, you can probably tell. Or, I don't know. Uh, who this person might actually just be. So yeah, we got some more um, lead points. You could use of those DMs. It should help you take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit will be my supply unit rep will be along soon to give your, your bonus work. So yeah, you know who the supply unit rep is. Um, here I am. And also, a Croydon uh, came out from his Pokeball. Ugh, stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? So, I don't know, uh, does this Benny character smell of sandwiches or something? Ah! Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. Soon as the teachers are all so messed up. If even one just if even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied, they'd have been able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everybody to face their bullies despite knowing how messed up the academy is. What a massive idiot creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. You really think so? I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. So we received uh, Pokemon materials. The next box is the very last one. We're kind of on you, Dennis. So yeah, um, it's about it. Let's maybe check out the uh, Rock Bar Squad base, right? I guess. We uh, actually went here for a reason. And you'll probably see the reason. Like, it's not really anything super special, but at least there's something useful in this base, which we can claim. Uh, so yeah, let's try to claim it. And also explore the base. The usual Team Star grunts, kind of uh, chilling in the base. Mm, no items so far. But yeah, we are actually looking for something in this base. Probably a tell by now. Vending machine. Oh, there's an item. an item. We'll probably go check out that lighthouse uh, very soon. Carry tear shard. Mm. Uh, anything down here? I think that's about it. Mm, I don't know. Also, we can see uh, our. Uh, You can see the Pokemon we built 
in the Team Star Brush. I don't know why does this happen after the Team Star Battle, but I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's actually uh, worth seeing after the Team Star Battle. I don't know. Probably something that could be fixed, in my opinion. So let's check it out this lighthouse. You can see the view of the Basido Mountain. Uh, Who's the good puppies? Yes, we both are. <laughs> Look at my Fido, so fluffy and doughy. <laughs> Morgrim and Mimikyu. I don't want to go back to the base, let's just you know, Let's pick up this team. So, we picked up Energy Bomb, which is a really good grass type move. I think it's a 80 base power special uh, grass type move which has a chance to lower the target's special defense by one stage so it's really similar to i know yeah actually it's the, the grass type equivalent of shadow ball yeah energy ball shadow ball really similar moves uh, and for that reason Oh, I was kind of scared because, uh, you know, thought the game was about to crash, but didn't. Thank God. So, yeah, for that reason, we're going to teach it to one of my Pokemon. And at this point, we're kind of managing to uh, answer to the water type Pokemon because our Lingo knows Thunderbolt, right? And also our. Actually, we could even teach it to our Arm Rouge, but I don't think it's, uh, it's probably, it's probably, um, uh, I think I'm gonna, or am I? Let me just check for a sec. Um, I think I'm gonna teach it to my Reborn instead. Let me just check for really quick. Um. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna teach it to my Gamora and not my Arm Rouge. Yeah, actually, I am. Yeah, I'm definitely teaching my Gamora energy ball. I'm gonna replace. Uh, let's see. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna replace Stealth Rocks. Because, um, I don't know. I think, yeah. I'm not using Stealth Rots at all. And it's probably better to, uh, replace Stealth Rocks with the Energy Ball. That's it. That was the, that was actually the reason uh, why we um, decided to go over here. Uh, maybe let's just heal up our little more because it kind of suffered the last battle. I want to use um, yeah, so potion on. And uh, yeah, I think we're good to fly over to the Poke Center. Mm. Not the Poke Center we can see from over here, but to the. Uh, actually, you know what? I could also use a potion. Yeah. So let's do that. Um, and I will probably also uh, lead with my Amarush again because.
Yeah. I guess with the ammo coin, right? So uh, let's uh, just switch up on our team a bit. And fly to the poke center in the Glacido mountain, right? So, so far we've checked everything over here. At least. Uh, as far as I'm aware. So our next stop will be probably Montenovera, right? Uh that reason I wanna go back over here. Uh, and we'll probably reach Montenovera like I don't know, going this direction. I think that's kind of the plan. Uh, so yeah, let's fly over to the Pokesuna. for a break actually Starting from the Glacido uh, Poké Center, right? Uh, our goal for now is uh, to reach the Montenavera town, and I think we are supposed to uh, actually. Let me see. There, there are actually some items up here. We're uh, supposed to challenge the next uh, gym leader over there. But as uh, so from now, I'm kind of trying to reach. Oh no! Oh, that was kind of close. Was oh no, no! Oh damn! Thank God. Uh, it's still better like to fall down than to uh, run into a well Pokemon. Oh, Hyper Wolves. Ooh, this move is actually um, 90 base power, special normal type move, and. Actually, I don't know if we discussed it yet, but some moves, like this one, belong to a special category of moves called sound moves. And these sound moves, uh, um, like, are based like on uh, Pokemon Scratch, right? Whenever uh, Pokemon uses a sound move, uh, it also. Uh, uh, uses its own cry, and some Pokemon uh, are actually immune to those kinds of moves. And I guess this is some other category of moves we haven't discussed yet, but I don't know. Apparently, they, they decided to make this category of sound moves, and I believe that Pokemon. Um, um, Toxicity, I don't know if you remember, uh, the Toxel Evolution has some special benefits of uh, using uh, such moves uh, by its ability, I believe. I think all its sound moves get boosted damage, something like that. I'm not sure, but. Um, so, yeah, that's about sound moves. Uh, we can see a lot of basculine in this uh, small lake, I believe. It's a lake, right? Um, so, for now, I'm just kind of exploring. So, um, I believe you we went over there to deal with the Team Star, right? Or Howie. Howie. Uh, I might be actually wrong. Yeah. 
As a matter of fact, I am. I will. Mm. Actually, for now, I'm gonna interested in uh, exploring this area, like hold, because you probably remember we've been here and it kind of turned away. I don't know. Let's maybe give it a shot. Yeah, about we'll see the mountain. The thing is, uh, it's really a huge area too. Like I don't know. Oh, and there's a Grievert. Actually, I'm not sure because I'm kind of afraid that there may be some high-level Pokemon. But I don't know. On the other hand, I want to have this area explored, and it might take some time to do that. Uh, we've been here before, right? Up there. Just maybe, I'll maybe try to get back again up so I can have a better view. But I don't know uh, if I'm. Uh, I will. I probably won't able to see it more clearly because of the snowstorm. That's kind of. Yeah. Um. So we probably went down there, right, to challenge the Team Star, right? Um, something like that, right? But maybe let's go over here on this higher area now, and um, let's see. So far, I'm not seeing anything. Um, oh yeah, so this is the Glacido grass, right? Maybe we should go over from here, but uh, just. Let's maybe start from over here. I think we uh, battled that Dragon Tamer. Maybe? Let me check. I think we did. Oh, watch for the Deer Link. Oh, actually, we have. So this is kind of interesting. Um, yeah, maybe let's battle her. I'm still living with my arm moves, am I? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. So let's, I guess, start with this Dragon Tamer. Which we haven't battled. I am strong, and so I battle. Yeah, I am also strong, and so do I battle. So we kind of live by the same motto. Elizabeth the Dragon Tamer. Let's see what dragon types are you sporting. Ooh, interesting. So Altaria. Yeah, Armor Rouge uh, won't be uh, efficient against Altaria. Uh, so for that reason, I'm gonna probably switch out to my uh, yeah, Tinkerton. It's probably the best. I don't know. Maybe also Glamora could like. Uh, no, actually no. Yeah, Tinkerton. Uh, Glamora won't. We only do like uh, neutral damage because I seem to forget that Altaria used to be a dragon flying Pokemon. And after the fairy type was introduced, they gave it fairy instead of flying, so now it's dragon dra dragon fairy. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that reason. I could also go with my artifact, but it could maybe take some damage from dragon type use, whether Altaria has any. But yeah, uh, it's probably the safest bet to go with, yeah. I think it turns its, its immune to dragon type moves and can also deal with them pretty well. So, yeah, I could either go with Ice Hammer or Play Rough, but you know, I should go with Play Rough since I get stabbed from it. That's about it. I think uh, Altaria is more specially defensive than it's physically defensive, so yeah. That went well. And also, Player Up did not miss. So, it's interesting how huh? well, we did not actually battle this person. For some reason. I don't know what it is, but you are strong. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, you. thanks for noticing, Elizabeth. Um, yeah, so... I'd, Oh, actually, yeah, we have not been here. Like, we probably, uh, yeah, yeah. I think
think we uh, reached the focus center from the other direction. And that's why this area was left unexplored. Uh, I might not dash in the snow because see Pokemon are... Yeah, you can see it, right? Pokemon seem to be uh, spawning right in front of me. Oh yeah, we probably went from over here, right? And we did not... Uh, yeah. So we probably checked everything at the we'll see the grass, did we? Maybe let's kinda check the terrain that uh spawned in this area. Also a gimme gold coin. Let's maybe pick it up. I don't know. Doesn't hurt to have one more. Or actually ten. <laughs> um I kinda don't oh no. As a matter of fact, I don't miss. It. I'm not missing uh, collecting these golden coins at all because it was kind of tedious and it was way too much coins to be collected. So um, let's check out the raid. Probably nothing particularly interesting. Really not interesting at all. Uh, yeah, uh, Delibird. We still haven't seen a fridge back in this area, which should probably appear. But for some reason, yeah, fridge backs is actually a rare Pokemon, so. And also, Artibax is even rarer. That's why we're not seeing it over here. So yeah, let's maybe uh, continue this way, this way. I'm not gonna explore the area below just yet. We'll probably do that sometime later. For now, I'm just gonna explore these snowy parts. And, I don't know, we'll see how well does it go. I think there's a Steel Terra Raid. Could also maybe check it. Probably nothing interesting as well. Yeah, really not interesting at all. But we did get some. Oh, yeah, so from over here we kinda descended down to face the Team Star, right? So instead of that, we're going to. We're going to be up the mountain, at least this uh, slope. Ooh, we probably caught already a bomb stone, did we? Yeah, I think we did. Something kind of tells me we, we did, but I might also double check. Yeah, uh, that's what I thought. Uh, so we're kind of climbing up the mountain. As oh yeah, I kind of want to avoid this. Ooh, interesting. So it's an evolution you can probably tell, right? And it's a Vaporeon. I think I'm gonna go for it. Um, if you manage to catch an Eevee and uh, also have a Water Stone in your bag, you can evolve to a uh, Vaporeon. But so far, we haven't encountered any weak in the wild, but so for that reason, let's uh, just catch this one. Yeah, I actually could go for a quick ball, but. You know, as usual, I forget. So let's go. Uh, I don't know if I want to go with Dive Ball. So let's go with just you know, an Ultra Ball. And 
yeah. Uh, that didn't work at all. So let's try again. There's a side out, and I believe it's no one. So yeah, apparently now we're just kind of catching these evolutions. Um, so we only managed to, I don't think we did not, no, actually we didn't manage to evolve um, an Eevee, of course, because we haven't encountered it yet. But just so you know, like, I'll probably mention the way to evolve Eevee into these evolutions, because like, most of them are pretty easy, like, Espeon is kind of annoying to evolve to, but, and also, I think Umbreon, which we, I think we battled, but haven't seen in a while, that one is also kind of annoying to evolve. You can see them in the Pokédex, right? Um, if you want to evolve to Umbreon, you, it's really similar to evolving to Espion, just you need to pull another style. And also searching, but that's actually not interesting at all. Let's catch this finally. This time I will try to use a quick ball. Uh, this one is, yeah, it's kind of lower level, lower level than the previous one, so it might be a bit easier. Well, actually, I don't have any <laughs> quick balls anymore, so that reason, let's let's just go with the. <laughs> I hope Orisphere does not knock it out. Oh, that's perfect. And also, we saw Aura Sphere for the first time. Being used by Armors. Construction work is being done uh, nearby. So let's try again with the Ultra Ball. I could also go with the Dust Ball, I believe. I think we already discussed the Titan, did we? Thank you. 
So, that was it. Finally caught ourselves a sea titan. So, I, th I think we've been here before, right? But, we were kind of fooling around. And maybe sightseeing or something. But I think I wanna actually explore this uh, to its fullest. Uh, if I can do so, because there still might be, yeah, definitely there are some areas that will need climbing. I could probably uh, drop over from here to pick up that item that we kind of left behind. Four, right? Uh, so, yeah. You know, usual. Okay, so we are back over here and still are trying to reach out on the other side. We might just get up from over here, right? Yeah. I'm not sure how much did we explore this area, but still kind of looking around. And if I find anything interesting, I will investigate. But there's the hole, right? We've been there, right? Did we? Or was that the hole that we could not reach? Let's check it out. Oh. Also, yeah, this also happens in this game. So we are kind of... So yeah, this is pretty annoying since uh, I am kind of trapped and I will need to fly back to the see the grass. So yeah, what actually happened, we kind of, I don't know, fell through some glitchy part of the game and yeah, that happens in this game, so what can we do? So actually, let me just mark on my map where I'm trying to go. So, um, yeah, I don't know, like, I probably won't be able to reach the hole in the island, am I? I think I'll probably need to wait till I can climb. This is my client if you can. So I'll probably dance, but at the same time, I want to be kind of uh, careful not to run into anything. Maybe also pick an hidden item once in a while. Oh, deliver material. We kind of saw a bear tick and a cup of chew, but. Uh, not really. Oh, watch for the startle. Maybe let's check out this over here because I don't think we spend any time over here. Yeah, pretty much nothing. Um, yeah, let's maybe just watch out for this work might and have a lug. Mm, I kind of want to avoid jumping into, into, into the water because um, yeah it could like just wash us away but so yeah we kind of over here and wanted to investigate that hole right but um, I don't know Let's see what I can do. Yeah, of course. Uh, okay. Let's maybe. Yeah, repeat. 
Uh, did smart? No, actually, I don't want to fall down. Uh, could be maybe wise to climb up over here just to see the view of everything. If that makes any help, but unfortunately it does not. Like, you can see that, yeah. Oh, there's the, okay, so... The orange grassy area near the Castle Royal Lake. Which we will probably at some point explore, but I believe it's still not the time because uh, I believe there are some higher level Pokemon over there. That's why I wanna kinda avoid it. And maybe let's finally. Oh, there's another Vaporeon. Have we been here? Like, I'm still wondering. Uh, I'm trying to. to get over there, but I don't know. Have we been here? Let's see. We could probably be. It's like a really suspicious area. Yeah, we've been here. So it's probably smart not to uh, dwell on that and maybe just move on. Yeah, I think I could maybe oh, watch for the Weavile. That's really close. So we're gonna climbing up. And now we're here. Oh, there's another cave, which I don't know if it's familiar or not, but I'm gonna investigate it either way. So maybe let's climb over here, see if that's anything particularly important over here. Hmm, probably not. There's an I oh, there's an item. Also, a hidden item. A great ball, as a matter of fact. Let's just slide down. Let's maybe check out the cave right now. It could be something. Oh no. Yeah, these things are just hidden in the stuff. So you, you, you can't do anything about it. Just suffering frustration, as usual. But, anyways. Oh no, Sneasel. Oh no. Like, come on. And probably another one after this one as well. Uh, let's see, where am I? Yeah, there's a Sneasel really close to me and it's probably gonna run just right about now. Oh, and of course, I also could not get away. Okay. Ooh, so kind of glad that this missed. So, yeah, really a lot of sneezing near me, which could be kind of threatening, but let's hope none of them decide to cross my path. Yeah, let's maybe just, yeah, go over here. Also, what? Is that the same Grivart? We are. I also seem to like picked up a experience candy large for some reason. I don't know how that happened. But I hope this is the last Pokemon which is interrupting us. So I'm just gonna like, you know. Oh, there's a snowboard, of course. I'm just gonna glide away like I'm just so frustrated right now. Uh, yeah, please stay away from me. Um, yeah, let's climb over here, if it's possible, but it might not be. Uh, it doesn't seem like it, does it? Yeah. Uh, this might not be, actually. Uh, yeah. Probably won't be able to get up here. Oh well. Yeah, I should maybe come later here. Because I'm not able to get up or the item, uh, <laughs> the, the, uh, what's it called again? You know what, I think I'll probably try to pick up the item we've left behind, or, or, not, actually, no. Just let me go over here, and, uh, I will probably come back over here and pick up the item that we left behind previously. Hmm. 
kind of want to go over here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to like descend from. Yeah, we're kind of sliding down, right? I think, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I'm not probably able to. We'll see. Uh, I don't want I don't want to say anything too quickly, so. Uh, yeah. So we kind of go here, and maybe we'll we'll be able to claim the item. Oh, so apparently now we're in, we're in Castro Lake, right? Uh, yeah, probably also Pokemon are a bit higher level. Yeah, you can see it's. Yeah, Pokemon over here are a bit higher level. Like, you remember the Sea Titan from before, right? But I also want to kind of explore. Ooh, there's this sword, I believe. Ooh, interesting. There's a Pokemon. Which we have not caught so far, right? And actually, this Pokemon is a. This Pokemon is Spiritum. Also, we can see it's to the widow for some reason. Uh, what's it called again? Um, Laurentius, is it? Yeah. So yeah, let me let me try and catch this Pokemon because oh, just came at us. So the thing about this Pokemon, it can only be encountered at the fixed locations in this game. Uh, it doesn't appear in the wild. I think we mentioned it before, right? Um, so yeah, this apparently is one of those fixed locations which you can find Spiritomb. Also, a interesting Pokemon over there, which we might just uh, check. Let's go with Flamethrower. I don't know. This Pokemon should not spawn over here, I believe. Oh no. So yeah, Spiritum is a ghost type Pokemon. And yeah, that's about it. You probably remember this situation when we tried to catch Knuckle Stack, right? Yeah, so that's what happened. Anyway, we'll probably get more chances to encounter this Pokemon. But we can maybe also come back at some point and try to reclaim it because this is a face location and this is a it's a fixed encounter, right? So we can. Um, this is kind of weird. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is the Pokemon I'm trying to encounter. So. <sighs> this Pokemon is the last evolution of Slackoff, the bigger one. And this is the Pokemon this, that's pretty scary. It's really powerful. This Pokemon is really powerful. And but it has this drawback, right? Of only moving every two turns. So I'm gonna kinda play around with that. Just to catch it. I'm gonna go with the Aura Sphere that did quite a lot. Um, oh yeah, it's trying to use counter, but it doesn't work because I'm using special moves on it. Let's go with the... Mm, let's go with Psy Shock. I think it would not knock it out. I think I might be wrong though. But I'm probably... I'm kind of sure they won't knock it out. Oh yeah. Yeah, so you can see... Uh, it's ability 2, and which means it's kind of loafing around, which means it's not able to move. So yeah, the next turn it will it will move, and but for now I'll just try to catch it. So this Pokemon turns out to be really powerful. Uh, if you ignore its ability, uh, so far I think yeah, kind of good. That was kind of easy. So yeah, it's the last evolution of uh, the. 
slack off the cigarettes, right? That's quite a lot of experience for catching. As you can see. So yeah, already in our Pokédex. Interesting. So yeah, we haven't managed to catch Spiritum, but we probably will at some point. There are plenty of uh, chances left, probably. Uh, there are a lot of these Spiritum locations, I believe. I don't know how many, but... Ooh, interesting. Oh, more Pokémon. Uh, also Raichu. Yeah, and another Slacking. Yeah, we're kind of back in the Castrill Lake, right? And I think... Um, I don't know. Have we been here? Yeah, we probably... Oh, there's a little... There's a cave, actually. Down there. So, yeah, we... Might not... Uh, reclaim that item, but... Instead of that, we're gonna kind of... Examine this cave over here. Where it actually leads to... Oh, oh yeah, there's this sword, right? Um... But we are not picking that up, of course. So yeah, it's just, there's actually a key over here. It's, can can I pick this? I'm trying to pick this up, but I feel apparently um lately, right? Let's see what level. Yeah, two kind of high level Pokemon over here. Let's see what. That's over here. Oh, I think we're gonna. Do, are we gonna like come out at? Oh, interesting. So yeah, this cave actually leads to Castro Lake. Uh, okay. Ironhead. I don't think we. Uh, I think we'll explore this area later, so no point in dropping down. So mm, let's just return. So yeah, this cave actually leads to the other side. Um, Ironhead, right? This move is a... I don't know. It's a steel physical move. 80 base power. Mm -hmm. It has a quite a high chance of making the target flinch. Uh, yeah, we probably see him flinching, right? Yeah. Ooh, interesting. A evolution. Let's try to sneak up on it. Oh, never mind. Not gonna happen because you notice us. Oh, another one over there. Let's try and catch one. I'm gonna go with, probably with Aura Sphere. Yeah, it's Glaceon. And I believe this one evolves from Eevee after using an Eye Stone on it. Let's see how much our sphere does this place on. Yeah, pretty good. Um Oh no, so yeah. Mirror code is actually the counter equivalent. It's the it's a psyche type move. Uh, this is kinda annoying, but whatever. <sighs> Just like counter like does double physical damage, it receives in the previous turn, this does double special damage it receives in the previous turn, so that's why our armor which was taken down. Because, um, and actually, yeah, the type effectiveness doesn't even count as long as the target's not immune. Like, we know that armor uh, could take. Psych type moves quite well, right? But in this case, it did not because uh, I don't know. Uh, apparently, type effect nearness doesn't come to play in moves like counter and mirror code. I think because the damage from previous turn gets doubled, 
regardless of how much damage was right and that doesn't take into account type of factors except for immunities i believe I don't know. maybe i don't know what i'm talking about but let's try to catch this thing eventually see another evolution uh, yeah which requires an evolution stone to evolve So we have, uh, yeah, it's trying to use mirror code, but it doesn't work because we're not attacking it. I think we saw mirror code, right? Before. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I think we are not able to climb back up from where we slid down. And this thing is apparently not really helping us to catch it. The thing about counter and mirror code is that they have quite low power points, so you can only use it like five times if you're not using any PP up. Like if you are, you can use it at most eight times. Like it has. 8 PP at maximum using PP up. Yeah, so this thing is kind of annoying. So, should I go for a time ball, timer ball? Oh, freeze dry. Freeze dry is an interesting move actually. Mm, it's a. I don't know what base power it has, but it's a ice type move. I think it's 70 or something. I'm not sure. 100% accurate. Special ice type move, but what's so special about this move is that it's, it does double damage to water types. So, like, uh, like it does super effective damage against water type Pokemon. I believe something like that, which is kind of interesting because uh, ice type Pokemon uh, are not really attractive against water type. Like ice type moves. Um, I, be I believe it's like that. So we finally managed to catch it. And also, our Goldingo is leveling up. Uh, yeah, we need to heal up our Armor Rouge since it uh, was taken down by this Glacium. Also, this Pokemon is oh, I guess it's I don't know. It's a bit. It's quite slow. It has some. It has some physical defense, I believe. It has really high special attack. Mm. But it's not really often used. I don't know. If you like it, you can use it. I know. I kind of like it. I know. It has. It has a cool design. I guess. As an evolu evolution. Oh no. This is kind of annoying, but whatever. Mm. Yeah. Let's just maybe, yeah, I can like go up, right? So I'll probably just fly away from this place. Uh, of course, I'm gonna heal up beforehand. I think we managed to explore this area. Um, also, our Gulbengu could be killed by the potion. Um, I'm gonna go with the super potion on my armorage as well. I'll be gonna use a potion on it too. Let's see. Yeah, definitely using a potion on Give me Gold, uh, Goldango, and Armorage.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's fly away. We're kind of stuck. So, from here we, we probably should go back to the Poke Center. And finally, maybe go towards the Montanura. I think we, yeah, pre pretty much support what we can. There, there, still, there is an item over here which we haven't picked up, but we'll probably return over here and, uh, I don't know, explore the rest once we are able to climb. Nope, uh, this one, right? Glaciado Mountain. I know. I'm, I think I might be pronouncing this in two different ways, like either Glaciado or Glacido. I'm not sure. It's probably Glaciado, because I don't know. It sounds more Spanish. Mm. Glaciado Mountain, right? So, I'm not sure, but I've explored everything. Uh, there's a trainer, right? Uh, so yeah, from this way, we can go and challenge the... Yeah, yeah, you can probably see, right? From over here, you can uh, go and challenge the star, if you haven't already, but we did. Um, so yeah, I think we're kind of good to go. Um, did we explore everything over here? Mostly. There was a broken train outside. Actually, we did not. There's still items to pick, and there's also blue words in the snow. So. Also, another trainer over there. Maybe let's just uh, let's do a quick battle. Um, blue. I'm a career fan. I just like to dress up like this. Oh. He's actually, he actually isn't a real career or delivery person, but we'll see how many how much money will will we get from this battle. From Xavier the career. Because yeah. You probably realize that you get quite some money from these battles from the battle career. Mm -hmm. Interesting, so the rapture. Uh, I might probably want to switch out either to my Goldengo or to my Gomora. Yes. I could actually also go to my Artibex, and in fact, I will because uh, Artibex is kind of falling behind. We could use some experience points, but I don't know, let's see. Depends on what this career will do with their Staraptor. So yeah, our artifacts isn't boost a lot. Oh, okay, so this is kinda annoying. <sighs> Since our artifacts will be replaced by something else at random. Okay. Uh, yeah, apparently we're going for the Thunderbolt. Also, these types moves really and such have really low priority, so they are always going to be one of the last. That's why you, at least you have a chance to attack before him. I think this was his only Pokemon, was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was kinda, it was kinda, kinda weird or interesting, I don't know. Please sign here. <laughs> Yeah, not a lot of money. Oh no. 
I kind of hate these Pokemon at this moment. Another trainer? Mm. Let's maybe check the sign beforehand. I think it says Montenuira, right? I think, yeah. Uh, yeah, to Montenuira. That's pretty much where we're headed. So, actually, we're finally reaching Montenuira. Uh, yeah, let's maybe just check out that item. Snowberries. Um, where is the trainer? Oh yeah, no, actually not this one, but... Uh, where did the trainer go? Uh, kinda... Oh, there, 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 there. Um, let me see. That's right, that's right. That's right, I'm totally lost. The challenge by Valeria this team. She's sending out a tortoise. Actually, this seems to be a, an alternative form of Taurus, which is not found in Scarlet version. And it's actually a fighting and a water type, so for that reason, I want to kind of switch out to my Goldenko. Because um, it's kind of immune to both. Actually, it's not immune to water, but it's at least immune to fighting. Um, and we, we probably like managed to take it out with Thunderbolt. So yeah, apparently, uh, and I didn't see what move it was using, but it was probably using the status move, which uh, Rodango is immune to, so let's go with Thunderbolt. Oh. Okay. So apparently, uh, this person is also using a Taurus, but it's also using a Zonark, which was <laughs> disguised as a Taurus, and we managed to take it out anyway. I don't know, because probably, yeah, Zonark has got really low special defense. And now she's sending Miss Magius, and we will kinda continue with our probably. We'll finish off the spell with our Gibby Gong since we know that she's gonna also send out the Taurus again, but this time not disguised. Um, yeah, Zoroark is the Zoro Evolution and has the same uh, shape shifting ability as its pre evolution. And this time we wanna go with Shadow Ball and take out this, this Megius. Which is actually a uh, mysterious evolution, which is not available in Pokemon Scarlet. Which kind of makes sense because it's a like purple colored or violet colored Pokemon, so it should be available in Pokemon Violet. And there's her Taurus, which we will probably also go down. Using uh, Thunderbolt.
could also bring no, actually yeah, never mind. Actually I remember that I could use my armor uh on this Pokemon, but it's kind of a good thing that I switched out because it was actually a Zoroark and not Taurus. And it was actually immune to Psyshock. But yeah, Valeria student has some tricks up her sleeve. Apparently. Which would be like really weird if I used Psyshock and I was I would be like wondering why is it immune to Psyshock when it's a fighting type Pokemon. Not last at all, are you? But tell me you actually wanted to come out here. Yeah, actually I did, because I'm kinda going to face the Montanuera gym leader. I hope that kinda makes sense, does it? Um, let's see. Is any... yeah, no. I was kinda wondering if any of my Pokemon needs to be healed up. So I'm still kinda bleeding with my Armourouche and... I suppose that's kinda convenient because we're seeing a lot of ice type Pokemon. That's armor which could deal with them pretty well. Let's maybe bring armor which up if it's maybe possible. Uh, yeah, you can also see that Fro Frostless can spawn just like Glary. Uh, Icy Rock. Let's maybe, yeah, fine. Armor which is out and about. Think about it, Armourouche is, is kind of slow, right? Unlike Goldengo, when it's like following us around. But it's okay, I guess. So, uh, there's oh yeah, there's the Elibird resting. I'm gonna avoid the Squibbert because. We saw what happens. Not paying attention. So yeah, so I'm kinda interacting with my armor rouge for some reason, but I didn't want to actually, I don't know what happened. Maybe I just kinda pressed the wrong button. So yeah, we're not kinda we're now kinda ascending. And a Citadel is gonna form us. Um, I'm kinda wondering, can I reach over there? Up there? Probably not, so let's not bother with that right now. Actually, it turns out that Montanovera as team leader is a ghost type trainer. Mm, so we probably see a lot of. Gimme Go, uh, Goldengo, or Artifax. Since our Artifax learned Crunch recently, it would be quite helpful. Yeah, it was I, actually it was kind of worth it to spend some time in the Team Star base, yeah, just because like, we managed to uh, get some really good TMs and. Each time to our Pokemon, like Aura's Fuel and Energy Ball, right? But we also managed to train up our artifacts to the point where you can upgrade Bite with Crunch, right? This is my spot. If you want to camp, go find a spot of your own. This person's kind of aggressive, like marking their own territory. Challenged by Hiker Manuela. Let's just sending out uh, uh, her camera actually, which is a Pokemon we haven't encountered yet. But you can probably tell it's a normal evolution. Actually, this Pokemon turns out to be really weak to water because it's a ground and fire type Pokemon. For that reason, I'm gonna like bring out my quick level, which hasn't been battling very much, just like to show this person who's the boss around here and who can actually camp and who cannot. Just like 
to threaten first with us. Because, yeah, our quick level will be sleep asleep after it gains the Maxi boost and the Aqua Step boost. So it's kind of useless for 3 turns after that. At least 3 turns. Or maybe not. Maybe only 2 turns, but at least 1 turn probably. So we will probably switch it out anyway. Yeah, the Moxie Boost as well. Also, our Amarushi is leveling up. Uh, also, she's sending out her Dedini. Uh, usually, let's go for the uh, Ardiabax because it can, like, just use dig and the dinny will be probably knocked out. Actually, I think I could maybe lead with my Artifax. And because I'm not gonna use Ice for Spirit Owl, so. Uh, Artifax won't be depending on its loaded dice. Oh, yeah, so it used Dazzling that, that Green, which kind of hurt our Artifax. But, yeah. I didn't, I didn't kind of expect it that it didn't need to outrun my Artifax. And yeah, uh, they did use a part fairy type, so that's why it did so much damage, but our dick managed to take it out. There's another Pokemon, I believe she has. The loser, of course. Uh, yeah, let's keep with our artifacts. Uh, let's maybe see for the first time. So let's lower and Daily Bird kinda really close. Also a lot of Daily Bird behind us. So let's go with the clutch. Oh, so the leaves have managed to live this clutch. Yeah, our Arbex is kinda taking quite some damage in this battle, but we'll probably kill it afterwards. That should be it, right? So yeah, I think I'm gonna like heal up my artifacts and maybe just lead with it because it's kind of falling apart. Uh, experience points wise. Oh, I just here for a hike at the camp. Yeah. Now you're all, suddenly you're all being nice, right? So yeah, let me just quickly uh, switch up my Pokemon. Yeah, also. Wake up my Weevil. Let's use a berry this time. Uh, 
interesting. I have an orange berry, which I didn't even realize I do. Uh, let's go with the yeah, hyper potion. Or not? Actually, let's go with the energy root. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, yeah. Also, let's not forget to switch the items. Just to earn more money. So yeah, I don't know if I should like... Uh, switch... Let me see. Uh, yeah. Well, actually... <laughs> I could maybe like... Give my Goldingo a loyal dice. So, for now, I'm kind of switching the items between Goldingo and Armor Rouge, just like I did before. And now, when I like switch the items from Goldingo and Artifacts, that's uh, what, what I wanted to do. So, <clears throat> so yeah, we're kind of leading with our Artifacts. This may be just uh, setting out just, just because. Um, so yeah, I um, think we could like also go there, but but no. Where does this take us? Um, let's see. Oh, you can see that freezer bags kind of appears over here. Oh, wait, actually, we could like maybe go. Oh, chair, but I don't know. Maybe maybe later, right? I think I'm kind of um, kind of wanna challenge the gym leader probably. Uh, really so actually, because it's kind of being it's kind of being postponed already. Well, so Artibax doesn't want to come out. Oh, never mind, eyes. Interesting, so I could put this on my Artifax to boost this ice type boost, but I don't know. It's probably uh, way better that I put a loaded dice on it for the at least four time uh, strike uh, by Icicle Spear. So apparently, Artifax doesn't want to come. Out. No. Really, I hate this game. <sighs> Actually, I don't know if I should discuss this, but uh. This game, right? Uh, you can probably tell that in my menu I have, I could like uh, pick up the down downloadable content, right? Um, at this point, we still don't know a lot about the downloadable content. But as a matter of fact, today is the day which. Uh, Nintendo and Game Freak are about to reveal more of the contents of the downloadable content for this game. And probably in half an hour, there will be a live broadcast of this presentation. And I will probably like take a break before this starts, <laughs> just to see what are they planning to release in the downloadable content. Mm. I will probably also cover the downloadable content once it uh, comes out. Uh, they are planning to like release it in in the fall of 2023 and in the winter, but I I, I kind of doubt it that this will be the case because uh, everything uh, in the ninth generation of Pokemon games uh, is kind of being postponed. Even the connection with Pokemon Home was really uh, late. Uh, I don't know, yeah, you probably know what Pokemon Home is, right? It's like a 
Pokemon starters that could be like used to transfer Pokemon from games. And was really oh yeah, that's for the green word. Also our artifact seems to be picking up stuff and I also kind of don't see it. Uh which could be So yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, definitely gonna cover up the uh the downloadable content for this game. Like at least for the Scarlet version. Um uh, yeah, downloadable content for Scarlet and Violet's going to probably differ as well. Um, so apparently I will cover it for the Scarlet version. Mm. Yeah, so in about a half an hour, uh, Game Freak and Nintendo will reveal to us what are they planning to uh, put into the downloadable content. I'm kind of excited to see. It was such a shame what happened to Grusha that accident ruined his snowboarding career. So yeah, apparently this Grusha gym leader in the Glacido gym was a snowboarder. Uh, like, he probably... Uh, that was kind of hidden at some point. And we are kind of Challenged by Eduardo the students right in front of the Mountain Vera, I believe. And let's just battle him. And maybe I'll try to explore the Mountain Vera and I think I will kinda of stop before taking the gym challenge. The gym test, right? Oh so he's sending out his Poltegeist, yeah. Poltegeist, I think we'd say Sinister Evolution. I don't think we encountered either one of those, but they're both ghost types, so that's why I'm going for the crunch. Yeah, crunch is gonna be used quite a lot uh, in this, also in this gym. It's, I don't know, it's kinda smart decision to deal with the ghost types as well. You could also use Goldingo, but Goldingo actually, I don't know. I'm not sure whether. <sighs> Is it, does it take neutral damage for ghost type moves or does it take double? I'm not sure. So, Goldinga could be weak to uh, ghost type moves. I'm not sure. Like, I don't know. We'll see. Let me actually check the charts. The type charts. Really quick. So we managed to deal with the Poltegeist. And he's also saying the Dalton Sparks, which we saw back in the Medali. So for that reason, I'm gonna go with my Quake Playable. Since it has learned the move Low Sweep. Let me check the Goldenko type effectiveness. So yeah, yeah, actually, uh, ghost type moves do super effective damage against Goldengo. And so does Goldengo uh, do super effective damage against ghost types using his ghost type moves, so yeah. Goldengo actually might not be the best choice for this uh, gym. Um, yeah, let's go with the low suit. So yeah, apparently I'm gonna use Artibax a lot. Because, I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll then go. Uh, we'll probably do more damage than Artibax, but we'll also take more damage than Artibax, so... It's kind of a... Win-lose situation. Ah, sorry for going on about old news. I suppose that all must have been before your time. <laughs> Interesting. Like, I don't mind uh, the uh, facts from the uh, past, I guess. 
just like uh, the stuff about Mr. Harrington and what we heard from the Ortega back in the Rugwa spot base. So yeah, this is the town of Montenavera. Um, I don't know, it's quite interesting. Like a lot of candles, apparently. Let's check out this area. There seem to be some items over here. TM Leech Life. Covert cloak. Oh, this item is so good. Like, I should put this on Goldengo actually, because yeah, but this item does it. Like, prevents the effects of any secondary effects from moves like like burns or anything like that. So this, if I put this on Goldengo, it will be completely immune to the secondary effects uh, as well, not just status moves. So yeah, it's like a Pokemon uses, I don't know, uh, I don't know, it uses Discharge against my Goldengo. Discharge by default has 30% chance of paralyzing, but actually Covert Cloak will prevent this effect from happening, so I kind of want to put this on my Goldengo instead of Loaded Dice. Um, but I will kind of... Uh, let's find it. Where is it? Yeah, so this move, this this item is really, really useful. You can see an item to be held by a Pokemon. This hooded cloak conceals the holder, tricking the eyes of its enemies and protecting it from additional effects. So yeah, uh, you kind of want to really put this on your Goldengo if you have one, because uh, that way Goldengo can only take damage like from boosts. It cannot be status. It's immune to status conditions, right? Um, so by holding this, it's also immune to status conditions, which could be um, inflicted by secondary effects. So now your Goldenko is completely immune to status conditions. It cannot be burned, put to sleep, paralyzed, frozen by any means. So that's why, uh, actually also competitively, people are using a lot of covert cloak Goldengo. Uh, so yeah. Really good item to put on your Goldengo uh, because of its ability. So I think, yeah, here we, here we can leave Montenegro, but let's maybe just pick up the item that we're kind of seeing and um, just return back to Montenegro. Uh, yeah. Let's maybe check out uh, people and so yeah, here's the I don't know. I think it's a yeah. I think it's chance to supply something. I'm not sure. Mm. Ooh, it's so chilly. Pokemon are just too darn cute. Great. <laughs> what a what a response. Great. Snorrent? Oh, let's let's hear about Snorrent. I think... Isn't Snorrent cute? Well, the females have a chance of evolving to Frostless. Yeah, I think uh, I was kind of expecting this. Uh, that he will kind of point out that you can either evolve Snorrent into Blaily or Frostless, but only females can evolve into Frostless. Uh, yeah, all kids are doing it. <laughs> it's kind of... <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Snow Slope Run is popular these days. You can try it out on Glacido Mark. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, I think we already heard about this slow, Snow Slope Run, but can, haven't tried it yet. It's terribly cold, it sure is. Yeah, I mean, even, yeah, maybe. Is that Mr. Harrington? Kind of looks like. I don't know. But he should maybe, like, uh, wear more clothes, I guess. 
So yeah, a lot of candles. Focus center. Is there a league rap over here? Probably not. Nope. Hmm. Actually, yeah, I know. Uh, I know what, what this person actually does, and it's kind of interesting. So hyper training, get it right here. Hey, I can put up any Pokemon that's level 50 or higher through hyper training if you'd like. Let's just say, do you wanna? We want one of your Pokemon to go through hyper training. Actually, we could, but. We won't actually, but I will kind of explain what this hyper training is. So, in order to hyper train your Pokemon, they need to be over a little level 50, right? Um, what hyper training does it actually increases the individual values. I don't know if you remember. We talked about this that you can actually increase your individual values, which are generated for your Pokemon up to the value of 31, so yeah, this hyper training actually does that. If you put your Pokemon through your through hyper training, you can actually increase your individual values of the Pokemon to a value of 31, like the max value, right? And you pay using a certain item, I, th I don't think we actually picked it up yet. Let me see. Uh, let's let's say I wanna hyper train Pokemon. I don't know, it doesn't matter what. Let's say I wanna hyper train I guess my Artifacts. Let's see. So apparently I can because it's over level 50, right? But if it wasn't I wouldn't wouldn't be able to level, uh, hyper train. So do you wanna use bottle caps or a gold battle cap? Actually, we picked up one bottle cap, right? So I could use this bottle cap. Let's say I want to use it, but actually I don't just at this point. But I will eventually uh, uh, put my artifacts to hyper train. So yeah, actually, you wanna which stat do you wanna me to raise? Okay, so let's see. We can we can see right that we can hyper train our artifacts by, uh, I don't know, maximizing one of its stats, right? So, what this means, we can check, uh, let's say, HP, and after we start the training, uh, the individual value for HP will be set from whatever value to the value of 31. And that's about it. Uh, your HP will be max maximized uh, regarding the individual values, but you can also, like, Train more, right? Stats, but you also need more bottle caps. And you can actually buy these bottle caps uh, later in the game if you wanna uh, use hyper training. And I don't know, if you're gonna use Pokemon compatibly, you probably wanna do that just to like, uh, uh, yeah, so kind of just to like maximize your potential of your Pokemon, like maximize the stats. Like you obviously don't wanna like train your artifacts as special attack because it's not, it's not it's not designed to be a special attacker but a physical one right so it's no point of hyper training your artifacts as special attack if it's not designed to be a special attack and likewise like for the rest of the book i know it's kind of advanced topic but i i hope i kind of managed to explain it um yeah Montenevera is, let's see. Montenevera is a town with lots of snow and lost souls. Lately, the concerts are a real draw, too. <laughs> Fluttering, flickering delight. Fluttering snow, flickering candlelight. Every day is like a festival here, don't you think? I don't know. Yeah, we can also see some snowman. I don't know. Probably a cool place to make photos, like, I don't know. Just like uh, make a photo of your ice type Pokemon. Oh yeah, speaking of ice type Pokemon, here's our artifacts, which won't come out for some reason. Yeah, of course not. Yeah, finally it came out. So yeah, I hope I kind of managed to explain hyper training. Uh, it's a cool feature, definitely. You wanna hyper train your Pokemon. 
to make them stronger. But at this point, we are not gonna do that because we don't have enough uh, bottle caps. Mm, we only have one. But I could like, actually, I could like uh, buy them later. But I don't know. But for, for, for the purpose of this playthrough, it's not really necessary. Just like it's not uh, necessary to effort train our Pokemon. Oh yeah, usual um, some stuff that can be bought. Delicious. Everything tastes better when you eat outside. I don't know. Depends on where you eat. Like I don't know if you wanna eat in such a cold place as Montenevera. You know about the ultimate class of sandwiches? They're called master sandwiches, and no one seems to know the recipes for them. Interesting. Mm. Some vending machines as usual. So warm. <laughs> uh, you can probably also buy the ingredients. Here's the uh, the usual, every which way probably. Let's check it out. Maybe we can actually learn new recipes. Not that we need them, but you know, just to keep things on track. We still haven't made a sandwich in this game. <laughs> yeah, new sandwiches actually. Oh, it's you again. I thought of some new recipes. And we learned how to make some new sandwiches. Those recipes make mouth-watering good sandwiches. Give me a try sometime. If I think up new recipes, I'll be sure to teach them to you. So, actually, I don't know what the recipes have been taught to us, but... You know, at some point, uh, when we'll try to make a sandwich, we'll have a lot of recipes to make from. Which shall I have? One that one. Yeah, so this lady's probably offering us a sandwich. Oh no, that hit as well. Maybe I'll just want to go. Bergmite. Let's see. Oh, so apparently we cannot talk to these people, but we can actually. Uh... Ooh, interesting. Ah, oh, ice. When I'm with my ice cube, even the stuffiest room feels nice and cool. <laughs> thing about ice cube is that it's version exclusive. Actually, you cannot get it in the Scarlet version, but you can get it in the Wild version. So it's kind of interesting that uh, we can see ice cube in this restaurant. Also, uh, ice cube is a quite interesting Pokemon, but it has some interesting features, but it's not really good. Also, kind of weird Pokemon too. Um, so yeah, where are we? Yeah, where are we? So yeah, we, over up there we can see the gym. Uh, here's our Artemax. There's an item which we might try to pick. Let's check out the... Yeah, let's see. The gym leader here. The gym leader here used to be a time. The gym leader here used to be time, but she retired a year and a half ago. She's still rhyme is the gym leader now. Interesting. Um, it's kind of interesting that a time would be a gym leader uh, up here. Like, it's so away. It's so far away from the Naranja Academy. Of course. Ooh, a dusk stone. So if you're if you're having your Murkrow kinda not able to do as much damage as you want, you can maybe like try evolving one uh, before uh, hitting the gym. Also, uh, this seems to be the stage I guess. For concerts I believe. Maybe these two can maybe provide more information. Those purple lights. These stage lights are purple. 
This stage light is purple for the gym test. It's so pretty. That rhyme. Have you ever seen one of Rhyme's concerts? The music shakes you right down to your soul. <laughs> Interesting. So yeah, let's maybe claim these items over here. Uh, particularly TMs. Yep. Electric terrain. Kind of interesting. Also, it's uh, really near a concert stage. Mm, ghost terror shards. And uh, now we're kind of back in Gosido Mountain. And we can also uh, spot some uh, Avalog and Burmai, but you know. Uh, so, is there any way to? I don't know, I'm kinda wanna go to the Let's see. Chill tick yeah. Okay. Oh no. So this is happening again. Well at least we can fly back to onto New Year. If we ever manage to land, well we might be just stuck falling. Yeah, so it's happened again. But anyway, I think that's probably about it. I think we're good for a break, and we'll probably uh, start the gym test after the break. So, I think we're good to face the gym leader in Montevera. But I actually had trouble picking up some items. I don't know if you remember. I know I know there are items, but like there is kind of uh, this is kind of a suspicious area that we can climb using our Coridon. So we're kind of in back in the Glacido Mountain. Let's try to check out this awfully suspicious place. Um, yeah, there's a trail right, right? Um, is it possible to like? Oh, uh, is there anything up on the roof of the gym? Mm hmm. It's gonna be fine now. Nope, apparently not. But at least now we know how to reach up there. Um, let me see. What about what's over up here? If we can actually manage to reach, yeah, uh, Bergmite. Just like. Walking around this really high area, and I'm probably not gonna uh, able to walk this angle. Are really a lot of subtitles. Yeah, probably um, I'm kind of restricted. Am I? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, let's maybe just. Uh, glide over back over to the mountain Vera. Also, our Coridon is really having trouble uh, scaling this. But at least we kind of explored it. Maybe let's see if there's anything over here. Uh, we can actually see Azid. Azid or Desert. What's it called again? Asada Desert. <laughs> 
yeah. Uh, actually, am I actually able to climb anything? Uh, I don't know. I seem to like to slide down, and it's probably best not to bother. Oh, watch for this sneasel. Hmm. Oh, there's a Pokemon actually we haven't caught yet. It's kind of interesting. Let's say level 36 something. Let's try and catch it. It's kind of high. Uh, what happened? Did we initiate an encounter? Uh, what's actually happening? Oh, we actually initiated an encounter, but yeah. And we also managed to uh, catch this Pokemon off guard, but this was really something weird. I wasn't even sure whether our game uh, is working properly or what is happening, so I'm kind of. Yeah, the thing is, I'm kind of afraid that Artibax will knock out this Cryogonal, right? I think it's Cryogonal. I think it's supposed to be spelled like that. Um, pronounced actually. So, you know what? I'm just gonna go with the Pokeballs. Um, yes, I don't know. I'm pretty much. This Pokemon is kinda low leveled. Uh, compared to my Artifacts. So. Uh, yeah, so far so good. Yeah, actually. That's perfect. So we managed to catch ourselves with Coagonal. This Pokemon is, I don't know, it's really bad. Like, it's a nice type Pokemon, which isn't even evolve, doesn't evolve at all. Uh, I don't know. I don't know much about this Pokemon, but I know for sure that it's not used at all. It doesn't have anything, like, special about it. I don't know. Really, really nothing special. I don't know, really, um, kind of lackluster Pokemon. Um, oh no, I really hate this Nizzle in this area. Let's maybe explore. Uh, what else? Okay, so yeah, we can also not leave this bell, and yeah, it's using. F okay, at least it missed. Uh, luckily, or uh, not, depending on how you look at it. Uh, let's just run away, please. So yeah, actually, we're really high, and you can see the focus center from up here, right? Oh no, another one. Actually, where are we? I'm kinda lost to this point, but... We are... yeah, we are near Monte Nevera, and we are also... Ooh, interesting. No, is that possible? It's kinda... it's kinda weird. Is that actually the... No, no, of course not. Uh, yeah, yeah, the next gym is way up higher. That we are currently so maybe I wanna kinda check out the this terra raid if it's possible. Yeah the thing about being at such a high place is oh no. So am I actually on the other side of Montenegro? The thing about being as at such a high place is that you can actually uh ooh. Interesting. Let's maybe go for it. Actually, um, this is a Pokemon we haven't encountered so far, and I don't know. Let's go for it. Like, uh, I'm probably gonna use my Armor Rouge because it's a Grass Terror Rate, right? Let's maybe go for it. I guess.
I'm kinda I'm kinda already. Sure, what the Pokemon is that we are kind of facing. I think it's Indeedy, which is a psychic type Pokemon. Um, I don't know. Also, something like Quiagonal, really nothing special. Uh, as far as I'm aware. I could be wrong. I don't know, but people don't seem to use it at all. We were just kind of testing for the. Pokedex entry. So that later we don't have to. Um, I probably just like you know the usual. Cheer up and then. Oh, uh, but yeah, actually. Uh, now I kind of remembered. That this Pokemon hidden ability is Psychic like Search with Gonna. Uh, puts up the Psychic Terrain, which boosts the power of Psychic moves of every Pokemon on the loop. It's kinda maybe useful, like, just as a Psychic Terrain setter. Could be useful, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it has this ability, Psychic Search as its hidden ability, so that's... Gonna... Yeah, I don't want to attack it just yet, I want to just boost my defensive stats as high as possible, and then attack. Because I kind of want to also avoid... Uh, Uh, that it's using the shield uh, by boosting my stats, I am able to do so. So it's trying to use Psychic Terrain, but it's not necessary because Psychic Terrain is also already active. Uh, yeah, again with the Yeah, so we uh, managed to raise our stats as high as possible, and now we're good to attack. I think it should go down in one hit. Ooh, yeah, that's about it. So yeah, that's how you want to approach these three star raids, like, if you're battling on your own. You want to just, like, raise your stats as high as possible and then avoid uh, the the Pokemon being shielded by just using your most powerful attack on it. Let's catch it in the Pokeball of course. Since we don't use Pokeballs for anything else. I'm glad to know that we can already that we can still find some interesting Pokemon in Terra Raids. I'm still uh, kind of sure that I'm probably gonna use Goldengo in the gym battle. Even though it, oh yeah, I think about the thing about Indeed is that it has different forms depending on the gender. Yeah, this is what female looks like, but I believe male is a bit different. Actually, it's a psychic and normal type of Pokemon. I didn't even realize. So yeah, using ghost type moves on this Pokemon won't be. Uh, a good idea.
Uh, so, uh, actually, where are we? Are we probably on the other side of Montanuera or what? Yeah, we seem to be on the other side of Montanuera. Uh, for that matter, let's just fly back to Montanuera because I don't want to explore that area just yet. At least I want to have the battle with uh, the gym leader there first. So, um, let's go up to the gym. And I think we're good to start the gym test, right? I don't think Nimona will want a battle at this point, because... Uh, I think we battled her back in Medali. Did we? Yeah. Oh. Professor Jack. Hello, hello, Dennis. How goes your treasure gun? Figuring out what you're hunting for yet? Yeah. Um. I don't know. Let's say, sure I have. That's great. Look at you knowing exactly what you're after. Many students choose to make the gym toolkit part of the treasure hunt. It's not easy for you, but even making the attempt is a worthwhile experience. That's why I was waiting here, to make sure you know your homework teacher's got your back. Ooh, interesting. So, he gave us the lucky egg. Um, actually, yeah, I kind of forgot to mention that Chansey uh, in the wild could be holding this item. Like, it's 5% of uh, Chansey in the wild that they hold this lucky egg item. Let's see what. Yeah, and about the item, like, an item to be held by a Pokemon, it's an egg filled with happiness that earns the holder extra experience points. Do you believe if a Pokemon holds this item? Uh, it earns, I think, double the experience points, or I don't know how much more experience points does it get, but it gets boosted amount of experience points whenever it takes part in a battle and it's holding this item, so... Um, yeah, you could use that item if you want to train your Pokémon, but of course, in our case that's not necessary because you know how high level our team is. This should be handy for your treasure hunt. Hope you'll keep working on that Pokedex of yours too, since I did make the app and all. That's all for me. Just do your best and keep out the danger, okay? Actually, so no Nimona in this uh, gym. Interesting. Or is it? Yeah, apparently Nimona won't be uh, meeting us over here. It's nice and warm inside the gym. Mountain Rear Gym. Mountain Rear Gym leader Rhyme specializes in ghost type Pokemon. You won't get anywhere if you try to take her on with normal or fighting types. Yeah, um, I think we gotta know this already. I wonder if they have any of Rhyme's magazines here. Mm -hmm. Are we kinda ready or what? I guess we are. Let's maybe just uh, bring our Goldengo a little closer to our Artibax because you'll see in you see you'll see soon why. Welcome to the Mountain Rare Gym. Let me register as a challenger. Your name is Dennis. Yes. You can see a Pokemon uh, right behind him. Great, now in order to face Gym Leader Rhyme, you first need to pass the Gym Test. Here at the Monument of Rare Gym, that means warming up the audience for the main event. That's right, you're the opening act. Your job is to get up on the stage, show us some dead fierce Pokemon battles and get the crowd excited before the Gym Leader's concert begins. 
We start the gym test by speaking up with Mr. Slash in front of the stage outside. Get out there and have fun. So yeah, let's get out there and have fun, I guess. So I guess these gym tests are all part of the some kind of mini games. Um, oh, apparently this is the MC Sledge. Hey, you opening act. Yo, trainer, you're the one performing this opening act today. My name's MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. So here's the deal. We're gonna have to do some double battles. That's why you have to Pokemon fight on each side. That'll let you sledge out double the opponents and get the audience twice excited. The venue will be so hot it melts a bunch in rear snow. Once you get the after audience worked up and ready to go, that should be your cue for our leader to take the stage. That's how you pass the team test, yo. The opening act begins as soon as you get up on stage. There'll be no backing down until you win. To three times in a row, so make sure you're ready. You got on the deeds for the opening act and on our gym test. Ready to sledge him up? I guess, yep, I'm ready. Sweet! Displayed by the ear. You're too great. Head up on the stage. So apparently we're doing double battles. I think it's this is actually the first time we're doing a double battle in this game. Kind of weird though. Like, we're, for now we'll be only we we were only doing single battles, but yeah, this is gym test by warming up the audience for Rhymes concert. So yeah, double battles means like that's why I actually. Place Goldenga, Goldenga second, right? Because I'll be uh, I'll be sending out two of my Pokemon against two other player, two other strangers Pokemon. So it's two versus two, right? And in the double battles, you can attack either of two of the opponent's Pokemon. You can also actually you can actually also attack your own Pokemon on the. Uh, your own ally Pokemon. So, what's up, Mountain Vera? Today's opening act will be three back to back double battles. Barrel challenger here, Dennis. First out, uh, first out, uh, three opponents will be a young performer who makes it look like a breeze. Dion, the only task. Double battles, that means 1 plus 1, right? Can you do the math? Actually, I... I'm no, I don't know if... We should see a person or something. Oh, there he is. We challenged by Gym Trainer Chas and... I think there's some kind of glitching... involved. Apparently, uh, he's not on the stage. At least he's managed to send out his Pokemon. And so did he. Our goal will then go in our demands. So, it's probably uh, obvious by now what you want to do, right? And our Pokemon are also kind of over leveled, so it's probably. Uh, this won't be difficult at all. So, I could go either with. For the Griever or Shepard, it doesn't matter because both of my Pokemon are using super effective moves on both of them. I will just go like crosswise, I guess. Actually, I don't know. Uh, what did I do actually? I might just test up. Uh, yeah. I think. Oh, actually, I did not. 
I was gonna stare that I No, you know. I attack one Pokemon with both of my Pokemon so this kinda worked out. So yeah, like you can attack either one of three Pokemon on the field. Like I could do some weird shenanigans like I don't know. Um, switch in my Armourouge and then attack my artifacts with Armourouge using a flamethrower and that will kinda boost the uh, artifacts' attack like yeah double battles are really like one step further compared to single battles I'll maybe like demonstrate some some weird strategies, I guess. Just like Mountain River stage has all the lightest tech. The more excited the audience gets, the more stage will light up. Keep on slicing, you got this. Apparently, we also get healed. And our challenge's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of unique style. It's Lenny. So actually, we're battling a musician, and this time. Uh, they actually managed to get up the stage. Strong compliments week. How many of two Pokemon battle in unison? We've challenged by Jim Trainer or Lanny. They sent out Hunter and Misrevis. Uh, should I do some weird strategies or what? I don't know. Let's maybe try. I will kinda switch out my Goldengo with my <laughs> Armourish. Uh, I don't know. This might be just a waste of time, but whatever. I'll just use a uh, Mystery uh, Crunch on, I guess, Hunter. And switch out my Goldengo for Armourouge. Actually, never mind. This is probably gonna be just a waste of time. Is it? Uh, yeah. Never mind. I'm gonna just attack with my Goldengo as well. Because, um, you probably know that I could, uh, approach this in a really creative way but I just don't care I could like but I don't care That was a harmony, it was a crack phone. Actually, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think, yeah, I put on. I was going on my artifacts, so. The audience is really getting excited. The opening acts turned out to cheer in and the stage lighting up to a lot. What a surprise from our new challenger. Who that thought they sledge up in this match? Mech is your last opponent, and it's none other than. Me, MC Slash. It 
So let's see what this MC Slash has to offer. Being an MC is in, the, is in my own forte. I can bow to. I slide you up real good in a double bow. I think I'm gonna go for a break real soon after the uh, gym tests. And we challenge by MC Sledge, which he's sending out. Yes, Drifly and Sableye. This time I will probably go for the Icicle Spear. Oh, actually, no. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. This is kind of a weird situation. I want to go. Um, let's go with the Dragon Claw on Sableye. And. Shadow Ball on Drifter. I think, yeah, that's about it. It's you who slides me up. I think we're good for a break. Yazan Skitana has reached a few bits. Whoa, awesome, that was a great battle. How lucky, that was a rare sight. Thank you, Dennis. Congratulations to Pez Team Test. Give him a round of applause, everyone. Feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto, we're ready to go for the main event. Come on everybody, sail with me. This is what you've all been waiting for. Give it up for MC of R.I.P. Rhyme. What's all the noise I'm hearing? This crap's so loud you could wake the dead. Let me tell you what I wanna hear you. Feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good, right? Right, 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 right. Thanks for the killer opener, B. I'll get this started for real. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Thanks. Give us a minute for a rhyme time, you feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staff you passed.
So we're back in the Mountain of Era. And we're gonna about to face the uh, Jeep leader. But actually, I think we should report to the uh, staff at the gym. Amazing job, Dennis. You were a fantastic opening act. That's the gym. That's clear, then. Well done. Now you're in the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Are ready to challenge Gym Leader Rhyme, the MC of RIP? I guess so. Very well. Let me to show you to the battle court. Like, uh, it's probably uh, obvious by now that the battle court is the stage. Um, so, yeah, we're uh, facing the Rhyme we saw before. And yeah, she uh, will be using a lot of ghost types. Um, let's see. Yo, yo! Sounds like there might be a rap battle going on over at the stage. This is my time and this is my day. You're not gonna stand in my way. Listen up, Ryan. Ryan is here. You're gonna get run up by this broke cashier. <laughs> broke cashier. Well, I'm about to check out. Mr. Go. Mr. Got your rhymes on deep discount. Please, you think you can step to my game? Fool, I got rhyme right there in my name. I'm a spec from which there is no protector. Victor, victory unto me, you'll render when the crowd sees you, <laughs> mere pretender. Wanna end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming, but a book of rights get inside reading. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom. I'm done, you won't. My rhyme stole the shift. Well, I'll be back maybe after my next shift. Hold up. Where you going? That's all you got. After my next shift? Seriously. Bars over jokes, come on. That was so way too fast. He has it's it gets boring wearing the crown if no one makes me fight to keep it. Hmm? Hey, my opener is back. Here for a rap battle or a gym battle? Actually, I'm here for a gym battle. I don't care for rap, by the way. As if I needed, as if I even needed to ask. You were captured by the show I put on, huh? Rap what's in my soul, baby. Beyond words into a symphony of poetry. <laughs> then try it with me, you won't last full on round. I'm like Sable Eye, my mean look, lock it down. Like that, you feel me? I guess I'm going to go with no. <laughs> well, let's get to it. We are Pokemon trainers, so bow me. And show me who you are. My music's not at the top of the charts. My skills with ghost types are the best around. Lest you forget the name's rhyme, and I am known as the MC of RAP. Dead or alive, let's make this alive. And we're challenged by G Little Rhyme.
And actually, this is gonna be our double battle. Uh, first double battle between a gene leader and yeah. So you can probably uh, already tell that that Mimikyu is kind of annoying to see. We don't mess around in Montreal. I didn't manage to read. So yeah, Mimikyu is kind of annoying to see because of its ability, probably. So for that reason, I probably want to get rid of Mimikyu. Like, I just want to. Um, yeah, I guess I just wanna go with Crunch and both Shadow Ball on Mimikyu. Because you can probably uh, tell that Disguise will keep this Mimikyu alive if we don't um, knock it out by using. So it's not so bad, Rhyme, and you too, student kid. Um, yeah, because. And he also decided to use Shadow Sneak, of course, on our Gold Dango because it can do super effective damage as it did. And also, Banet. Oh, yeah, so our Gold Dango is a bit screwed. So, but it's okay because we're doing the same thing on their Mimikyu. You can see the Mimikyu's disguise. Um, uh, is the annoying part of this battle. So that's why we're kind of ganging up on uh, Rhyme's Miku. And actually, yeah, that was, that was kind of a terrible play. <sighs> oh, snap, a super effective move. That's so tight, Rhyme. Right. Yeah, so uh, Argon Dingo is kind of <laughs> not in a very good position, but actually, um, ooh. And also, yeah, the audience kind of chewing up. Uh, yeah, this is kind of bad. <laughs> but anyway, um, so let's go with Crunch again on Mimikyu. And this time, let's, uh, yeah, let's actually heal up. And the reason uh, is because Banana Sucker Punch will probably fail. But Mimikyu's Shadow Sneak will still. Yep, but uh, anyway. Yeah. Bennett is trying to use Sucker Punch, but it failed because uh, we we're using a status move and not a uh, damage move. So now our Uncle Dango can uh, F successfully recover. And Artifacts will probably uh, take out the Mimikyu. And we will see the rest of the Rhymes team. I'm thinking the next turn, yeah, probably good to go by taking out both of uh, the Rhymes Pokemon and also uh, our Tinkerton and Gimigal managed to level up. Oh, so she's sending her Houndstone, which is actually... Uh, I think I'm gonna go, yeah. One of Ryan's Pokemon down. Woo! This is so exciting. I'm gonna go with Shadow Ball on her Houndstone and Crunch on her. Also, we're gonna get boosts um, by the audience, just like Ryan did. Apparently, every time. Oh no, actually, no. I don't think. Uh, I think every time. I'm not sure, but for some reason. Our Pokemon uh, keep getting boosted by the audience. Uh, yeah, let's go with the crunch on Banette because it turns out Banette. Uh, actually, I don't think we saw it in the wild, did we? Banette is the Shuffle's evolution and it's a really defensively weak, so I think one crunch should do it. And yeah, of course, uh, let's go with the Shadow Ball on Houndstone because I think Houndstone is a bit more. It's a bit more. Oh, yeah, it's trying to use Sucker Punch. This time on uh, my Ardex, which I don't know. Uh, it would be probably better for them to use Sucker Punch on my Poldenko. Uh, but anyway, down goes the Houndstone, and the very last 
goes the artifacts with Crunch on the net. Yeah, that's about it. And I think she's only left with one Pokemon, so... Uh, but yeah, you probably uh, guess by now that she's gonna terrestrialize whatever she has left. And we're probably gonna gang up on it. The youthful power is a real threat, but the party is still going. I haven't lost yet. I think she's about to say that. Oh, interesting. So she's going for toxicity? Right. To toxicity. <laughs> and. Yeah. We're just ganging up on her on toxicity. Nice, he totally nailed the, that Pokemon's weakness without batting an eye. And we're probably also getting some boosts. Yeah, so, um... Uh... I could say that this gym battle is pretty easy because we're getting boosted by the audience. And, yeah, at this point we're just kinda... Actually, I could go with the dig, right? Uh, or shouldn't I? Okay, no, because... She's gonna probably try to slice into Ghost. So let's, yeah, just go for the Crunch and for the Shadow Ball. Uh, expecting that she's gonna try to slice into a Ghost type. So that should be over for her. Kick back, relax, and enjoy this last track. Turn it up and for a great, rattling good time. Ooh, interesting. When I'm on the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G Rave over there is so feeling it. As we expected, he's gonna try to slice the ghost and. I think that's pretty much it for this battle. You know, the ghost not really my style. Glad you have this one, though, baby. <laughs> Great battle, chilling and thrilling. We got spirit kid. You're my gym badge. All right. How about a VIP pass for my next show too? With six gym badges, it'll be easier to catch Pokemon up, up to level 50 and they'll listen to what you have to say too. It was so good that I think I'm also gonna let you have this. I think she is giving us the, yeah, Shadow Ball TM. And, yeah, no need to teach our Goldengo Shadow Ball because it learns it anyway. Too bad it's over. Make your way back to my stage sometime. Maybe next time we'll wrap battle instead. Who knows? Ah, probably not. But anyway, I'm sure we got some scary good adventure ahead. I'll be tuned for ya later. So that's the battle with Rhyme, I guess.
Oh, there's Mr. Hanson. Greetings once more, Dennis. I was watching your battle with Jim Leader from the sidelines, and I must say, I thought it was simply excellent. Full marks, gold star, extra credit even. How you, had you set out artifacts before you launched your strategy? <laughs> yeah, he apparently likes my artifacts. That's because, I don't know, he likes to use dragon type Pokemon. A lightning of that offense, a flurry of attacks. What an efficient way to corner the opponent. What artfully trained Pokemon. Such a vibrant palette of moves. <laughs> ah, I do beg your pardon. I didn't mean to let you my emotion around a mark like that. <clears throat> In summary, I simply wanted to say that you seem to have gotten even stronger. I must admit, I'm eager for you to gather all the gym battles. As a member of Elite Four, I wait the day you come to face me with great anticipation. Oh, one more thing. Don't let your studies fall by the, the wayside. Be sure to come to the academy now and then. Actually, as a matter of fact, I think we are kinda... We should maybe go to the Ranger Academy, whether we have new lessons available. Let's see. Are there any new lessons available? Please, the TMs. Uh, we can make more TMs, apparently. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any new lessons. It could be. Uh, I don't know. Apparently not. Anyways. Mm. Yeah, where to go next, right? Uh, you probably won't believe it, but we're kind of changing our track. Uh, yeah, we actually could explore the Glacido, Glaciado mountain, right? But mm, there's still one place we haven't checked out yet. And you can see that over here, uh, there's the very last uh, Team Star uh, boss, Eric. And yeah, actually. This area is a bit hard to like, I don't know. This area is uh, a bit harder to reach, right? Um, at least for now. So, for that reason, I think it would be actually a good idea to go way back to... Let's see. Uh, yeah. You probably don't remember, but... We kind of stopped at this cave. Um, I don't know if you remember, but we kind of stopped at this place. Uh, we went back. I think it's actually a good time to check it out and maybe even uh, face the gym leader of Alfornada, uh, who who uses Psyche type Pokemon. So once again, our <laughs> our artifacts and Goldingo will be uh, the stars of the next gym battle. So let's maybe uh, uh, take a visit. And actually, let me just remind you that uh, we still haven't been to the to the very. Um, Eastern part of Los Platos. Um, what I mean by that is the area over here. We still ha we still haven't explored this area over here, like the whole, I could say, peninsula. Uh, so yeah, at one point we probably should. Um, it's like. Not a problem, we could maybe like just cross water to get to the, you know, you, you probably remember that we kind of 
we're stuck over here. There was a dead end. There was some uh, room displays over there. This is way back at the very start of our adventure. Um, but we're kind of stuck. But since our crying can like move on the water, we can maybe cross the water and maybe uh, explore this area. But I don't know. Um, there also this alternative of maybe exploring the Castrol Lake. At least maybe uh, finish up. Finishing up the Path of Legends at the Castro Lake. That could be also a good idea. Maybe let's do that. I think, yeah, I think I wanna... I think I wanna do that, and for that reason, I just wanna... Yeah, let's start with the Castro Watchtower number two. Let's fly over there, and... Let's just go straight to the... Uh, Titan. And after that, we'll probably, maybe... Uh, explore the whole Casuarius Lake. I think that would be a probably a good idea. Or, and what I mean by that is the the area, the green area, that is kind of not bordering on this river. I mean, the inner green area of the Casuarius Lake. So let's go. So uh, I'm, gonna just, I'm just gonna fly over to the watchtower, and I'm just gonna straight uh, swim to the Titan and proceed with the Titan battle because it's as easy as that. I think. Look, here's the league grab, which we still haven't uh, collected the rewards from. Yeah, zero trainers, and yeah. I think, yeah, we need to battle seven trainers in this area to claim the rewards at the Castro Lake. So, yeah, I think it's just, we just want to, like, glide over that island. You can see a sparkling Pokemon over there. And for now, I just want to glide over to this island where the uh, Titan battle should uh, happen. Um, yeah, so I did not manage to glide all the way to the island, but, oh, interesting, so, um, let's maybe pick up this item. Oh, interesting, so we picked up a genius feather, which, um, actually is an item that kind of boosts the, ooh, Dratini. Let's maybe catch this Dratini. So yeah, how these feather items work, right? They boost uh, the stats of the Pokemon by one effort value. So I think you should remember the effort values, right? So this is actually a Dratini and it's... Uh, I think we... Um, let's go with the Crunch. I think we already um, saw this Pokemon. Uh, I don't think we... Encountered before, but now it's our chance to catch it. Uh, it's a dragon type Pokemon, and its evolution is really good. Like, really good. It's, it's both offensive and defensive. It's like a mixture of both, and it is kind of. It's not really fast. Like, I guess its its speed is kind of average. I guess, but the Pokemon is so useful. Even in competitive play, it's really useful. And it has been useful for over nine generations now. So this is pretty. It's pretty. It's a pretty incredible Pokemon, and I think I. It's kind of hard to, of course, obtain it because yeah, we're catching Dratini kind of late in the game, but. This Pokemon is really good. Um, it also falls in the category of Pokemon where artifacts, uh, this evolution, Gibble's final evolution, Larvitar's final evolution, um, etc. 
those 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 Pokemon. It's as good as those Pokemon. Um, yeah, this is this Pokemon are really good. Like, so we managed to to catch this Dratini. We could all, actually we could also use a Dive Ball. I think yeah, Dratini has boosted the chance of being caught by a Dive Ball, despite being a Water type. Uh, I believe we also learned some Water type moves. But his final illusion is not water type. Also, uh, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, just a slow pop. So, yeah, uh, genius fair, right? We're kind of wondering uh, what does it do, right? So, it just increases. Ooh, a Pokemon, which we haven't encountered yet. Uh, which also disappeared. I'm not sure, but. I think we already encountered that's a gear, right? But I don't think we. Ooh, interesting. Uh, I don't know if we are able to catch this Pokemon, but we'll see. Let's see if we can catch this Pokemon actually. Kind of cute. Yeah, actually, we can. Maybe let's catch that that's a gear. I wanna go with Crunch. So actually, yeah, this place we're kinda encountering a lot of Pokemon which we haven't caught so far. And also these Pokemon are kinda high level. Um, actually I'm not sure, but ooh, that was a critical hit. And yeah, let's go with the Ultra Ball, I guess. Although this tattoo gear is only level 45. I think it's. Yeah, it's called. So, also, we are registering tattoo gear in our Pokedex, finally. But yeah, here's a lot of Pokemon which we haven't encountered so far. Also, our Artibax is slowly leveling up. As it should. Apparently, this Tatsugiri Pokemon is a dragon water and has multiple forms. Like, this uh, instance is of a tragic form. Mm. Otherwise, not really uh, often used compatibly. I don't know if I would recommend it. Uh, play along with. Uh, but yeah, this Pokemon has really weird properties. Um, it can combine with other Pokemon. Uh, let's maybe check, check some other out. Um, I think this is kind of a part to start the Titan battle. And yeah, I think I might either need to knock down or catch a certain number of these to start the Titan encounter. I'm not sure though. So yeah, you can see that we already caught this one. Uh, it already caught the Tetsuguri, so then matter I'm just gonna use Dragon Claw because it should be probably it should probably knock out this Tetsuguri. Unlike Crunch used for catching. Yeah. So yeah, I think yeah we got a call from Arvin, right? But here's a uh Winner, but I don't think we want to battle him just yet. Let's maybe check out these stats here. Uh, I'm 
we see. So it's using a memento. And what actually memento does, it like drops the target's attack and special attack by two stages. And it makes also the user faint. Just kinda, I don't know. Kinda weird, but actually it could be useful. Unless the target switches out, that's like losing a Pokemon. At this point, I don't know. Really, I'm just. <sighs> Taking out these uh, Tatsuguris. Because I think that, that this might just initiate a Titan battle. But so far, this did not happen. Oh, so as Mora is leveling up. So I don't know. Am I supposed to take out these or? I don't know. Let me see. Or should I find the right one and take it out? I'm not sure. Um, oh, this one is kind of... Oh yeah, now I see it. Uh, the other ones usually say something like Shi 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 or Su, I don't know, Tai Shi or uh, Tashi or something. But this one actually says Titan. So I think, yeah, it probably should be. Yeah, this one is kinda the odd one out. Apparently. Ooh, what's actually happening? Oh, it's just Pokemon actually ate it. So apparently, this is the Titan. Ah, <sighs> so this actually is Dondozo. Uh, it turns not, it turns out to not be a Dragon type Pokemon, but actually, it's a Water type Pokemon, and for that reason, I'm gonna. Actually, I'm gonna switch out and use our Glamora against it because Glamora knows Energy Ball and although Glamora could take like really serious damage from this Pokemon being, an rock type, being a rock type Pokemon, I'm still gonna go with the Glamora. I could also go... maybe I could... it would be better that, would, that I would go with my... Uh, Gimme go, uh, Goldango, right? Uh, I don't know, we'll see. I think I have. I think, yeah, Glamora has more potential of taking the Dondoza down. So, let's go with the Energy Ball. For the first time, actually. That did quite a lot, still. Uh, could do more, but whatever, yeah. So Tondozo is using Water Pulse, which, I don't know. I guess Glamora can take. But, yeah. Uh, it would be probably better if I win with my Coldango. But anyway. It's not that bad. This is probably our last Titan battle in this game. And yeah. And those are kinda. Oh yeah. I think it's probably obvious what's happening now. It's swimming somewhere. Probably. Oh yeah. Let's maybe just follow it. Uh, you can see it.
it's not what kind of fun we need. And yeah, this we can also pick these uh, items. We can probably guess that there are just feathers, like similar to the genius feather. These boost the effort value of a specific stat uh, by one value, right? Uh, so I think yeah, it kind of hit. Uh, actually, where are we going? Um, let me see. So I think I'm gonna mark something on my map, but now it's kinda not irrelevant anymore. Oh, so apparently I need to check out this place. Uh, yeah, let me see. Uh, no. Actually, yeah, I want to set a destination. Uh, so, I don't know, I guess in this direction, or what? Yeah, I think, yeah, the... The Dondozo kind of moved. And I think, yeah, we... No, actually, we already caught... The... Have a look. So we're kind of here and... Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, this is the... You don't... Oh, yeah. So here's the Dundas and there's the Tatsugiri. And yeah, these are two Pokemon that make this really weird combination. Um, and yeah, you can probably see that. Actually, Tatsugiri is the one who... Oh, there's Aaron. Just like, I don't know, walking out of the wall. That is, did you find the Titan? That's it. Sure is one big, uh, dragon? Wait, is it even a dragon? Or is it a fish? Huh? Yeah, again, it's well, that's Gary. And yeah, I believe, yeah, that the little sushi guy got eaten up by the tide. Yeesh. Didn't excited to see the, the food chain in action today. <laughs> so apparently we're battling this Dondozo together with Aaron and his uh, Guidant, right? So, yeah. Think about um, the dozo, right? Uh, I want to kind of switch out to my Goldego now. I think, yeah, it's probably better. Jeez, that's pretty fascinating. I'm gonna dig in and make a meal out of this bell. Selling our Goldingo. Actually, Goldingo is kind of surfing on the water, apparently. And the dozen is trying to use a hotel on our Goldingo. Uh, that did some damage, actually. But. I could maybe use the combo. But I'm rather gonna go with Thunderbolt just to see how much damage can we deal to the Dandozo. Yeah, that's, I guess, some damage, but still not enough. Oh, so it's. Actually, I'm not sure what this move does. I think it's, yeah, Dandozo's signature move, but I'm not really sure what it's. About. I think it does damage, but I don't know. Actually, I don't kind of like the Dondozo, uh, to be honest. And. I 
That's why I'm not familiar with this move. It's using Architel and Arvin's Green, which is kinda... Okay. This, ooh, so it's... She's, on, she's green is actually really strong, like, that's quite a lot of damage. And also I think it's going down. Okay. Oh, actually it survived, it's recall damage. So yeah, let's go with Thunderbolt once more. And that should be it. And I believe uh, after this Titan battle, we are pretty much unstoppable and we are able to climb through all the pile, through all the Paldea. Which is actually the reason why I came over here. Because we did it, Dennis. At the Titans take care at the Titans taken care of. Next up on the menu is that Herba Mystica. Hmm? Whoa, little sushi guy escaped without becoming the thing's lunch. Apparently yeah, apparently we also need to battle this Pokemon. Uh, actually, this Pokemon is a dragon type, so for that reason, our artifacts should stay in. And I think I'm gonna go with the Dragon Claw. Um, but because this Pokemon is a part of Water type, it's better to go with the Dragon Claw rather than with Ice Spear because. Oh, actually, I. Now I just realized that the only double battles in this game are with Arvin against the Titans and the Montenegro gym. Yeah, because this Pokemon is part water, uh, I'm doing neutral damage with ice type moves on it. Because water resists ice, but dragon is weak to ice, so it kind of makes it neutral. But yeah, you can see that Dragon Claw is being super effective on it. Because water type doesn't seem to resist trying type moves. That's so, so that's a is kind of taunting us, which is kind of preventing us from using status moves. But anyway, we are just on a uh, multi dragon claw strike. It's a we didn't, I don't know. Apparently, it's lowering. It that's a good defense, as you can see. And the last Dragon Claw for the Titan battle should wrap it up. Yeah, the problem about this Muddy Water is that it has a chance to lower the target's accuracy. But also, it's not very accurate on its own, so... It's really similar to Surf, I believe it's probably the same with Surf, with the additional fact of lowering the target's accuracy and having the lower accuracy. But, I don't know. I'll probably use Surf instead. And we defeated the Titan Tatsugiri. Quite a lot of experience points. Um, Phew! Nice job, Dennis. That's my hard working little bud. Maybe the Titan was both those Pokemon together, like some kind of combo move. Yeah, I think I went onto something. Like I said, yeah, these two Pokemon work well together. Like, 
yeah, the Tetsuki has this commander ability, which I don't know. I'm not the expert to explain on, but I think if in double battles, Tetsuki and um, Zendozo manage to combine together, I think you get a boost on all of their stats by two stages. I think it's something like that, but I'm not sure. The little one came out from here, which means there should be some Herbal Mystica inside. Let's go, guys. That must be it. This is the very last Herba Mystica. The last Herba Mystica. Me and Aaron found the spicy Herba Mystica. Oh, interesting. So, apparently, the spicy Herba Mystica is the very last one. Okay, let's see what the book has to say. So it seems Spicy Herba Mystica is supposed to boost your metabolism. Gives your circulation a boost and helps flush out all those toxins along with a ton of sweat. You know what's next? It's chow time. Yeah, watch out! Here we go. Trusty Armour's Chocolate Block full of cheer, Final Herb, Super Savage. Quiz this bad style and cry beautiful tears of friends as you eat, okay? So yeah, that's probably the last chapter of Path of Legends by defeating the False Dragon Titan. And also this badge in our possession. possession. And of course, the usual Crichton coming out for a bite. And of course, we're gonna let him have the sense. Let it have the sense. Yeah, let's give him the sense. Let's give it the sandwich. We still don't know what happens if we don't share the sandwich, like, but we actually get the idea what happens if we do share the sandwich, like. Raiden is able to climb up vertical spaces, uh, surfaces just now. I guess it's Maybe Steve's turn then. Come on, bud. Eat up. He's gonna make you all better, I promise. Dennis and I, we really did our best to get this for you. We're gonna play with your favorite ball as much as you want. You know, just like we used to. Please, get better. That's all I want, really. Remember, Steve, you did your best, bud. I know, but me too.
And of course, we got a call by Professor Seda. Hello, Dennis. This is Seda. What? Seems like Karadon has regained all of its powers, except for the power to bow. Should now be able to climb up any climb up any vertical surface that it grabs onto while you are riding upon it. So if we press the B button to jump while facing the wall, Karadon will grab onto it on it to climb up vertical surfaces. We can move it in any direction we want while climbing by using the left stick to let go of the wall. We just press the B button once more. No, we were the right one to entrust it to, Dennis. Puh, listen to you. Like you had anything to do with it. That voice. Arvin, are you there? I've been searching so long for a way to reach you. Because, because no one else can get into my lab but you. Excuse me? Please take Dennis back to the lighthouse with you. To the lab on Poco Path. I'll reach out once more when you arrive there. You guys should probably already know, but that, that's my mom. Always buried under her work of pursuing her own research, never at home with me. That's the first time I've ever heard her voice in years, you know? Now what? The first thing I get is to be treated some like, a, like some kind of errand boy. She's seriously unbelievable. But I'm guessing you and Karadin probably want to go, huh? Nah, not gonna lie. I feel like my blood's boiling, but... Sure, fine. I'll get you into the lab. What else can I do? The lab is off Poco Path. The lighthouse where you and me first met. Come on. Let's get moving before I change my mind. Probably also taking Member Stiff with us. Mom, where have you been all this time? So apparently, we need to meet with uh, Arvin at the Poco Path Lighthouse, but I guess that could wait a bit. Now we've gained the ability to climb, and that's pretty much um, we kind of want it. Uh, but actually, here's the Dandozo we could actually catch, just by maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm probably not be successful at sneaking up on it, but at least there's two of them, right? Uh, let's try this. Yeah, this one seems to be kind of... No, we probably don't... Uh... Of course, I hate it when this happens, but whatever. I guess we can still sneak up on the Dundozo. Apparently it's kind of not... Um... Oh, it just hit itself underwater, I guess. Um, uh, there's probably nothing else we can catch. Ah, uh, and of course, our artifacts could not get away. So, um, yeah, that's a is trying to use Miracle, but it doesn't work. Oh, there's another Dundozo. Actually, yeah. Um,. Oh, and it also started to rain. Great. Um, let's try. Mm. 
Also that one is probably gonna hide itself in underwater too. Uh, yeah, it just did, and actually we managed to not sneak up on it, but just run into it, and there it is the loser. And so we're kind of trying to catch this Dondozo. Uh, let's go with the Dragon Claw, I think. It will do just fine. Actually, yeah, that's pretty terrible. Because, yeah, actually, it turns out that Dundozo is really defensive Pokemon. Like, it has really high attack and defense, but special defense is kind of poor, so. I don't know. Should I go maybe with something else? Or not? Actually, I wanna. Actually, I think I'm gonna just like stop trying Pokeball because I don't know. Let's go with the Netball. I don't know. I could also go with the Dive Ball, but whatever. And yeah. Uh, I think yeah, I should probably. Still don't know what this one does. Oh no! Super effective for some reason. Interesting. Uh, let's switch out our artifacts and use something else. Maybe like let's go with the Glamora, I guess. Although it can. Also, take quite a lot of damage by this Pokemon, especially in the rain. Yeah, that's not probably a good idea, but we'll see. Yeah, it's trying to use Rain Dance, but. It's already raining, so what can you do? So, um, let's go maybe with the. Uh, I wanna go with the power jam, I guess. No, actually, with motor spin. Managed to poison Dondozo, and I probably assume this will be this will make it easier to catch. Also, another one right next to us. So, um, I'm not sure whether should I attack it once more or I think I'm just gonna use Pokeballs. Actually I dive all I think I'm probably gonna waste all my die balls. Oh, and of course, it managed managed to paralyze my Glamora, of course. Still trying to use Rain Dance after all. Oh, 
that was the not the last but second to last battle ball in our pocket so I think uh, actually yeah no actually no we have two more including the one I'm throwing not going well at all. But at least it's Lucy Cal as turns pass by. And uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna use a timer ball right now. I just wanna kinda save at least one. The die balls in my pocket. Yeah. This thing is not easy to catch, apparently. Losing health. Let's try for a dive ball. Yeah, that's it. Managed to catch Tom Dozo. Which was really close. And also, our artifacts is leveling up and building as well. So, yeah, Tom Dozo, uh, really physically defensive and also a good physical attacker, but. I don't know, for some reason it's used a lot compatibly. Because of that. I just don't see it usable at all. Because it has really poor special defenses. And also its P is not really good. But that um combo between ooh our artifacts is finally evolving let's see at the Castro Lake that's awesome our artifacts evolves into a Bexcalibur which is a incredible Pokemon and he wants to learn the move. Um, I think he wants to learn a, its signature move, actually. Or does it? I'm not sure, but. No, actually, no. I think I need to remember its signature move. This Pokemon is really powerful. Like, oh, actually, does want to learn the move Glaive Rush, which is a really good move. It's a 120 base power Dragon type physical move with 100% accuracy. The only drawback it has is that in the next turn, uh, All the attacks on the user cannot miss and will inflict double damage until the user's next turn. So yeah, that's the only drawback of this move, like dealing dub receiving double damage and receiving uh, certain damage in the next turn. Which could be like just uh, we can actually kind of. 
ev evade that by, that, by, by just switching out. So, so of course we're gonna replace Dragon Claw with this move because this moves superior to Dragon Claw. But the only uh, negative thing about this move is it only has five power points, so I will probably need to use this wisely and use Icicle Spear instead. In most cases. So yeah. We managed to fully evolve our team at this point. Um, I think it's a good place to take a break. So, we managed to defeat the False Dragon Titan and also evolve our artifacts into much other last time, right? So, I think uh, it's probably the best that we heal up our team because they kind of suffered a lot of damage um, in that battle and also by catching the Dundozo, right? So, I kind of figured out that I don't want to explore the Katsura Lake just now um, but I would like to rather uh, go to Alfonada and receive the second to last gym badge actually mm, let's also heal up our uh, Excalibur which has Good points as you can see. Um, yeah, we managed to fully evolve all of our Pokemon on our team, and this is pretty awesome since um, actually, I'm still not sure. Um, I think I should probably use something else, I, some other item on my Glamora, but I'll, I'll, I'll probably think about it. Mm, I've been using a uh, hard stone for quite some time, but um, I'll see. Maybe I should put leftovers, leftovers on it instead. I think that could be a good idea. Um, yeah, where's the cherry bear, right? Yeah, cherry bear. And yeah, let's maybe do that. Like, I think more I could use. Actually, I'm not sure. Let's put leftovers on our Lumora. And also. There's this feature uh, in our bag, with which we, with which we can actually mark the item as our favorite, and for that reason, I'm gonna also mark the loaded dice as a favorite item. Ooh, interesting. Where did we get this item? I kind of forgot we got this. I think I'm gonna put this. Actually, I really forgot we got this Assault Vest. For that reason, I'm gonna put it on my... Yeah, I think I'm gonna put it on my Glamour. Because, um... I'm not sure, but... Yeah. So yeah, that's how we're gonna go. From now on, yeah, we know how a saw west works, right? Um, it prevents the use of status moves, right? But yeah, that's perfect. Our Gamora only has um, uh, damaging moves. 
So yeah, you can see special defense. It's not really that bad, like 130. We'll get boosted by 50% from now on. So like that's like, I know. Uh, around, yeah, actually around 170. So this is pretty great. Like now our Glamour is as specially defensive as it's specially offensive. Like, I think so. Anyway, enough with the math. Uh, let's start exploring from... Uh, should I? Yeah, probably should, like, um, or should I? I'm not sure, but... Yeah, let's go with this. I don't know. But I'm definitely keeping my, uh, definitely putting cover cloak on our Goldengo. Um, yeah, let's go to the, um... Let's try to uh, get kind of close to Alfrenada as much as we can. So we kind of check that the Castro Lake Center. We'll still explore that area later. We'll probably like use it to train uh, once we are done with the team leaders to face the Elite Four and the Champion. We'll probably train in the Castro Lake. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm probably good to go over here. Yeah, remember the Poké Center? Uh, you probably gonna remind yourself really soon. Oh, actually, I just realized. Yeah. Yeah, we could probably reach out for now in two ways. Mm. Let me just think for a sec. Um. Actually, you know what? Let's fly over to the Cortando. We'll kind of probably start. You'll see in a sec. I will also probably demonstrate the ability of climbing. It is um, really probably the best ability our Coridon has. Like, I can understand why it's my Coridon gets to climb at the very last moment at like the very last titan defeated mm, because you can actually just like uh, cross everything pretty much like, uh, like check it out we're gonna fly and then climb and now we're climbing actually we're not climbing are we anyway i'm going this way you probably might not even uh, understand where I'm going, but you'll just see in a second. Let's try climbing. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what's happening, but our Crichton should be climbing, but it's not. Oh, there we go. Now it's climbing. I don't know. Look at this. I just... Actually, where is it again? I don't know if you can tell, but I'm probably uh, looking for a cave. Which was somewhere here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's the cave. Yeah, so... I wanna kinda go from over here to Alfrenada. If you remember, we kinda turn back, right? Let me just check out my team. Yeah. We kinda went back. 
because he kind of got scared of the trainers in this area. But now we can take him. No problem, probably. Uh, we battled already this trainer, right? Actually, there's a Pokemon over there, which could, which we could actually catch. Uh, at that moment, we still weren't able to uh, move across water, right? So, yeah, this is the. This is you can probably tell it is a Tertini evolution. And also, we haven't battled a Sparkling Pokemon in quite some time. Apparently, this Pokemon is a Electric type. Whatever. It's Dragonair. A pure Dragon type Pokemon, just as Tertini, right? And let's use a Dig. Actually, yeah, I just realized that. I should be replacing Dig with something better. You can probably tell what it is, right? I don't know if you remember, but... We managed to pick up this TM Earthquake back in Azada Desert, and... After evolving our artifacts into Excalibur, we can now teach it Earthquake. But yeah, I can see that. Dig also did quite a lot of damage. And I think we're good to catch this Dragonair. I think I'm gonna go. I could go with. Actually, no. I don't have any more <laughs> Dive Balls because I wasted all of them for the Dandozo earlier. Let's go for the Osho Ball. And also, there's an island we could maybe investigate. But first, let's. Uh, also. Yeah. It's quite a lot of experience points, I guess. I don't know. Let's also. Um, also, quite a lot of Dratini scales, for that matter. And some league points, as usual. We managed to register Dragonair in our Pokedex and. I think I'm gonna just like teach my Vexcalibur Earthquake. So our team is kind of shaping up just as I imagined it. It would be uh, some Pokemon still need to learn uh, some really good moves. It's also turned out to be their signature moves. But so far, yeah, this team is just like I imagined it to be. Um, yeah, let's find the TM Earthquake. It should be at the very bottom. Yeah, there it is. And you can see that Bax Calibur is able to learn it. Yeah, we're just gonna teach it right away. Because we still haven't replaced Dick with it. So yeah, Earthquake is way superior to Dig. The only drawback it has is like hitting everyone on the field and in double battles you kinda wanna avoid that by having a flying ally Pokemon. Uh no, I don't wanna really defend the force, so that's pretty much about it. Let's maybe just you can probably see where we're going, right? Um, I'm gonna check out the island. That's kinda... Oh, what's that? Is that the cloister? Yeah, I think it was cloister. No, cloister, uh, the... Uh, goldfish, right? We already caught this one. Yeah. Um, what else can we catch over here? What's that? Oh, Finian. Okay, um... Magikarp, I kinda... You can probably tell where, we, where we're going next. Ooh. We've been to the cave over there, or have we? 
uh, Aracuda, right? Uh, our, uh, it's a illusion. Mm. Oh, magic up. I kinda wanna avoid it. And yeah, actually, we now can climb uh, like rocks as such. Let's see. Uh, we're kinda climbing the rock, but. So, let's see what else is over here. So, I think it's. Is this Tinema? Yeah, I believe it's. It's a Tinema, right? Or what it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, never mind. Um, more quillfish, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, something down here. Ooh, a spell. Okay. Uh, did not want to counter this Pokemon, but whatever. Let's just run away. So, also our Excalibur looks deadly powerful. Uh, as a matter of fact, it is. Still haven't used a lot of. We still haven't seen a lot of usage of thermal exchange, right? Uh, yeah, it turns out that this ability is not used badly a lot, but I don't know. I just kind of am supporting this ability. So. The other ability that people usually put on their Excalibur is Ice Body, which. Ooh, Liquidation. I think we uh, discussed this move before, did okay. It's a physical 85 base power move, Water type, which also, I think it has a chance of lowering the target's defense. Um, Uh, I don't know if we were in this cave before, but let's check it out. Or is it the... what's it? Ah, no, actually, I haven't been here. Oh, it's the Halucha, I guess. Whatever. Uh, no need to encounter this Pokemon, because we already caught it. Ah, yeah, Golduck, right? We got kind of scared of. No, I'm still kind of proceeding with my artifacts. Could also leave my arm rouge. We'll see. Uh, but I'm definitely going this way. To Alphornetta. Although, it says there's some kind of detour or something. Here is Alphornada. Alphornada, Alphornada, I'm not sure. Let's have a battle. You'll have me feel less alone and lost. Challenged by Backtalk of Paul. Staying out is Go Go. Ooh, interesting. Uh, yeah, too bad my Excalibur doesn't hold a load of dice, so we'll just need to uh, hope for the best. But yeah, actually, it turns out that this Gogo is only 38 level, so uh, it should go down quick, even like E2 fits. Also, very interesting that Excalibur is using its tail to shoot the ice at this point. So yeah, Excalibur is really crazy strong. Alas, this does nothing to help my anxiety. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. So we're kind of proceeding further. 
Actually, we can uh, climb up these rocks now. This is kind of neat. Let's climb up. We're definitely gonna climb a lot from now on. But there's nothing much interesting up there. We could like just climb all these rocks. Um, what a great view. I wanna get a selfie of me beating you with this gorgeous view as a drive trap. Wow. Flip to trash talk. We're challenged by Alan the student. Let's see what. Oh, loser. Oh, no, not a problem for our Excalibur. We're just gonna. We're just gonna branch away. So this is a kind of a interesting view. Uh, back in old generation, that's how uh, you could see a Pokemon battle in a battle. But now I kind of lost my. Oh, there it is. My back scaly broke from the side. And also our Ticketon is uh, leveling up. Actually, Ticketon. Is the highest level on our team. Interesting. So he's also about to send Bertic, and for that reason, I want to like just switch out to my probably uh, this. Let's go with Armor Rouge. That's yeah. So Kikaton is level 56 already. It's higher level than our Quick Will, who used to lead. Because I'm also kind of glad that my Pokemon are kind of balanced in the terms of levels, like... Okay, I'm just gonna use Flame Drum or this Bertic real quick. I could also go with Aura Spear, but whatever. Probably more aesthetically pleasing. Oh, now also Quick Quibble leveled up. Tell me about my defeat, huh? Actually, let me check something. Uh, I want to see... Uh, if I can teach my quick will move the family. I don't have it in my bag, so anyway. Never mind. Yeah, I definitely don't have it. Well, Anyway, this is the this is our bag of TMs we have so far. Um, we have quite a lot of TMs. Actually. It's still not the one I was kind of thinking about. So, so yeah, you can see probably that we're gonna get like I don't know. Might just get stuck. See, uh, actually, no, we can still continue above. Yeah, but no, actually, we still can continue above. So, we actually can get up somewhere. Oh, there's another uh, trainer, and this time it's a black belt. I lost at the Elfman gym, so I'm doing some more training. 
yeah, I kind of kind of figure why uh, he lost because he's a black belt and he's using Jacobo the black belt and he's using probably fighting type Pokemon and yeah, fighting types don't 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 go well against psychic type Pokemon. Um, yeah, Simeon. Actually, uh, we haven't seen this Pokemon. This is a fighting type Pokemon that doesn't evolve, and it's actually a valid exclusive. So, in order to register this Pokemon, we'll need to trade. And because this is a fighting type Pokemon, of course, I'm gonna go to my Armorouge. Kind of interesting. Interested where this leads us actually, because I'm not sure. That definitely leads to Alfrenada, but I'm not sure how to reach. It's trying to lower our speed. Well, um, yeah, let's go for the Psy Shock. And it's managed to manages to run our armor use, so but I think we'll probably knock it out in one hit. We probably do really realize that we could like reach Alpharetta in some other way, like Remember the cave, it's kinda above, you can probably remember the area above, right? You could reach out from from there also, but I kinda chose to go over this way. And of course, he's gonna send out also Primate. Actually, I wanna go to my Quick Pebble, and yeah, I'm really not using acrobatics at all, so for that reason, let's also show off some acrobatics with our Quick Pebble. That's about it. Yet another defeat. And I think we, yeah, we. We kind of updated our Pokédex with the information about Passimian, right? Uh, let me just to check out something. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Let's continue. Um, yeah, actually, you can you can see there's a cave, right? Hmm, we will, we will enter it. Let me just see up my team for a sec. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's, let's, I guess, lead with Excalibur, like. Um, of course, there are, there is our beloved Ductrio. And right now, we, we are actually in Alphornatic Cavern. Hmm, so this is the cavern that we should go through in order to reach Alphornada. And you can see... Actually, we're really close to Alphornada. So we kinda... Uh, try to shorten... Oh, there's the Toxtricity. Yeah, let's go for it. So 
you see what I did there? I just kind of moved away from it and at the right angle I just uh, managed to catch it up hard. But the thing about yeah, the situation for you now is that I don't know how long, how am I gonna uh, yeah, all of my moves probably do a lot of damage to it. Um, for that reason, I'm gonna go with my uh, Lumora. Yeah, Lumora. Uh, I'm just gonna use, I don't know, I guess. Uh, Let's just go with energy ball and mortal screen, like something like that. Actually, I'm seeing Medicham, right? And I'm actually not sure whether we caught it already. I think we had some problems with it, but I'm not sure whether we caught it. I'll check after we catch. This uh Duxtricity. Um let's go with the energy bomb first. It should not do a lot. It's, it should resist. And also our yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to do. And it's using poison jab which is probably not gonna do anything. Um, I wanna go with uh, I wanna go with the Moro Spin and you will see also Corrosion in its action I think I want to use another energy ball. Just go, I will just go straight to the throne ultra balls. We could maybe also use a great. Oh, there's a lot of items back there. That's it. So I'll probably check whether we caught Magic Jam at this point. Interesting. Punk Pokemon. Yeah, this is the Alphronatic Cavern, it's, you can see it's full of items. Let's see, have we caught, no, actually we still haven't caught it. Yeah, let's just quickly switch out to our Glamora and do the same thing all over again. Ooh, what's actually happening? What am I actually doing? Oh, actually if I... Oh, interesting. So if I want to use the bottom for focusing, I can maybe, yeah, I think like, yeah, oh, what? I'm not sure what's happening, but. I'm not sure what what's happening, actually. Ah, I think, I, yeah, I'm kind of 
switching the items apparently so uh let's try it one more time uh, i want to switch my white lines with yeah just yeah 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 that's how you yeah so apparently that's also the way how to switch the items between your pokemon okay good to know let's go for the match jump i actually did not realize that until this until now i can switch pokemon items by using the button to focus on the pokemon so anyway uh, let's go with the sludge. No, let's go with the power gem first. See how much damage can we deal. Okay. Oh, it's using aqua pressure. This move is something we never seen before. I believe it's. Yeah. What Aqua Pressure does is like it raises one of six stats randomly by two stages. Uh, really kind of based on luck, I guess. So it could raise any of six stats by like, actually seven. No, yeah, actually seven. Like. Attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed, evasiveness, and accuracy. So, I mean, those stats. It could raise them by two stages randomly. Okay, now, so that's actually not quite good because we're kind of running the same problem as before. But I guess we're gonna see a lot of match them. Oh, okay, so this move is also kind of dangerous if it fails. Uh, yeah, Manichon would lose HP, but I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the Ultra Ball. Like, I'm kind of almost certain that this will succeed. This is such a low HP that Ultra Ball should do its job. so it's poison so yeah I'm pretty sure yeah that was about it uh, the chances of failing would be really low in, in such in such a case also our Gamora managed to level up and let's maybe just uh, no actually I'm not sure should I maybe lead with my I think I'm sh I should leave with my um You know what? I think I'm gonna leave with my quick quill. It's kind of an interesting option, is it? Uh also I'm probably not gonna use uh, a lot of acrobats, and for that reason I'm gonna also give it the Well, here is an interesting uh turn of the events also no yeah as I said here's a really interesting turn of the events um yeah let's just... Here's the plan. I'm gonna lead with. Oh, what's actually that? Let me see. What in the name is that thing? Oh, it's an Umbreon. Okay. Never mind. Um, let's lead with Quick Wable. And let's also give it the ammo coin. And now our Excalibur is. Free to use, uh, yeah, I cannot, like, I need to give it an item, right? I want to give it the loaded dice, 
back, which I also forgot to mark as favorite. I wanted to mark Loaded Ice as a favorite, but I forgot. And here's how you do it. You just wanna... Yeah, you just wanna find the item and you wanna press the, uh, the plus button and that's about it. And now we're kind of also giving our... No. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. That's what I was... Uh, that's what I wanted to do, right? So yeah, apparently now we're kind of catching this Umbreon. Uh, also watch for the Magikita. So yeah, really a lot of Pokemon. And yeah, let's catch this Umbreon really quick. I was kind of not, su not sure what what is this Pokemon, but just because it's kind of dark and it's hard to see what is this uh, black and yellow Pokemon. But yeah, this is the... Uh, this is the EV evolution, which I kind of talked about, right? I think I'm gonna go with the yeah. Let's go with yeah acrobatics. Acrobatics will do uh, less damage than it should because I'm actually holding a an amulet, right? So yeah, I'm being kind of annoying to evolve, I guess because you need to raise your EV's friendship to this certain point and you need to level it up in the night time so it's kind of annoying to obtain but luckily we seem to have found one in this cave and I think I'm yeah I think I'm gonna just go with the ultra ball I could also go with dust ball yeah Let's go with this one. Uh, yeah, a lot of Ultra Balls have been thrown recently, so for that matter, for that matter I'm gonna go with the... Uh, where is it? Yeah, here's the dust ball. Should do quite well since we're in a cave. Also, a lot of items. Oh, critical cash. Quite nice, indeed. Also, there's a lot of Makita which are just waiting for us to like uh, to stay where we are and run into us as usual, as Pokemon usually do, right? So we uh, also registered Umbreon in our Pokedex. A uh, really good evolution, uh, really good defensive Pokemon, both physically and especially. Uh, offensively, not that strong, but it's quite a good supporter so actually yeah that's all of the evolutions almost you only need to I think only we only need to register I believe uh, Jolteon and Lithian I believe and <laughs> last but not least Eevee we still haven't found one in the wild. It's kind of embarrassing, but whatever. Yeah. I can actually grab that item now. Like, with no problem at all. From now on, whenever I see an item, I can grab it. Like, no problem whatsoever. I can... I have... S I missed so many items that I could grab now. Kind of excuse me. Well, uh, let's see. Oh, interesting. A Pokemon that I definitely want to catch. Uh, excuse me, actually. Yeah, I think I'm kind of. Oh, no. So, it... uh, okay, never mind. Let's just run into it. Or, yeah, it... now it knows it notices us. So yeah, this is the Larvitar solution. You definitely want to catch this Pokemon because it's kind of rare, I guess. And 
I believe it's a rock and ground type Pokemon. It's Jupiter, right? And I'm going to do this very same thing as I did before. Like acrobatics, do as little damage as possible. And at some point, just oh yeah, this is going to take a while, but whatever. At some point, I just start throwing Pokeballs. I don't know about acrobatics though. I could really replace it with something else. I don't know. Okay, so maybe I wanna just start drawing those walls. Or uh, should I go for another? Yeah, let's let's go for another acrobatics thing. It should be okay. Unless I land a quick hit. Yeah, okay, so okay, I'm kinda good to start drawing those balls. So our quick level is slowly losing its HP. This will do as well. This is both confused and at very low HP, so I think should I think this should go well. That could be wrong. Yeah. So apparently I will need to throw my ultra balls at it. Should I go for the time level? I guess. Let's try. I mean, I did use quite a lot of acrobatics, right? Ah. I'm still confused. Okay, so it's using two ashes and four weeks. Managed to knock out my quick wave action. Oh well. Let's bring in Goldengo. Uh, since it's immune to normal type moves such as Crash. Um. So yeah, actually, I don't know if I mentioned, but Goldengo is actually immune to three types. Oh. Ooh, interesting color. Uh, I just realized, yeah, Goldingo is kind of more brownish inside a cave. Let's use Timer Balls, I guess. I don't know. I kind of want to... I might not want to waste too much Ultra Balls. thing about timer balls is that they become more successful as the turns progress, right? So it's trying to she's trying to use thrash but it doesn't work. Right? So the reason why I'm switching to my Goldingo is right because uh, never mind. I still can get confused despite Goldingo and uh, resisting Thrash. I mean, being immune to Thrash. Three. Uh, okay. 
finally. So yeah, the thing about timer bots, they become more and more effective as the turns progress. And I think I'm kind of... I'm, I'm gonna fill up my team, of course. And I'm gonna battle the person. Uh, also, you can see the, the alternative form of uh, Toxtricity, right? I think we got uh, another form. Like, yeah, I probably mentioned that this Pokemon comes in two forms, right? Depending on the nature. And by nature, I mean the characteristic of uh, Pokemon stats, like which stat is boosted and which one is not, like, like it's nerfed, I guess. Lowered, I guess. You probably know what I mean. Those, uh, you know, those means which can alter the stats are kind of equivalent to natures, but usually natures are set whenever a Pokemon is generated and you can adjust the stats using mints. Actually, you know what? I think I'm just gonna heal up and take a break because... Um, actually, what am I doing? I just wanna... Yeah, I will probably save in front of the person I'm battling next and I'm just gonna heal up my... Uh, team. So, arrive for a quick table, right? And a... Yeah, I'm gonna use Super Potions. And also Potion on my Quick Quibble. Or should I battle, at least? It's probably gonna be quick, but... Yeah, maybe let's just battle this person really quick. And after that, I'll probably go for a break. Would you be so kind to battle, as to battle me? It's like celebration for reaching Alphornada. So actually, we reached Alphornada. This person claims so. We challenged by Alexis the city. He's sending out ooh, interesting a Rapscan. Ugh. Kinda sucks because my Yeah, my quick pill is holding the ammo coin and if it weren't I could just like use acrobatics and deal with this but I might need to use it one more time because Rapska is psychic and buck type Pokemon and let's go with acrobatics anyway um yeah Rapska is bug and psychic type Pokemon and uh, bug types yeah ooh that's really close uh, bug types uh, are weak to slime type moves so. this is not using the psychic type moves so it's okay Actually, this Pokemon, I don't know if I mentioned, but it's kinda annoying to, to get. Like, you need to, I believe, uh, walk with your, uh, what's it called, Relor. I don't know how many steps, and then you need to level it up, and that's how you evolve it, I believe. The same goes for the Pamo, I believe. They really have some annoying methods, I believe. kind of quick. Maybe I could do another battle. We'll see. Wait, 
This isn't Alphornea. Actually, this is Alphornea Cave. You should be like, uh... Checking your map more often, I guess. Let's kinda show off our quick level. What's up there, actually? I'm not sure. What's... Is that a Pokemon or what? I'm not sure. Yeah, but now I cannot ride right over here. Um, it probably is a Pokemon, right? Yeah, it's a slide. Never mind. There's an item. I'm picking up. As usual. I'm kinda zooming in unintentionally. Mm, so let's over here. Oh, TM, apparently. Focus Blast. Oh, that's kinda interesting to find. Um, there's another trainer, I believe, right? It's also challenge the trainer we, we are kind of seeing in front of us. So does this lead to Alphornada or what? Like, I'm not sure, but actually, uh, ooh. Gotta remember Pokemon types. Yeah, let's battle this person also. We seem to be struggling with rather the Pokemon types. Pokemon types are so complicated, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of takes time to like remember the type chart. Like even I myself don't know every uh, combination. So we're just battling this always with the student, and we're kind of good for a break after. Ooh, she's sending her hat room, I guess. And uh, yeah, that's kind of really not that good. Maybe I just want to risk it and just use a aqua staff on this action and hope for the best. Ooh, it's actually... You know what, I'm gonna try to ice. Because I don't wanna risk it. So yeah, when in doubt, like, just terrestrialize and do it as much as you can. So yeah, our quick play will still be awesome, as usual. I think, yeah, this is probably it. Like, I'm just gonna use Quick Pillow for the rest of the battle. So it should be quick. And because of the Max Boost and the Speed Boost. And also, Terrestrializing should, like, just end the battle <laughs> for this person.
So we're back at the Alfonada cave actually. And it has been quite some time since uh, I personally have been here. Uh, uh, I didn't play the Scarlet in quite some time, so I will need to like pick up on where I left last time. So yeah, basically we were just exploring the place and uh, we battled some trainers and we can see an item over there that I'm gonna pick as usual. Creeple. Oh no. Oh. oh yeah, so the good thing about uh, riding a Coriden is whenever you manage to jump on a Pokemon you then actually start the encounter and you still have some time to escape, right? Um, so let me think this through. So, apparently... Um, hmm. As far as I can tell, uh, we're kinda climbing the cave at this spot. Um, and I don't know if you can see but on the other side there is also this uh, rock area which could be climbed upon so I might check that out it's too much work uh, yeah let me see just uh, with what I'm actually dealing because of all right I'm not really uh, yeah, I guess let's go with Quick Wable. I'm actually really not familiar with the uh, circumstance that I ended last time. <laughs> so much work to get to town from here. Yeah, I mean, uh, we actually could like climb the whole thing. But I decided to check it out anyway. And we are challenged by Joel the Career. So, yeah, this person is pract practically referring that if you aren't able to climb with your cry, then you're kinda uh, in for a. Uh, I guess. some time of cave exploring, but. I don't know. It doesn't hurt. So yeah, another one of those Mazdales, uh, which I kind of don't like, to be honest, because... Uh, so I'm just gonna go for a quick Aqua Step on it, because I really don't like this Pokemon, uh, Mazdale, because it has this stamina ability. Which you can, like, uh, make your life really annoying, if you aren't using a super effective move on it, so... Uh, gladly I am. That's why I think yeah, that's about it. Good battle with this Joel the career, I believe. Um Yeah. Last time I decided to leave my quick quail, right? Um I bet I'd have one if I wasn't so tired. Yeah, excuses, excuses. I mean Let's go with Quick Quibble. Um, I believe uh, I wasn't using it as much. Oh, no, actually, never mind. I'm mistaking Dino for its evolution. Um, which I kind of. Yeah, we caught a level, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, never mind. Um,. Actually, I was, uh, I think I was kind of trying to, uh, explore this cave by, uh, yeah, that's what I meant. Um, so our quick people we'll picked up a max potion and we can see a gibbite, and gibble, and etc, right? We, we, we caught the bike, right? Like, I don't really remember a lot, because 
as I said, I didn't play Scarlet in a while, and yeah, these Gibble are kind of approaching me, and I kind of don't want to provoke anything. Um, yeah. Um, a lot of Pokemon, which I don't remember which I caught or which I have not. But there is also an, an item that I'm gonna pick up. Um, how does today's weather look? Yeah, you can't really tell because you're in a cave, right? Uh, I mean, you probably can't tell if weather is cold or hot. I'll tell you why I'm so worried about the weather. Okay, let's see. Is she probably using something uh, that's... I don't know. How can I expect a Pokemon that can induce a weather condition? You're challenged by Hiker Daniela. Oh yeah. She definitely is using something that can induce a weather condition. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm... Again, leading from my quick wave because... Um, this Pokemon is also annoying to take down. Um, actually, nah, never mind. Uh, I was thinking if I should go using my uh, Gamora, uh, which I actually just did Energy Bomb, I believe, but uh, I also remember that it's doubly weak to ground, so never mind. Yeah, another arc set, you know. This is probably the the best move Quick Will can learn at all. I mean, I think it also learns some even more powerful water type moves, I believe. I I'm not sure when or how, oh, but uh, Aqua Step isn't the most powerful move Quick Will can 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 afford, right? Um, but I think it, it learns another another really powerful. Uh, oh, actually, this person has two Pokemon, and uh, as I said, our quick call did not manage to take it out in one hit. Um, so oh, when was I saying? Yeah, quick feel right. So uh, I believe quick feel also learns another uh, water type physical move with 120 base power. Uh, which is 100% accurate, but it is a recall move, so uh, Quick Pebble gets damaged in the process of dealing damage. I don't know if um, I'm gonna learn that move, but I don't know. Uh, and there goes the Moxie, right? Um, so yeah, Moxie, really great ability to have. Definitely better than uh, ooh, an R. Excalibur and Armor is leveling up. Actually, yeah, let me let me just explain the starter ability, right? Let's just see what this person is sending out. Ooh, lightning rock. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna switch out because um, I don't wanna. Uh, I don't want my. Uh... Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess let's go with our sphere, with our, our move. Um, so yeah, let me explain the uh, starter Pokemon abilities, right? So every starter in every generation gets uh, one of, like, depending on the type, right? It gets one of three abilities which uh, function the same, like, almost the same. Um, like, these abilities are Blaze, Torrent, and Overgrow, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Overgrow uh, is the ability for the Grass starter. Uh, Blaze is the ability for the Fire type starter. And Torrent is the ability for the Water type starter, right? Uh, and these three abilities are really uh, the same, so. I mean, they're really similar. But what they do is, whenever the starter Pokemon, or any of its abilities, oh, so our armor did not. Okay. Um, so 
whenever the starter Pokemon or its evolutions uh, lose more than, I believe, two thirds of their full HP, they get a tie boost. Like, um, so, like if, for example, if my Quick Gravel instead of Moxie had Torrent, right? Uh, whenever, if, whenever it's uh, on a third of its HP or less, right? Um, its water type moves still, uh, I believe, about a third more damage than usual. So I don't know. It's a boost, right? But uh, compared to the Mox, it's so yeah, apparently our uh, like rock roar in our Tinkerton, so I'm gonna go with Skitter Smack. Um, so yeah, it's a, definitely it's a, like power boost, right? For the specific type. So, a Blaze and Overgrow work the same way, but only for the um, fire and, and grass type moves, right? And because Torrent uh, boosts the water type moves, uh, so do uh, these two abilities, right? And yeah, we're just talking about the power boost and I don't know. Usually these hidden abilities are uh, superior over these uh, three. Um, like even comparatively, usually uh, you don't you don't run these abilities on your starter Pokemon because they are kind of inferior to these hidden abilities that those Pokemon can afford. Sandstorms are weather too, you know. I swear they are. Yeah, actually, uh, actually, she made a sandstorm in the cave. That's kind of interesting, but you know, after the battle's over, uh, also the sandstorm is over. So, so yeah, that was kind of a ramble about the uh, <laughs> abilities and etc. But you know, I, I like to get technical, I guess. Um, so, let me check out. Uh, where am I actually? Uh, I believe. Yeah, I think I managed to uh, climb over here. And the thing is that I'm probably uh, climbing out of the cave if I continue uh, there, right? So, for that matter, I'm just gonna go on the other side because I'm kinda interested if I missed anything, if I did not uh, check it out uh, because I didn't, right? So let me check it out. Uh, yeah, definitely an item, right? And it's a good thing that I can climb and. Uh, me. Should I maybe. Yeah, maybe I should, like, uh, switch up my team a bit. Yes. Um, or shouldn't I? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't want to risk my armors because, um, or should I? Yeah, maybe let's go. I don't know. Also, yeah, I kind of learned this uh, last time. Uh, it's a, it's an interesting thing because I actually did not know that you can switch the items like uh, I did just now. I actually learned during this playthrough. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but there is also an TM over there, uh, which I could easily miss. So yeah, uh, game designers uh, really uh, uh, wanted players to miss this oversheet over here. Um, Ariana. Hmm. So actually, yeah, uh, we kind of. Ooh, there's a Pokemon down up there. Uh, it's back one way. Um, ooh, okay. Also a trainer. So yeah, that's what I uh, meant by um, not checking out this uh, side of the cave, right? So yeah, we're kind of leaning with our with our armors, right? I swore to myself that I'd make my way to town without riding my, to my, on my Pokemon.
your challenge by Backpacker Aider. And he's sending out his Luxra. Interesting. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but Luxray is the evolution of Luxio, right? And Luxio is a Shinx evolution. So, this is definitely an, an electric type Pokemon. And for that matter, I'm gonna switch out to handles. Uh, such, um, I'm gonna go with Excalibur, of course, because it's the only Pokemon on my team that uh, has an ground, has a ground type, move, right? Um, yeah, definitely a good idea of teaching that Pokemon Earthquake. So yeah, the thing about Luxray. Uh, I think we kind of discussed it already, right? I don't know. Uh, but it has some... Re yeah. You don't usually want to run a special type moves on it. At least I wouldn't. I mean, you're good if you want it. You can make it a mixed attacker if you want. But it's designed to be a physical one. But the thing about it is it's kind of slow. Uh, so you want to kind of boost its speed by uh, giving it an item. You could do that, but also, yeah, Luxray gets that uh, hidden ability that whenever it's status, uh, it gets a attack boost. Guts, right? Just like Hariyama. And uh, yeah, so you're kinda. I don't know, it's not really uh, used a lot because of that, because it's kinda slow. And. Uh, my legs are about to give out, and I'm about to give up. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like Luxray, to be honest. Like, I used it when I uh, played older games, like four generation games. Uh, um, so, I kind of feel bad for it because it's a really cool Pokemon. Like, this design, it's pretty cool. And I also really like its shiny uh, form, well, which is really awesome. Um, I don't know. Um, so I, 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 I really had fun with it, even though it was kind of slow. Um, and even back then, it didn't have the hidden ability yet, like. Hidden abilities weren't introduced in for gener generation yet, but they were introduced a generation after. Did you see? It? Did I see you riding on a Pokemon? Actually, you didn't because uh, you're kind of uh, didn't know there was a Pokemon that could climb these steep slopes with a rider. Uh, I don't think you saw me because uh, I'm kind of came up to you from behind your back. Uh, Dragon Tamer Tamara. Let's see what Dragon type is she sending out. Really interesting. Shelgen. Uh, yeah, definitely a Pokemon we did not see. And we did not see it because it's a uh, Violet exclusive. Um, so Yeah, let's go uh, for something else, because we're kind of stuck. Yeah, I definitely want to go with Tinkerton on this Pokemon. And actually, uh, Shogun Pokemon is a... It's an evolved Pokemon from some other Pokemon, which is not available in Scarlet. So, uh, apparently, we will trade for it at some point, but not just yet. Uh, let's see what uh, this Shelgun is going to use. Probably something that our Tinkerton is immune to. 
Oh, okay, so it's uh, trying to lower my Tinkerton speed. Yeah, definitely want to go with Play Rough. I think this Pokemon is a pure Dragon type. And I'm really glad that our Tinkerton is holding Wildlands because it probably miss quite a lot if it used Play Rough without. Uh, oh, sleek, interesting. Um, yeah, let's let's keep up with our Tinkerton. Yeah, if it didn't hold Wildlands, it was it would probably really be annoying to miss these play roughs and I'm really kind of glad that they put the wide lens in the game although it's not an item that's often used in competitive play I just like to use it because I want to patch up the accuracy of my Pokemon moves so yeah another play rough So yeah, uh, at this point I want to just like completely cover the whole Alphornada cave and when I do so I want to kind of rise up above. Uh, interesting, she is actually sending out Haxorus. Um, yeah, I'm definitely, definitely gonna keep up with my Tinkerton because uh, so many Dragon types and And particularly for this Tamara the Dragon Team person, uh, they get more and more challenging if you manage to defeat her Pokemon. So yeah, this Pokemon Haxorus is really dangerous <laughs> if you're not uh, sporting a fairy type Pokemon. So uh, it has kind of mediocre speed but its attack is so terrifying. And yeah, even after a Dragon Dance, you're kinda screwed. Like, even Cabalia, I remember that back in Generation 5, this Pokemon was dominating uh, in Cabalia play. So, yeah. Also, the reason why they introduced a uh, fairy type. Because of the. Uh, Uh, absurd power of Dragon type of me, like in Generation 5. I thought I trained pretty hard. Yeah, actually, uh, you had a a bit challenging team to to be honest, uh, like, but I managed to deal with it. So let me, uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, you can probably see the exit over there, or is it exit? Um, it depends on how you enter the cave, right? Uh, if I enter this cave from the, I don't know if you remember, but. The place where we turned uh, back uh, at some point, I don't know if you remember, but we did not want to proceed to this Alphanata cave because we're kinda, we were kind of scared of the level of the Pokemon that uh, reside here. But yeah, if uh, I went there and checked it out, it would be practically the, practic practically the entrance from the other side. Um, so yeah, you can enter this cave in two different ways, as we s we saw before, right? So yeah, usually you wanna enter from that. Oh, watch out for the oh, oh hang on. 
So usually, uh, I believe people enter from there. Where are, where are we actually going, right? And this is a oh undo, okay. Um, so yeah, usually people enter it from over there, but you know me, I kind of play this game a bit differently, right? So I decided to enter the cave from the other side, right? So there seems to be a kind of a I don't know some some water source in this cave. This may be sent on our arm rouge just to maybe kind of light this place up. I believe there was another Pokemon. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> I was kind of afraid that, that, that there is a trainer that it's kind of invisible, but it's just like standing below where we are standing. Uh, my future is hazy. Ah, like, I've been told that, but I don't know. Uh, let's see what this sign is. Let me see your future. Let's see if you'll make it out of this cave. Actually, I will because uh, actually I was really close to the exit, like the real one, not the one we are kind of headed to. The challenge by Domingo the scientist. Ooh, he's sending out Electro, which is a Pokemon. Uh, you, can, you can probably tell it's a Voltron evolution, right? But. Uh, we still haven't encountered it in the wild. I was kind of hoping to encounter it back in back at the Medali, but I know the chances are kind of low. And also, this Pokemon is kind of annoying to encounter because it is able to explode. And so yeah, for that matter, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my trusty Excalibur and use an Earthquake because it's a Voltorb evolution and consequently a, an electric type Pokemon. So yeah, this Pokemon is really fast, but that's about it. It's just fast and it doesn't do a lot except for being fast. Uh, actually, there is this. Uh, like original form of this Pokemon that is kind of superior to the usual one we're kind of facing right now. Uh, actually, what happened? I'm not sure. Uh, I think it used Electro Ball and did. Oh no, <laughs> it's so annoying. So uh, yeah, I think we saw that strategy. Uh, at one point so far. I think we did. So yeah. Uh, this elect electrode acquired levitate by using Meganrite, so that's why. So yeah, if my back if my back Scalibur had Yeah, so if I actually uh, had a ground type move on my uh, Tinkerton, it would ignore the uh, magnet rise. So, actually, let's check out this glaive rush. So I think we, uh, I think I kind of discussed glaive rush. Maybe. So it's a hundred twenty physical dragon type with hundred twenty base power, right? And uh, so you can tell it's really powerful. But its only drawback is that in the next turn, our Baxcalibur will deal, will receive double damage uh, from the moves that it might, they might hit, right? Uh, yeah, actually, there is no next turn because that's about it.
And our Goldengo is, I believe, it's. We must actually learn its signature move, make it rain. And this move is really good, like. I'm definitely learning this move because it's a special steel type move with 120 base power also. So yeah, our Pokemon are starting to learn really good moves. I'm gonna I'm gonna like uh, get rid of Hex because at this point Hex is really inferior to Shadow Ball. So yeah, let's just talk about Make It Rain. Yeah, another one of those uh, moves that uh, have their drawback, their drawback that could be ignored. Like user attacks by throwing out a mass of coins. This also lowers the user special attack stat when it's earned after the battle. Ooh, interesting. So actually, I didn't even know that. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely, I'm gonna. Uh, never mind. I was just kind of uh, thinking about something else, but yeah, let's uh, replace this hex with Make It Rain. So you can probably tell that it's only drawback it, that it's the user's special attack gets low, right? After using this move, but is that this move is pretty like it has so uh, it has 120 base power. It's 100% accurate, and also Goldengo gets stabbed for it. It's uh, a move you wanna have on your Goldengo, no matter what. And yeah, uh, yeah, this move is uh, uh, really amazing, and also a Goldengo signature move. So yeah, Glaive Rush and Make It Rain uh, are really similar moves, like. They are really powerful, but they have this drawback that could be ignored. You'll be fine wherever you go. Yeah, I think I... I think I... I also think so. Thanks. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's a good thing that you can actually um, overcome these drawbacks. If you kind of play smart, I guess. Like, if you wanna keep up, like your if you wanna keep your uh, Goldengo or uh, Excalibur, you probably wanna switch out after you use Make It Rain or Glaive Rush. Um, you could do that, like. Or you can also risk it, I don't know. Uh, so yeah. I'm kinda... I'm kinda having a bit of trouble seeing, to be honest. Because uh, this place is kinda dark, and also my lighting is a bit... Uh, not as bright as you would think. But apparently, yeah, the items kind of <laughs> light up the place. Potion. Um. Yeah, so actually, I think we're on the very ground floor of this all for another cave. Uh, yeah, let's just let's just uh, check out the very entrance. That yeah, you remember this place, right? Ooh, uh, Terra. Let me just pick up this uh, Gimbu coin. Because, why not? Uh, let's check out this Terra. Because. We. Uh, nah. Definitely not. Uh, definitely not wanna uh, battle a Terra Raid for the Kachu. And also don't wanna encounter a Rockruff, but I guess here we are. So yeah, we kinda checked out the very entrance of the Alphornada cave that people usually start with. 
You can also see that, right? Yeah, 12 for Nana. Yeah, I think uh, we're kind of about to enter from here, but I kind of uh, changed my mind. Did I? Did I? Just let me let me see if I uh, checked everything over here. I'm kind of expecting something to be um, over here, but I'm not sure. Also, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely a TM that I'm that was that I was hoping for. I think I'm gonna just like climb. I'm not gonna bother of walking on the other side. But I wanna be kinda careful not run not run into any Oh uh, yeah. I was kinda zoomed out. Uh yeah, it's some sometimes in this game uh it feels like This is a, uh, yeah, I think this is a regular goodbye. Nothing special about it, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. Is that a trainer? Uh, he really is kind of small. Um, so, yeah, what was, yeah. Uh, Usually, I'm not often, I guess. I was running after Pokemon, and now I'm completely lost. So yeah, I often get a feeling that uh, my camera is not zoomed out enough. So if you ever see me like trying to zoom in, that's because I actually want to zoom out. Um, you're challenged by youngster Aiden, I guess. Ooh, and he's sending out his Venomoth, uh, which is kind of convenient for our armor use because uh, it can handle book types. So Venomoth, uh, you can probably, I don't know if you remember even the Pokemon Venonet. It's, it, it's a kind of, it's kind of weak Pokemon we caught some time ago. I think after we, or... I think somewhere near the uh, Cortando, well, we caught a uh, Venonet, and yeah, that's its evolution, and it's still weak, and yeah, really not worth considering on your team. Also, he's saying out his fortress, which is also convenient for our armor, even more convenient than before, because uh, Fortress is a uh, Pineco evolution. Um, I'm not sure whether we uh, caught Pineco because Pineco is kind of annoying to encounter in this game. But it's yeah, it's it's basically a bug steel type, and it just really has trouble against fire type moves. But I think, yeah, let's see. Yeah, uh, it also has sturdy, which enables it to leave a one hit knockout. So yeah, I'm just gonna go for another flame floor. I could go for anything else, but I don't know. It's kind of satisfying to see this Pokemon uh, get fired up.
Last my way to victory too. Yeah, I don't know if you remember, but the description for make it rain, right? It said that uh, money is gained or something, right? So yeah, whenever you use that move, I think you get like extra money after the battle. So it's kind of it's kind of convenient if you wanna get money. But the thing about make it rain is it has only five power points, so it's not the best. There are actually there are also other moves that uh, uh, have this effect of gaining money after using them, but. Uh, problem with them is that they don't have so much uh, base power as does Make It Rain. But they do have more power points. And also, if you really want to like get money like using that method, right? You want to have your Pokemon as high level as possible. So, so much fun. Let's see what does she mean by fun. Treasure hunting is so much fun. And it'll be even more fun when I beat you. Ah, I know. Uh, we'll kind of see about that. Yolanda, the student. She's setting out a croc rock. She can probably tell it's a, a sand dial evolution, right? Uh, so, yeah, it turns out that sand dial is a ground and a dark type Pokemon, and so is croc rock. And for that matter, I'm gonna go with the Aura Sphere. So yeah, it's it's a really good thing to have a fighting type move on your psychic type Pokemon. So that way you can actually deal with these dark type dark type Pokemon, right? The problem is that psychic type Pokemon only learn like Focus Blast, which is really inaccurate. Uh, as a special fighting type move. Also, uh, she's sending Lorantis, and I'm definitely keeping my Arm Rouge. Uh, just to blaze through this Pokemon, because it's a Grass type. That's about it for Yolanda, the student. Losing isn't fun. Yeah, I don't know. Ask Nimona. Ooh, a lot of items actually. Stone, which we could use to evolve our Habini, I believe. Yeah, I think it's Habini. But uh, I didn't. Actually, I did not need to use it. We found Chansey in the wild. But I could use Old Stone, right? Just like uh, I did for the. Uh, Pikachu and Jigglypuff. Like, yeah, 
I'm probably not gonna cover every evolution method because I managed to find Pokemon also in the wild. I believe we battled this Hyper. So, uh, did I miss anything else? Uh, yeah, I think I'm. I should be checking out that Pokemon over there, right? Just uh, kind of soon. Just I think, yeah. I think I covered pretty much everything. Like, yeah, this Ophronaya cave is really not that uh, interesting. It's just like a cave that you need to kind of go through uh, to actually go to Alphornada. Um So yeah, this is the direction I'm supposed to go, right? But of course, you know me. Uh, let me just see how to get up there. Uh, If all else fails, I'm just gonna oh watch for the Yeah, I think I'm gonna just like climb because I'm not really sure how to get up there. Except for climbing or is there another way? I think yeah. Uh there probably is some other way, but I don't know. I'm not gonna bother with it. I'm just gonna like glide and climb. But there probably is another way to get over here. And let's see what this Pokemon is. Ooh, an, an Umbrian, actually. Um, so, yeah, let me see. Where are we actually? Oh, okay. Now I kinda get it. I remember that when I play Violet, right? After I uh, explored this cave, uh, I never actually came back. Uh, maybe I ever value trained the Pokemon in this cave, but except for that, uh, really not, really not an interesting place at all. So yeah, you kind of see my attitude according to that. I just want to get it through and, you know. We're kind of closing to Alphornada. Ooh, Bold Mint. Yeah, not a mint that I'm looking after. Yeah, so actually, how do you get up here? Is there any... Um, I don't know. Or the only way is it to climb? I'm not sure, but it might be this case. But Let's assume that um, there's nothing else interesting over here, and let's just proceed to the exit of the cave. Like, yeah, I believe this cave wasn't designed to like spend a lot of time here. I think it's a Probably the largest cave in the uh, in the game. Uh, uh, really not an interesting place. I mean, yeah, there are some interesting Pokemon that you can put on your team, like a Bite and Gibble, but other than, other than that, so yeah, we battle this person, right? 
And yeah, this is the very exit of this cave. I believe, or is it? Yeah. So yeah, this is Alfronada. Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, I'm not sure. How did we enter? From where did we enter this cave? <laughs> so yeah, I'm kind of... <sighs> I'm kind of complicating my life. Because you know me. Uh, I'm glad I didn't complicate... Uh, my life even further by running to a duck trio, but I just want to kind of clarify from where did I enter because I kind of forgot. I think it was from over the summer. Let me just check my life. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I kind of went from here, right? Yeah, anyway. Never mind. Uh, yeah, let's go out of this cave. Because I don't think I missed anything. Too interesting. So yeah, we uh, managed to get to Alfronado, right? The place we are challenging our next team leader. Actually, I'm gonna uh, return really quick. So, last time uh, we managed to climb up. Climb out of the Alphonatic Cave, right? And we're just like... Just in front of the entrance to the Alphonata. And... Let's maybe just explore the area a bit. Ooh. You can see new Pokemon, actually. There's the, uh... Good old Daxbun, but... Also... New Pokemon, like Clefki, which I haven't caught yet. I think we battled one, but uh, we did not manage to catch one. Yeah. So uh, let me see. Do I have any quick balls? Nope. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just. I think I'm gonna go. You know, the usual procedure. Also. I think there. I don't know if you can see, but there's also another Pokemon which we'll be catching soon. Mm. Yeah, let's go with the. Uh, I guess Ultra Ball, or. Let's maybe go with the... You know what? Uh, no. Actually not. I wanna... I wanna kinda use a Psy Shock on it also. Because, uh, I think... I don't know if we saw him in prison yet, but... Uh, yeah. If it... If a Pokemon uses it... The Pok... The moves that it... Learns cannot be used. Oh, okay, never mind. So, I did not manage to catch this Pokemon, but I think. Uh, we'll... Yeah, there's another one. <laughs> like, it just. There there are a lot of Clef Key in this area, so. Also, a Clef Key key uh, was being collected. Also, another Pokemon. Yeah, uh, this place offers new Pokemon, apparently. So yeah, another try on the Clef Key. Um, 
yeah. Or a sphere, I guess. And I probably should not. Uh... Oh, okay. Whatever. Are there any other cleft key around? Okay, and now Glamour is leveling up. Anyway, let's maybe catch other Pokemon in the area. Because, uh. No luck so far. I think there are more cleft in this area. Uh, so yeah, this is Pokemon. It's actually Gotharita. Uh, I think we kind of discussed it. I think we battled it before, right? But it's our full chance of catching it. And I want to go with Flamethrower on this Pokemon because uh, that's the only reasonable damage output. Let's see how much it does. Oh. So yeah, I guess I'm just a bit overpowered for this place, am I? Uh, what's that? No, actually, that these are only leaves. Uh, but I do see Klefki. Yeah, let's go for Klefki. And this time I'm just gonna use Aura Sphere on it and. So yeah, not a really good start of catching, is it? I do like the Aura Sphere animation though. But yeah, we can see all Pokemon that need to be caught in this place. Let's go with the Great Bone, I don't know. I kind of have a feeling that might do. I could be wrong though. Yeah. So yeah, I think I should probably use a Nurture Ball instead. And let's do that, I guess. Also, I kind of wonder what's on the very top of the entrance, uh, the exit of the Alphanata Cave. So I will, I will be kind of checking that out. Yeah, we managed to cast yourself a Klefki, and also uh, our Armourouche is leveling up and also learning yeah, one of its signature moves, Expanding Force. Um, this, yeah, this move is... Let's check it out. But I think I will be replacing uh, Psy Shock with this move. Uh, the user attacks the target with psychic power. When the ground is psychic terrain, this, this move's power is boosted and it damages all opposing Pokemon. Yeah, this, this move is probably superior to the Psy Shock. Uh, also gets boosted if uh, the terrain is psychic terrain. So yeah. Definitely a good move to have on your arm range. There's a Pokemon we can see on our left, which we are catching soon. Also, this clef key has steel and fairy typing, which is pretty good. Like, this combination is really good. Defensively and offensively. I mean, I don't know if... Of, I don't know. But it's definitely good defensively. Also, some Pokemon you can see that we are kinda about to catch in this place. In our Pokedex, let's try for with Gatorade again. Uh, 
And let's go. Let's go with our sphere this time. Uh, I guess we'll need to go for the end for the for another one. Turn out of the events. It uses fake tears and then psych up. So we managed to copy my special defense drop. Yeah, that, there we go. I also managed to catch Pokemon with Grey Ball. So yeah, I think we discussed got to read on, did we? Yeah, Gothrid and its evolution Gothel are those Pokemon that get the hidden ability Shadow Tag. Ah. So, I believe this Pokemon is called CDSD, yeah. And. Uh, actually. It's a, uh, it's a ghost type of one because Forest Fruit has no effect on it. Let's try expanding Force. Let's see. Uh, I'm kind of afraid that it might knock it out. Yeah, the problem at this point is that I'm having trouble catching Pokemon. <laughs> oh no. Watch out for the... what's it called again? Ooh. A Banette, I believe. Yeah, let's go for it. But there are also... yeah. I wanna kinda go for the Banette first because... Yeah, at this point my Pokemon are kinda old. Also have a bit <sighs> powerful moves. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna go for it as well. And I won't even try to take down this Banad because That was kind of close, though. Oh, okay. So it used curse. Uh, so yeah, our armorish will now be losing a quarter of its full HP every turn. But it also kind of helped us catch it by cutting its HP by a half. Ugh. I don't think you can use Curse Account, can it? 
yeah, it cannot. So you can see the effect of course. And yeah, I don't know if my arm rouge goes down. I don't care. I'm just gonna switch out into something else. And I seem to be running out of my flex balls. Oh. So yeah, probably a better idea would be if I if I uh, manage to get the critical catch at this point and not the premiums. Anyway, it could be worse, right? So yeah, armor just went down. And I believe if... yeah. Let's go with T. I don't know, let's go with Goldengo. I'm not sure... Yeah, I think Curse will still. Uh, yeah, Goldengo is probably not immune to the effect of Curse. I could go maybe. No, Timer Bomb? I don't think so. Um, yeah, let's go with Earth Bomb. Oh yeah, this Pokemon is kind of annoying to to catch. I tried to use Sucker Punch, but it did not work. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go like for another Ultra Ball because so yeah, at this point I'm just kind of using my Ultra Ball because. That was uh, kind of a weird catch, to be honest. So, I think I only need to catch the Sinistee at this point. We've caught everything so far in this area we'll probably uh, go heal at the poke center kind of soon oh another banana i guess they are, I thought I thought they were a bit rare, but apparently they're not. And there's the Sinistee. Yeah, Sinistee is kind of hard to spot. Uh, I'm not sure with what Pokemon I, am I leading with. Yeah, apparently, will they go? Um, I really don't want to risk it. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna throw Ultra Ball because I am kind of screwed at this point. Because my Pokemon have learned two strong moves. You know what? I think I'm gonna go and heal up over at the Poké Center next after I cast this Sinistee. Yeah.
maybe I could like yeah probably I should like use acrobatics more often for catching Pokemon because it's probably the weakest move on my Pokemon so Sinistee is a pure ghost type Pokemon its evolution has I think it has Quite a lot of special attack, but I don't know, it's kind of slow. So it's kind of outclassed by Gengar. Polti guys, right? It's kind of outclassed by the Gengar. Uh, I think, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let, let's just quickly heal up, and I think I'm gonna challenge the career. Uh, we're standing really close. So yeah, Alphornada is a is the home of the. Oh, maybe let's also claim the rewards if we are able. Yeah, so uh, in Alphornada we'll be facing a Psyche type gym leader. So, uh, 12 trainers. Oops. Definitely receiving an award for that. Flare Blitz, okay. Uh, yeah, one of those recall powerful fire type fight physical moves with 120 base power, 100% accurate. But you know, the drawback of the recall. So let's quickly heal up and battle the career. Maybe I will kind of check out the Alfronata. But it turns out that this place surrounding Alfronata is also quite interesting. So we'll also be we'll be exploring that. Actually, you know what? I think I, I think I'm gonna lead with my Excalibur. Actually, like, yeah, and also give it a <laughs> amulet coin. So yeah, icicle spear won't be as won't be as reliable as it was before. But anyway. So yeah, I want to also come out of its Pokemon. And apparently it doesn't want to. Actually, he doesn't want to. Here we go, I guess. Let's just battle this um, career. Build up these muscles by many trips to the gym. A brilliant brawn will surely lead me to victory. <laughs> We're challenged by eyes on the career. Let's see. What does he mean by brawn? Oh. That's pretty good actually because our Backscalibur um, sports earthquake, which will kind of put this rebel room in place since it's doubly weak to ground. So that was kind of quick. 
So yeah, Rattle Room is a steel and poison type Pokemon which really suffers against one type of moves. Also, suddenly Murkrow have appeared. And a lot of Banat. My massive musculature missled me. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's check out this place. So we caught some Pokemon, right? Let's see if it's if there's anything else. So yeah, our back caliber is kinda slow. Like it really is moving slowly. I don't think there's anything over here, right? But I kinda wanna see what's Uh, on the top of this, I think yeah, nah. uh, our Excalibur won't be able to follow me effectively. But I'm still gonna live with it. So, at the top of this entrance, there's absolutely nothing. Okay, but there is actually something over here, which kind of requires to get up higher. Also, the annoying Mudsdale and uh, yeah, I really don't like Mudbrain and Mudsdale. I really don't like Mudsdale. Um, so, what else is here? Yeah, for now I kind of want to explore the surroundings of Alfreneda. Alfreneda. So far, nothing interesting, right? Lichen Rock. Yeah. Uh, Meditite is. Trainer. So apparently, I'm gonna like. Let's check it out. How am I gonna approach this? I think I should like probably explore this area and then I'll see. Uh, I kinda also don't like that it's kinda dusky. Uh, whatever. Putting my train legs to use. One, two, one, two. Train using the torturously long staircase in front of the school. <laughs> oh, so that's the staircase where a Namona and Penny run into. You're challenged by Andres, the student. Actually, what's up there? Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it looks like some kind of a... Oh, Salzbach. It looks like some kind of an observatory. Interesting. You see the place, right? Up there, right? So let's go for the uh, icicle sphere and hope for the best. Yeah, that's pretty good.
Also, he's setting out his pyroar, and for that matter, I'm gonna go to my Lamora actually. So yeah, you know the drill, power jam. We'll deal with the fire types. So, he's saying now gold duck. Let's stay in and use the energy ball on it. So yeah, that's that's a good thing about Glamour that it can also handle water type of one to some extent. Depends on how bulky the water type Pokemon is. So yeah, you can probably tell that Gold Duck's Cloud Nine ability kinda eliminates the effects of weather. If there are any. And that's about it for this battle on the leaf. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for a really quick break. Always training my legs also made my Pokemon stronger.
So we're kind of back, and we're still exploring the area surrounding the Alfornada, right? And because of I can climb, I just can drop from whenever I want and just like come back. Uh, so yeah, that's really convenient that I Bryden is able to climb now. You can see a Scovillain over there, a Terror Raid. Uh, probably gonna check out also a trainer. Let's maybe check out a Terror Raid first though. Probably nothing interesting. Yeah. Rev of Room. Uh, actually, no. It's pre evolution. Uh, yeah, if it, if it was a rare room, I would go for it, but... Watch out for this path rat. Let's battle. Was challenged by Paul the student. Ooh. He's setting out Ice Cube, which is a Violet exclusive. Mm. Yeah, I might. Yeah, the thing about this Pokemon is kind of annoying. It has really similar ability to the Mimikyu's. For that reason, I wanna just. Ooh, actually, yeah. <laughs> Good thing about Baxcalibur is that it has. Yeah, let's go for the Icicle Spear. Because it has this uh, multi strike move, right? So, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not quite sure how this ability Ice Face works, but it just makes the target immune. I mean, immune. It doesn't take a hit from the first. You can see, right? It did not take any damage, but apparently now it's taking damage, uh, and still not very effective. So yeah, it works really similarly to Mimikyu's disguise, but I believe whenever uh, it starts snowing, its effect of uh, recharges kinda. Let's go with the Glade Fresh. Uh, so like, oh yeah, yeah, that's annoying. You'll see in a second. So 
so yeah it used it started snowing right and because of that it's it recharged the effect of the ice face ability so it's really annoying but anyway uh, I think in the next turn we're good to go So yeah, now if Ice Q managed to hit my Excalibur, it would do double damage. And it would 100% uh, accurately hit. But he decided to go for Amnesia, I don't know. That was a weird battle. Also, I don't know. I don't like this Ice Cube Pokemon because of its ability. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess I am strong, but I, I kind of don't like annoying Pokemon like Ice Cube and Mimikyu. Like, <sighs> uh, they have these uh, I don't know annoying abilities, which are kind of also um, don't make sense to me at least. Uh, because both of these Pokemon aren't really strong. Also, uh, I mean, Mimikyu could be used as a physical s attacker at some point, but Ice Q is Ice Q is really just only a fast Pokemon. It has it. It can learn Belly Drum though. But, I don't know, it's not really often used at all. Tomato Berry and Hurricane. I don't know if we discussed Hurricane, but actually, Hurricane is a 70% special 120 base power flying type move. So it has kind of poor accuracy, right? That whenever it strikes during the rain. Uh, we can see a hunt crow actually. Oh, yeah. um, if it strikes during the rain, it's 100% accurate. That's kind of interesting. Also, ooh, sludge bomb. Okay, so that's the inferior move to the sludge wave, right? I mean, inferior. Uh, the only difference between sludge... I think we discussed it, right? Sludge Bomb and Sludge Wave, the only difference between those two moves is... Uh, that sludge, wave is, sludge Wave is more powerful by 5 base power and it also... Uh, hits... All the opposing Pokémon, I believe. Whereas uh, Sludge Bomb only hits the targets. One particular. This slope is awesome. Let's see what she means by that. This is an absolute paradise for us hikers. <laughs> also, a watchtower right behind her. Uh, hiker Rosho, or I don't know how, how to pronounce her name. I'm not sure. Rakio, Rosho, I don't know. But she has actually Bramble Gas, which is Bramble in its evolution. And it's a Grass and Ghost type Pokemon, so I could either go with Icicle Spear or I could go with Crunch. But I believe I'm gonna go with Crunch because I don't get. Uh, Excalibur doesn't get stabbed for it, but it's still more reliable damage output than Icicle Spear because Icicle Spear. Without loaded dice, I don't know. It could hit also only twice. And you see my point, right? Bramble gas, I don't know. 
It's... I think we discussed it. It's It has some physical attack, but other than that, kinda useless. It's like I'm climbing into the sky. Let's check out that item. Uh, nothing down here, I believe. Only a low kicks. Grass there, right? Okay. Ooh, uh, one of these swords that we could pick, but we aren't picking them just yet. Let's check out this place. Uh, probably nothing interesting, but at least uh, we checked it, right? I'm kind of having trouble. Ooh, Altaria, actually. Don't think we caught it yet, did we? Yeah, we did not. Also, I managed to sneak up on it. No, I have not. I tried to, though. So, um... Yeah, definitely... Yeah. I'm not sure how crunch will do, but I don't want to risk it. Let's go to our, um, yeah, quite quail. Yeah, from now on, I think I'm just gonna go with quick quail on everything. Uh, I want to catch because actually, yeah, I could either go with. Yeah, no. I'm gonna go with acrobatics. Like I said, uh, at this point I'm kinda good to use acrobatics whenever I'm catching Pokemon because... Oh, okay. So... Yeah. This is going to be a kind of pain to take down because of the 150% boost of its defense. Yeah, that's literally nothing. <laughs> I could maybe bring back my <laughs> Bexcalibur again because... <laughs> yeah, let's go with Bexcalibur again. I guess. Because. Uh, let's see how much crash does. This is kind of weird. Already. So yeah, now this Altaria has maxed its defense. Let's see how much crunch will do. I'm kind of interested. Because I was kind of scared of using it, but now I'm not scared at all. Yeah, as much as acrobatics did. Now I'm kind of thinking, how much does Icicle Spear do? Yeah, I don't want to risk it though. 
because no, neither do I want to. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. I'm just gonna use punch as much as I can. Okay, I think I'm kinda good to start throwing Great Balls. I'm kinda saving Ultra Balls, to be honest, because... I only have four. At least I managed to weaken it. Can put my back caliber to sleep if it wants. So at this point, I'm just gonna waste on my gray balls because. I do have quite a lot of them compared to Ultra Balls. Yeah, this is ah, oh, kind of close. I could go like for a uh, timer ball also. Uh, let's. See. I think I'm gonna go for another Grey Ball, and if that doesn't work, I'm starting to use uh, Timer Balls. Also, I don't know if we discussed it, but whenever I'm catching Pokémon and my Pokémon is asleep, it is not able to wake up. Okay, so I'm starting to throw timer balls. So where are they? Oh, there are they are. I do have quite a, quite some of them. Okay, so apparently, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to comment that. Actually, maybe we should check our Pokédex. Two hundred eighty six so far. 
let's see how okay so we're receiving a dawn stone and something else also a level ball a pokeball you a type of pokeball you usually don't receive and what's next experience candy large okay whatever also let's see this I don't know if we ever tried it this uh, evaluate function using our minus button are you evolving a Pokemon there are quite a few species that you can't encounter this way let your Pokemon battle to gain experience or use certain items on them that have them evolve yeah really not any this this is not this is not any news at this point so uh yeah I'm kind of disappointed <laughs> by this function. I thought there was something else. I don't know. I guess it's just some tips on how to finish the Pokedex. 186. That's that's quite good. I think there's a hiker we haven't battled, or did we? Yeah, actually we did. Uh, so. We kind of stop over here, right? And there's 